Hello everybody. I'm not ready to start live streaming the races just yet, so don't panic, don't panic. Uh, this is it. This is the day. Today is the day that we embark on the most craziest thing I've ever done in my life. 27 hours of streaming Gran Turismo. I don't know whether I can hold up. I don't know whether the gear can hold up. I don't know whether the new webcam is going to keep going. I don't know whether YouTube is going to keep going and cut out on me. This is going to be one heck of an adventure. Um, I will do an introduction at nine o'clock, but what I want to do before I do anything else and just while I do some checks and also whilst I set up the room is I'm going to leave you guys with some words from some of the ambassadors and the reasons why I'm doing this insane challenge. So I'll see you in about 10 minutes or so. My name is Jeff Fordley. I'm one of the ambassadors for Crohn's and Colitis UK. We are uh, here today at Emmerdale, which is my workplace where I play the character of Kane Dingle. This is uh, the bull pack, as you can see, and um, you can't see all the lights above us, but we're in the studio and um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I was diagnosed with Crohn's in, I think it, it, was, it was 1996, but I think it was about March 1996 to be precise. In my final year at drama school, I was doing Wuthering Heights. I wasn't playing Heathcliff because that's what everybody thought that my um, m m all the people in my year were like, "Yeah, he's going to." That's that you're going to. I was playing Joseph, the old farmhand, who was about 80 years old. So I'm kind of glad I missed that play because I actually missed the play um, because of uh, my illness. I had a uh, went to the hospital in Manchester. I'd been vomiting a lot, had a lot of stomach ache, I looked really pale, I'd lost an awful lot of weight. They um, explained that I had Crohn's disease, um, which instantly frightened me because um, my mother, when I was nine years old, had died because she'd had uh, a Crohn's, uh, she had Crohn's disease. Um, so I just thought, oh, does that mean I'm going to die too? You know, um, obviously not the case. Uh, Technology has moved on so much more since 1979 um, but uh, yeah it was it was quite a frightening time um, and I had to have an operation where they took part of my small bowel uh, and part of my large bowel out I was left with a big um, scar which is quite impressive um, but uh, yeah that that was the, that was the beginning of it for me I'm Carrie Grant and I work mainly on television as a TV presenter and also as a vocal coach. I was diagnosed with Crohn's when I was 20 but I had been ill from the age of 18 so I'd been ill for two years. I think that's the thing that's really hard for people with Crohn's and colitis is that they can go for so long undiagnosed and for so long really being misunderstood. The hard thing about having Crohn's disease is that you don't know how you're going to feel from one day to the next and that's you can't plan you can't say oh I've got Thursday off I think I'll choose to be ill on Thursday you know I could wake up on Wednesday when I'm doing witness and be really ill and the only thing that I can do is I can't cancel work in those situations so I have to somehow fight through I'm Ali Jawad um, I'm a full-time athlete uh, Paralympic powerlifter and I'm also a student here at UEL the night before I competed in my first Paralympics I uh, got very sick and uh, nobody knew what it was. Um, it took about eight months to diagnose, I think, afterwards. So I got diagnosed in 2009. So it took, it took a long time to diagnose. First, I thought it was gallstones. So I thought, okay, it's only gallstones, I can live with that. Just, you know, just operate on them, whatever. Or uh, then they found that it weren't gallstones. And then they started testing me for cancers. So it got quite serious. And then, I think it was my GP that did like a blood test and he's like, wait a minute, these are more, you know, something that you could see in something like Crohn's disease. Now I've never heard of it before. And I just said, well, how do you cure it? He's like, you can't cure it. And I was like, oh God. The first, the first year or so was really difficult uh, to try and, you know, to be a full-time athlete, to try and push your body, knowing that your body probably couldn't handle it was something that I couldn't take. Um, Eventually in 2000, late 2009, I decided to retire completely from sport because I was getting worse. Um, every time I was training, I was just flaring up. Everything I was eating, I was flaring up. You know, it just, I was in pain so much. I, just, I couldn't really, it was hard to function. My name is Lewis Moody and uh, I'm currently an ex-Bath rugby player. I, I recently retired and I'm now involved off the pitch and, and trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. 
It was just prior to the the Lions tour. It was yeah, it was it was something that I struggled with for about four months uh, before I went and got it checked out. And you know, you you, you just don't know. You, you're slightly embarrassed as as a young man as well. You know what to say or who to speak to. Or so I was I was the classic you know male stereotype at that point. And uh, after about four months, it got so bad that I had to go and speak to someone. I went and saw her. My, my GP who diagnosed me with ulcerative colitis and has, has looked after me since. I I lost a lot of blood basically whenever I went to the loo. Um, I was incredibly sore stomach, um, almost like you were having a stitch or a, or a cramp every time. And uh, the more longer and longer I left it, the more I was bleeding and the more blood I was losing, the more weight I was losing, the whiter I was getting. Eventually to the point where I couldn't get out of the house because I needed to be literally within three steps of the toilet. Um, and sometimes that wasn't enough, you know, the sort of three steps was too far. It was distressing because I was a young man, I didn't understand it, and, and it's humiliating, you know, it was because you think at, at that sort of age you're, you're healthy and you don't have to deal. I thought, you know, a lot of bowel control and, and all this sort of stuff was, was for the older generation, but as it turns out, that's the complete opposite. You know, one of, one of the things I, I would have really liked was to, when, I, when I'd first picked up the disease, was to have realised that there was the Crohn's and Colitis UK charity that, that I could have gone to and, and and got some more information. You know, information is key in this, and I think they've done they've done a great job in, in spreading the word. And and yeah, you know, had I done a bit more research, I, I might have been able to, to find out a little bit more about it. But Crohn's and Colitis have, have been brilliant. I'm Rick Parfitt Jr. and I'm a musician, DJ, and a part-time racing driver. I was very shocked because. In, in our family, back through the generations, none of us has ever had anything like that. It's difficult to put into words what you can actually say to a nine-year-old kid who's just developed Crohn's. You've just got to try and be there and be supportive. When I was in hospital, you know, when you're five and a half stone and just had everything cut open, you can't move, you can't Oh, walk, I shall never forget it. He was so incredibly thin. It was an incredible shock, but I mean, he's dealt with it incredibly well and it's not an easy thing to deal with it really isn't. Crohn's can get you into a very dark place and for me it was setting little goals and doing lots of things that made me happy and brought joy to my life which would even out the pain and the suffering that I had to go through as well. Like most people who suffer from Crohn's it made me feel very insecure I was very very thin and so to be able to put a race suit on and be recognized for being really quick as opposed to someone who's just thin and ill was a massive boost to motorsport gave me the positivity to kind of get through the pain. My name is uh, Mrs Rosalind Prescott and I am a BBC political producer. At the time I had no idea, I just put it all down to stress. Um, I was getting extremely tired, finding it very hard to breathe, felt, you know, I just, my chest was so tight. Um, then of course the obvious ones, very bad stomach pains, excruciating at times. 20 times a day I was on the toilet um, at least and that's obviously the more it went on the worse it got. They're only going to tell you bits about it in bits. They don't tell you everything about it, they're fearful to let anybody find out. Even in the family they might mention it but is it, are other people going to know? When I first was diagnosed at my local hospital, um, I was shocked, you know, that they said, yes, you've got ulcerative colitis. She transferred me to the, my local hospital, said I had ulcerative colitis. I thought, fine, bring it on. How do I sort it out? No idea that I would be getting a lot worse. And I was laying in the bed when they actually informed me that they'd have to re remove the whole of my colon and my rectum and that I would have to end up with an ileostomy bag. Crohn's and Colitis UK is having absolutely fantastic. They've been a, a great shoulder to lean on really. I started bringing some volunteers as, with regards to what I had and what the symptoms were and I was feeling so bad on so many occasions. I was like is this normal, is this natural? Crohn's and Colitis UK were there to help me really and advise me. My name is Russell Martin and I play for Norwich City. It's what you dream of as a young boy really, it's a massive massive club and um, a real big fan base and in and around the city it means a lot to everyone and I've enjoyed every minute of it so far. I was complaining of abdomen pain in 2004-2005. In I used to get an acute pain in my left side of my abdomen quite low down. And I think that was the start of it really. And I think it sort of lied dormant for quite a while as it does. It comes and goes, it flares and that really real stress. I was enjoying my job, I love what I do. And so it just sort of it laid there. Um, pretty much the question was, what is it? You know, how, how do you deal with it? And how, how, do you, how do you get it first and foremost? And obviously that's a question that you can't really answer. I've read so many books now and been doing so much research and 
you know, no one actually knows why, why you get it or what triggers it. And at first I was really, really concerned that I might not be able to do the job that I love for much longer because of the, the UC. But I find when I've eaten certain things, even over a couple of days, it makes things a lot worse. So I tend to stay away from uh, gluten and, and, and sweets and sugar. So I tend to juice most of it. And it, at this moment in time, it's fine. It's fine, so I can have apples. and So I enjoy that. And, I never thought I would, but I missed having fruit and veg and stuff. The website really helped me at first because there was nowhere really to go. Um, the doctor admitted, the specialist I saw, you know, the guy who I was seeing regularly, admitted he had limited knowledge of the thing, and I think most people do because it's not, it's not that common. Hello, my name's Jeff Fordley. I play Kane Dingle in Emmerdale. I'd just like to say we need as much money as we can to fund research for Crohn's and Colitis UK, so please, please, Give generously. Hi everyone, it's Rick Prophet Jr. here, um, two-time British GT champion and former extremely average BTCC racer. Um, I just wanted to lend my support to Mitchell's 27-hour live stream. I mean, that's absolutely crazy. Um, and I love the fact that he's raising awareness for Crohn's and Colitis UK. I also suffer from Crohn's and have suffered from with it from the age of nine years old. I've had countless operations and I've been very lucky at the moment to avoid a dystoma. However, a lot of my gut is gone. What people don't realise about the uh, the illness is it's quite, it's extremely debilitating. I mean, the physical side of it, the pain, the fatigue, uh, the constant trips to the loo, and also the social side and mental side of it are extremely tough to take. And you carry those scars most of the way through your life. I still suffer with all of them as well. So anything that raises awareness so that people can understand the illness a lot better is a wonderful thing. So this is why it's important to donate to Crohn's and Colitis UK so that um, people can help get the help that they need to get diagnosed quicker and hopefully help fund vital research into how we can find a bit of a, a cure for this illness because it's just getting more and more prevalent nowadays. So good on you, Mitchell. Uh, well done on your, your driving ability. Uh, online, I was absolutely rubbish. You know, um, I was actually a bit better when I had a proper car underneath me. So you would kick my ass on that level. Um, hopefully everyone, this sort of exposure will help to make everyone understand 
a little bit more about the illness and people who have it to feel a little bit more comfortable. But everyone else, please support Crohn's Colitis UK. It's an amazing cause and uh, something very dear to my heart. And uh, you have my undying love forevermore for supporting such an amazing, worthy cause. Wishing you all the best and thank you for raising uh, awareness for Crohn's Colitis UK. RPJ out. All right, guys, there we go. I am back. All my checks are done. Hopefully that is all OK. Can I get a double thumbs up if the audio and the visual is OK on the stream right now? That would be absolutely brilliant. Um, just a few messages from some of the Crohn's and Colitis ambassadors um, to really highlight why I am doing this. There are there's another video that I haven't played yet. Uh, from Joe, she recorded it mid flare up and it is I think it's quite an eye opener um she had to dig deep to do it saving that one for a little bit later some of those messages you will see throughout peppered throughout the stream um and I've got an interview with uh, Hugh as well and a whole load of other things to come so we've got the room open at the moment I'm not going to welcome everybody in the chat because there's just too much going on at the moment. But we are now into the 27 hours. There is a counter on the stream at the moment, uh, which is counting down um, in the room. We've already got 14 of 16 runners, which I can't believe at two minutes past nine. Um, who have we got in the room? We got uh, Jack Kobe, Kushti, Gamer Dan, Shumi. Too good. M1M Racing. Let me turn the screen over so you can see. Uh, I'm in the Aston Martin with my Crohn's livery. I'm going to try and run Crohn's livery cars all night. Uh, Hoon Forever. Mad Mikey in the the uh, Red Bull livery. Had to happen. Uh, Aid. Fat Dad Gaming. GT Tom. Greg White. Ernie Ball. Malkovich. And uh, Carl Brennan. Welcome, welcome, welcome to you all. That's 16 places already taken. And it's three minutes past. Guys, I cannot, cannot thank you enough for your support. We will get this one underway pretty quickly. The idea for tonight. So to start off with, I am going to be going through all or as many of the races as we can. So we're opening up with the Northern Isle, which is the first one. Top left hand corner of the page that you will all be quite aware of. Um... GR4 cars, and then we're going to go with the classic Mini for those of you who got it when we get to the off-roader races. It's casual as normal. Um, I'll go through the settings for the races in just a moment. And I am just going to be... Well, it's interesting to see how this one's going to go. This is an adventure. I don't know whether I'm going to hold up for the full 27 hours. I don't know whether the live stream will run for the full 27 hours. I don't know whether the equipment will hold out, whether my new wheel will hold out. There are so many ifs and buts tonight. Um, it really is a little bit of a... It's a little bit of a gamble and it's a little bit of a, an adventure, as I say. I have a very strong feeling that the chat is going to be really busy tonight. So if you can put at PlayStation Racer, if you want my attention, Otherwise, the chat is pretty much going to run through very, very quickly and I will not get to everybody. I'm also going to be concentrating on keeping the racing going and keeping the entertainment going, which is what tonight is all about, punctuated with a few of those little cameo videos. Uh, can I just, though, before we get going, I want to spend just a moment to thank everybody. And this comes in two forms. One to everybody that has already do donated. We have got £1,664 already on Just Giving. We've got £150 on PayPal. I'm now looking to possibly do £2,000, which would be way beyond my wildest wishes. So thank you to everybody that has donated. But more, not more, just as much as all of those people, thank you to all of my regulars that have helped me to build this channel, that have subscribed and stayed subscribed. For those of you that race with me night after night, if you guys hadn't supported me over the last 12 months, I would not be sitting here doing the one thing I've wanted to do for the longest time, and that is to do something big for Crohn's and Colitis UK. Without you guys, this would not have happened. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you. You know who you are. 
Many of them are in the room. Many of you will be in the chat. Those of you that supported me, I cannot, cannot, cannot thank you enough. Well, I think with all of that, that we have got a load of people in the room at the moment. And do you know what? I reckon they're all champing at the bit to get going. So, guess what? It all begins right here, right now. Right now, we are six minutes into 27 hours. What was, what was I thinking when I decided to do this? I must be completely crazy. But then again, all of you that know me and that have been following me will know just how crazy, crazy I am. This is just an extension of my craziness. And I tell you what, I tell you what, you are probably going to see more craziness, more craziness during this stream than probably ever before. I tell you what we've got going on at the moment. I'm going to need to join. The problem is everybody's lined up. I'm going to go around to see the guys. Um, I can't actually do a photograph of this because we need to be actually in the race so I can save the replay. Uh, so Ernie, unfortunately, we can't do the picture just yet. Uh, we need to do that actually in the race. And it may well be that we do the picture right up at the beginning. Where is everybody? Whoa! So everybody's lining up beautifully up here. The problem is that um, I can't do a picture, guys. Ugh. This is the hardest thing. It's reversing back without clobbering somebody. Let me just go forward. So everybody's lining up beautifully. But in fact, it's not even worth me lining up. What I'm going to do, I'm, I'm just going to cruise by the guys. Uh, because... <laughs> I need to save it as a replay. Yeah, fact that you've got it. We'll do it on the first lap. We'll do it on the first lap. But look at all these guys. This is, for those of you that are new around here, this is the sort of people that I race with every night. Look, they're all lining up. They're all having a really great time. Really respectful and absolutely brilliant. One of the things that I must say, and I'm going to get the, uh, I'm, I'm just going to get the qualifying underway in just a moment. Um, please keep the chat respectful at all times, and please keep the um, racing respectful as well. We all know the rules. I'm not going to harbour on those very much. So let's get into the qualifying. Let's get going, and then what we'll do <laughs> is we'll do the picture on the first lap. Um, Oh, Manic, I got in everybody's way there. Um, so what I want to do is I just want to get into the... I just want to get into the chat for the moment. Um, and I'll go... Picture on first lap. Okay, to continue right so those of you that uh, I, I don't know how many people in here don't know about Gran Turismo uh, but for those of you that are watching Gran Turismo is an online racing game made famous by the recent film and what we do here is we have a little bit of a warm-up session which I very often miss because I'm too busy jibber jabbering then we'll get into a little bit of qualifier which decides where people start in the race sometimes at the back sometimes at the front depending on the format and um, then we get into the race now guys one of the things that I haven't told you is uh, we're doing this one over I think it's 10 laps and I've got the fuel and tires on 10 so I don't know how these are gonna wear in fact I can tell you now they're probably gonna wear way 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 too quickly on the outside so do you know what I'm gonna do I am going to switch to mediums, which will be not quite so hard wearing. 
not quite so hard wearing. So for those people that are interested in such things, and hopefully the guys are listening, uh, we're racing for real 16 participants. We've got custom weather, early morning, so random weather, rolling start fast is first. We've got 10 times tire and 10 times fuel, five minute qualifier, GL4 cars, racing tires, any tires that they want. And then I've got the normal penalties that we run. Thanks, MC. Ah, oh, Motvago, don't, don't disappear. There will probably be more coming up. It's going to be really, really popular for a while. Really, really popular. Right, where are we? So we've got two and a half minutes. Let's just see how these... Um, let's just see how these medium tyres wear. So the medium tyres aren't as quick as the soft tyres, but they are more durable. And if you can pick up a slipstream, sometimes that can mitigate the differential in uh, performance sometimes not always and of course the guys on soft tires have got more traction they're a little bit more more grippy as we go through the corners hi g dad not a problem my friend we'll see you when we see it so you can see aid has already gone for the hard tires Jack Kobe's on the softs, you can see that on the screen up in the top left hand corner, I'm on mediums at the moment. Or it might be that they're just changing, thinking about their tyres, think about what's going on. So this is very much just a warm up race, it's the first one on the uh, page for the tracks. And then we're just going to go through as many of the tracks as we can in the order that they come out. Yeah, there's Kushti, sport in the livery. Kushti, a very good friend of mine. He's uh, helped me no end with learning to race. Often gives me tips. Uh, Galacticor's front tyre went pop. I tell you what, mine's going too. I'm not going to go a full length on these tyres. I'll tell you that for now. I might actually as one or two of the others have found. I might actually switch, the, switch them out to the hard tyres and we'll see how we go. Wow, 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 wow. So we've got uh, 16, 15 seconds of qualifying to go and then we drop into the race. So on this one, we've got a rolling start with the fastest car first. So the fastest car will lead us away. And this one is going to be all about slipstreaming and also when you pit, if you need to pit, depending on what tyres you are running. And I can guarantee, I can't guarantee because they know me, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if one or two people get caught out on the tyres. Uh, in fact, that gave me three laps of soft, five laps medium and seven laps first. I'm assuming that is hard, but there we go. We shall see, we shall see. So we just got um, a little bit of a rundown at the moment on uh, the time remaining. And then what we'll do is we'll all pop around to wherever people want to actually do the um, to do the photograph. Uh, we then basically all line the cars up. I'll then just do a little move around with the uh, with the camera, and then uh, we'll head off then, and we'll just start the race. Oh, yay! Ellie's in the room, and Liam's in the room. Ellie and Liam uh, is my my. My youngest daughter and her fiance so welcome 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 uh, there could be all sorts of people popping in tonight uh, including my boss which could be interesting um, some of my friends family and colleagues could well see a side of me that they've never seen before <laughs> hey shane's watching too good afternoon shane or good evening as it is now quarter past here right, here we go so what we're going to do now is we will start the race 
and then everybody will just go around to where that photograph is going to be we're going to get a photograph of all of the people that are here now and i may well end up doing this again um later on when we get some of the people that aren't in the photograph now may well go in one in a little while we shall see uh but this is it this is it so a little bit of messing around just to start off with so guys guys we are not racing can i remind everybody we are not racing keep your cars in pristine condition please no ramming no bumping and um i'm not actually quite sure where we're going to line up so uh no doubt one of the guys will let us know and again if anybody in chat wants to um get my attention then uh please simply add playstation racer at the beginning of your chat message and uh i will then hopefully be able to see you right now this is difficult this is actually a lot of you are going to laugh at this because it's actually a lot harder than it looks to do this uh actually and um what you need to do is you need to not overlay somebody all right Christy is actually there so let me just come back because we've got the same livery um, I'm looking for a place so I could get in next to the hurricane hurricane even I'll remind you this is not actually as easy as you might think so you're going to see a few of the guys going backwards and forwards um, Right, guys, what you want to try and do is put your nose on the red line if you can. You could put your nose on the red line, that'd be brilliant. Just roll forward a little bit. It's actually quite difficult for me to see when everybody's in place I can see one car just moving we do have different views of course within the game uh, I'm on this one at the moment just so I could see as soon as I go the follow cam it's hard to uh, to look left and right uh, but I can when I'm in the car so I think hopefully I think everybody is in place Oh, we've got one more car moving. So, guys, you just need to make sure that you're not ghosted. Make sure you're not overlaying another car. Where are we? I think... Oh, I just got the Hurricane next to me is moving. And we got a little car up the front. Just got one car. I can see one car just to the left of me that is going in and out at the moment. Right. Have we got everybody sorted out? Let me just have a little look. Bear with me a second. I think what we probably have. Right. Hopefully we got everybody. Let's go around to the start, guys. Now you'll find there's a little bit of a delay from me talking and everybody making a move. But what we're going to do now is we'll go around to the start and then we'll just have a mass start. What I've got to remember to do is to take a copy of the replay of this race at the end of it and then I can create a picture uh, at some point. I'll probably do that around about midnight when we finish, when we finish up. Right guys, try and uh, not to overlap another car if you can. <laughs> Mitchell go go Ernie Ball I love it look at all these it's quite a few guys who've got the same livery as me on these cars and again I'm just looking around for everybody 
Hopefully I'm at the back. I am at the back. Right, guys, we're going to go on three. One, two, three. And then I have to wait because the stream is behind me. <laughs> so I don't know when they're going to go. There we go. We're off. Hey, Kuro. No worries, my friend. As you can tell, everybody goes away before me. Uh, so I get left behind a little bit on this one, which is not a problem. Uh, a lot of this, I just love to hang out with these guys. I love to race. Uh, I'm not very quick. I'm not always up the Well, I'm very rarely up the front. I'm normally up the back. Uh, but I just love racing. I love chilling with these guys. Ah, uh, Cheech. That's all right. This one doesn't really count. All right, where's Fat Dad going? Let's see if I can bump draft Fat Dad, catch up a little bit. Toes, it's a bit difficult to bump draft around here because it's so tight. Uh, for those of you that uh, don't follow racing, bump drafting is when you're going in a straight line, you're strip, sli strip streaming, streaming even, strip, sh slip streaming, I can't get my words out. When you are slip streaming the car in front and you just give them a little bit of a bump, it's not a hard whack, it's just a little bit of a bump. And what it does is it pushes them forwards. And then you can carry on with the slipstream and then catch up with well, the guys up front. Except uh, Fat Dad got that a bit wrong into the wall there. I did actually manage to straighten him up. So I just gave him a little bit of a bump there. Just got to be very careful with the bumps into the corners because you can bump somebody off and some people are going to have to pit some people won't uh, for those of you that are watching uh, you'll see down in the bottom right no, sorry bottom left hand corner I can't get my words out tonight the bottom left hand corner there is a little graphic which has got RH that means I'm running the racing hard tyres and on the right hand side you can see where it's going from white to red the red is showing the wear, so my oh, front right hand tyre is completely, uh, well not completely shot, but almost completely shot at this point. And uh, you can see that the left hand side is fine. The reason for that is all of the weight and the work is being done on the right hand side. Those of you into physics will be able to relate to that. Oh, it's hard at the moment so I've lost all grip on the front now so my car is constantly sliding through the corners into the wall hitting the wall will slow me down and there we go that is the first race very very simple it gets a lot more difficult than that that is one of the oval races very very simple just a warm-up race but a nice one for us to just get to grips with the cars and also to get that all important photograph done. So I'm going to go into the replay and save the replay. Uh, I'll share it later on. Uh, so replay is saved. And then your winner there was Jack Kobe. Uh, he was running in a GR Supra. And he got a 16.1 and the fastest lap. Uh, Greg White in second. Gamer Dan in third. Aid in fourth. Pushti in fifth. GT Tom in sixth. Malkovich seventh. Who forever eighth. Too good in ninth. Shumi in tenth. Ernie Ball eleventh. I managed to get twelfth, and in fact, that gaming in thirteenth. Jenky one lap behind in fourteenth. Then one M in fifteenth. And Mad Mikey was a DNF. Now, no Mad Mikey is having problems with his TV and stuff, so I suspect he probably uh, he, he probably got uh, crashed out again. But I hope that's not the case. But your top three: Jack Kobe, Greg White, and Gamer Dan. Congratulations, our first three winners of the night. OK, so what happens now is we move simply in that one. There's only one track. We now move across to Broad Bean Raceway. We've got two here to do. We've got the full course and the full course reverse. So we'll go into the full course. And for those of you that are now just joining us, the parameters for these races, um, we're doing 10 laps of the smaller circuits and we'll drop that down to a lower number for the bigger tracks. Uh, the weather is custom. We go in uh, early morning 
the variable time speed is five. That's just how quick it goes through the day. A rolling start fast is first. I'm not going to go through this every time, guys, so don't worry. BOP is on. The settings, we're only allowing brake balance so people can set the brake balance in their cars. Boost is off. Slipstream is real. Uh, mechanical damage is light. So if you do get damage on your car, it will, um, it will change. Uh, RL, the two figures do not update at the moment, but I can update them manually. Let me just do an update uh, for you all. Let's just see if this works. Has that worked? Oh, wow, 200. Oh, my word. Um, I'm going to assume, because I can't see, that... Um, RL has made the donation, so thank you, thank you ever so much, RL. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, those figures don't update. They're just linked to the two websites, the Just Giving website and the PayPal website, and I will just be refreshing that uh, as and when. But RL, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Wow, we're not too far away from that Magic 2000 now. Um, back to where I was. Uh, tire wear 10 and fuel consumption 10. Uh, thank you for the uh, for the cups, Shimi, for RL90. Um, completely lost my channel thought now. <laughs> and uh, the we're in GR4 cars, all racing tyres, no need to change. And we've got our normal penalties on. So that's basically what we're running with, lads, in, unless we want to change as we go through the evening. Right, so it should, there we go, change. So on this one, it's still quite an easy track, uh, but we've now got a couple of other corners we need to worry about. And um, yeah, we will see how things go. Um, it may well be that what I've got to do is to take the um, tire wear down a little bit. That did seem a little bit aggressive. Uh, I'm actually gonna try with the uh, mediums this time. And we'll see how we go. So I'm going to enter the race. And then we'll, we'll get the qualifying. So what I end up doing is telling people when the qualifying will start. So qualifier at uh, 21.30. And that way everybody knows when the qualifying is going to start. And people can have just a little bit of a run round just to check a few things out. Uh, still 16 runners at the moment. Let's just have a quick look and see how these tyres are doing. Oh, somebody's out in the dreaded Mazda. I say the dreaded Mazda, it's only because it's been a very dominant car for a long time in the GR4 class, but it's a good car to drive. And the gentleman who's driving that sure knows how to drive it. I'm not necessarily racing to win. I'm just racing to enjoy myself this evening. And just to try and... Whoa! There you go, into the wall. I forgot about that corner. Just trying to get some awareness for Crohn's and Colitis this evening. And if we can raise a few quid for the charity as well in the process, then that would be all the better. As we are doing so already. Some brilliant donations already. And again, I thank everybody that has donated and that uh, plans to donate really really appreciate that very very much and we've got a few cameo videos those of you that uh, dialed in just before nine o'clock will have seen some of the ambassadors talking about the Crohn's illness right let's get this one underway shall we yeah some of you will have seen the ambassadors talking about you know their illnesses and how it affects them or their loved ones um, and hopefully those messages are really putting across why I'm doing this live stream over the next sort of um, 26 and a half hours. We're half hour in already. Uh, jo Maddow suffers really badly with Crohn's. Uh, she's done a video for me, which I will play later on. She did it um, midway through uh, a flare up. And uh, yeah, well, you'll, you'll see. Whoa that's the wrong button you'll see how it can affect people affects people in lots of different ways 
Uh, this is the Crohn's and colitis, so it covers um, not only Crohn's disease, but also ulcerative colitis and the associated uh, illnesses. They go largely unnoticed because you cannot see them, uh, but boy, they are debilitating, they are horrible, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I am doing this, just to try and get some awareness. Anyway, let's get back to the racing for the moment. I certainly don't need the track map on. You'll find some of the races I'm going to race, some of them I'll commentate. Um, some of them I'll race, crash, and then commentate. <laughs> uh, I don't really have a massive plan for the seat for tonight, with his 27 hours. I'm really just going to see where the journey takes me. And you might even find the inner Mitchell Morgan child will come out. Incidentally, some of you that know me personally, I go on under the name of Mitchell Morgan online, so don't get confused. Uh, that's what all these guys know me as. There's a story why it's Mitchell Morgan, and it all goes back to the F1 game. I've got a car coming up the inside of me. Just need to give him a bit of room. That's Jinky. Unusually, it's not in his red, black, and yellow, sorry, not red, grey, black, and yellow livery. He's sporting uh, my Crohn's livery for me, which is really great. Gamer Dan's just gone by on the outside. Here's another one of my regular racers, a very good racer, but looks like he doesn't like the tyres or something. He's just come in. That was why he just uh, disappeared off the screen. Basically quit out of the lap. So we normally do a five minute qualifier, both to arrange the grid order, because I hate setting the grid order myself, and also to give everybody an opportunity to uh, get to know the track, because some of these tracks will all be new to people. For quite a lot of the guys that I race with run the daily races and they will know some of the tracks very, very, very well. And you're going to see some superb racing. Uh, some of the tracks, not quite so much. And you could see some not so great racing. Hey, Mad Mike, he's back in uh, back racing. He's in the Red Bull livery. I can see just uh, out my uh, back window. Whoa, he's just disappeared. I hope that isn't his TV given out again. And... Um, what you want to try and do on this one is stay out of the wall because it will give you damage. Now you can see that I've got damage because that little graphic in the bottom left hand of the wind, the, the screen, just underneath my uh, my video, my image, uh, you'll see that the front bumper and the right hand wheel is flashing red. And that means I've got damage on that. That means that I might lose some steering input. I might lose some aero. Uh, basically it's going to slow me down and that can be on some of the laps as much as one or two seconds uh, we've got light damage on which means it clears up and as you can see now that light damage has disappeared towards the left hand side of the screen you've got the guys that are racing you can see what tires are on so gamer dan is currently got the hard tires on he's in the pits so you can see uh, you can also see the times that some of them are running on the right hand side of the screen you can see my lap time so purple is my best lap time and then at the very top right of the screen you can see the track map which is showing all of the races that are on the track in blue and then my car or the car that we're watching because don't forget later on we could be watching some people um, the car that we're watching will be in red and then of course the dials at the bottom of the screen hopefully will make sense to most people with the fuel gauge the myelometer the rev counter uh for, at the moment the, whoa the radar in the middle is helping me to see where other cars are on the track uh, as you can see there jack just ran me into the wall so one of the rules that we have is if you spoil somebody's lap you just give the place back uh by way of an apology and he's just did that so thank you jack for uh, giving the place back 
this is the respectful racing we're talking about you can see this racing medium tyre might get me to the end of the race we shall see but that is the qualifier over <coughs> in the chat you can already see that um, some people are apologising for, for bumps it happens we're all amateurs and uh, some of us are wannabe racers and uh, <laughs> Jack says that was just for an example yeah good on you mate nice one <laughs> why didn't I think of that <laughs> oh this is cool I'm loving this I absolutely love it I do this Monday to Friday and I love it racing with these guys uh, unfortunately we can only get 16 races in the room at any one time so there will be people in the chat that desperately want to get in and race and some of them will swap out uh, some people will disappear a little bit later and let other people race and uh, yeah it's just absolutely absolutely brilliant so can I just thank everybody for supporting the uh, the channel right now? Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Those of you that are watching, those of you that are racing, it's absolutely brilliant. As I said earlier on, if you do want my attention, please use the app PlayStation Racer. Uh, Kuro, good luck. We'll join you after if there's spaces. Hopefully you will. Wow, 41 viewers. Aze just mentioned 41 people watching at the moment. That is brilliant absolutely brilliant if you could hit a like on the video that would be absolutely fantastic i'd love to get a good lot of likes on this one uh do i have lots of snacks at the ready yes i've got my favorite custard creams ready i've got wagon wheels i've got some lunch for tomorrow i've got water i've got coffee i've got red bulls oh i am loaded up ready to rumble i haven't got any bacon rolls rack what are you doing stop it with the bacon rolls <laughs> oh for those of you that uh, are new around here um bacon rolls and steaks and all sorts of things it's a standing joke but unfortunately i haven't got time to tell you uh, <laughs> but Drac is almost definitely going to be chucking up pictures of bacon and all sorts of things in a minute um, just to uh, put me off um, uh, don't want to run into Mad Mikey was that Mad Mikey or was that M1? I, I don't know who it was wasn't looking no it wasn't Mad Mikey it was M1M uh, um, yeah, there was one night when we were racing and somebody went off to have a bacon sandwich and my stomach rumbled and it was like, oh, I could murder a bacon roll right now. And uh, then it just got, we went into one of our silly moments where I think Drac was sending Uber Eats round with uh, a bacon roll. It never did turn up. I'm still waiting. Um, but as I told the guys, there was an Uber Eats van down the side of the, uh, the end of the road here. And I swear the guy was eating my bacon roll, having a laugh at me. Um, but we uh, we do all sorts of weird stuff. We had um, we were racing Jedis and Stormtroopers the other night and all sorts of stuff. There you go, RL 250. Custard creams and bacon rolls, the food of champions. Well, I'm not a champion. I'm way 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 down the order at the moment right let me just um see if i can get a bit of a shift on and possibly catch up with some of these guys rather than jibber jabbering all the time we've got a slow moving car here who's saver unusually slow This is a corner that catches a lot of people out. It's not Hoon Saver, it's Hoon Forever. I, I was calling him Hoon Saver for the longest time and then it dawned on me one day that it was Hoon Forever and I keep on getting the name wrong. Whoa, we got Malkovich off. That's what all the tyre smoke was. let's try not to whack the wall now if I can get on the back of who forever I might be able to do a bit of slip streaming and bump drafting although bump drafting around here is difficult there's only one real place where you can do that 
and that is after this corner oh we got M1M in the wall as well but uh, home forever has got away from me at the moment we're up into 12th at the minute So we've got some very very gentle tracks to start off with and then we'll start to get into more complex stuff as we go on we've also got some iconic tracks to run like brands hatch into lagos suzuka spa francochamp uh the uh, circuit de la sarf which is the le mans track and some great tracks that we can run tonight uh but Vegas says, and I can't read it because I'm going through these corners. It's so hard to stream and race at the same time. Uh, he says, looks so cool with all the yellow and purple liveries. It does, my friend, it does. And it's nice that some of the guys have taken my livery as is. And some of them have also customised it with their own spin. Which is nice. You can see the GT Tom here. Um, I do keep having words with him, though. He's... He's only given me one star on the back of his car. I, I think he's, uh, it must be a reference to my driving because I'm so rubbish. Oh, I've gone a bit wide there. Yeah, he only allows me one star. I keep saying it should be five stars, but no, he, he never changes it. It's always just one star, Mitchell. But he's probably right. I probably don't deserve more than one star the way I race. The other thing I should point out to those of you that are new around here is that we have a mixed lobby of skill sets in here. Uh, you'll notice that some of the uh, the DR ratings are A plus down to E, E being the uh, the lowest, so the least skilled, and A plus being some very very quick races. Right, okay, I've got one lap to do on no tyres, so I've got to be very very careful with this. Uh, front tyre it's sliding already ah oh, big slide on the marbles marbles are those little grainy bobbly bits you can see at the side of the track I'm just trying to get up the inside of Tom here can we make it can we get there just gonna come across the line slipstream in unfortunately not and you'll find a lot of them spin on the line well, 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 well. Woo! Okay, so we've got... Um, sometimes it's a bit of an overrun, sometimes there isn't. You're just seeing the overrun drop down because so many of us have crossed the line. So that is the end of race number two. So I got a clean race bonus. That means I didn't have any penalties and didn't hit anybody. And we kept it clean. And some of the guys are already noticing that um, some of the tyres and the fuel is going to come into play this evening. So the result, I always go through the result at the end of the race, or I try to. So our winner there was Greg White in the Cayman. A gamer down in second in the Master 3. Jack Kobe in the Hurricane. Aid in fourth. Shumi in fifth. Ernie Ball in sixth. Jenky Racing in seventh. Uh, too Good in eighth. Boom Forever in 9th, GT Tom in 10th, I got 11th, Fat Dad Gaming in 12th, Malkovic in 13th, M1M Racing in 14th, Mad Mikey 15th, and Kushti weirdly down in 16th, but with the fastest lap, 29.8, so I don't quite know what happened there, he must have spun or something, uh, but your top three in that one, Greg White, Gamer Dan, and Jack Kobe, so all nice and easy to start off with. So we'll go across to the event settings and as throughout the evening, we're going to be going through all of these tracks, loads of them, while people are with me, lots and lots of tracks. Some of them are just one way round. Others have got different um, configuration of track and some of them have got reverse. So we're going to go across to do that same track, but we're now doing it in the reverse order. All of the same stats, but we're now doing it in the reverse order. And we'll do it all again. 
Hey, it looks like um, McVag is in. Kyle? Galacticoy says there's only one star Mitchell and that's me, sir. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, again, for those of you new around here, if you do want to get my attention in the chat, uh, please join in the chat, by the way. Um, if you want to get my attention, please put at PlayStation Racer and it'll put my name in orange and then I'll be able to see because the chat is going through very, very, very quickly. And um, the other thing I am going to be doing from time to time is just updating the um, the amounts. I'm not expecting them to move too much tonight because quite a lot of donations have already been made. Um, it would be lovely to get that over the £2,000 mark. And we're on 1869 now. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, Aid, two fourth places so far. He's never going to get a podium. Do you know what? If I know Aid, he'll get a podium. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. He'll get a podium. Um, let's go qualifier at 21. We shouldn't need too much of getting used to this one. So I'm going to go 2149. And you'll notice, guys, that whilst I'm looking at the chat and running the stream and sorting things out, they're all practicing and I'm not. So they all get a head up on me. They always get a head start on me. Um, but there we go. This is the chores of being a host, but I absolutely love it. So the people we've got in the room, you know, in the lobby at the moment, uh, we got Jack Kobe, Kushti, Greg White, Gamer Dan, Shumi, Too Good, Jenki, Ernie Ball, Hoon Forever, Malkovich, Aid, Fat Dad Gaming, GT Tom, Carl Brennan, myself and Mad Mikey. Those are your 16 runners at the moment. And we're just waiting for a couple of people changing cars, which is absolutely fine. People will do that. And um, that's why we just give a little bit of a notice on the screen when we're going to start, because I'm very good at cutting people off. They disappear to change their car, thinking they've got a bit of time. And unfortunately, they don't. Woo! Wow, crazy, crazy already. 39 people watching the stream, which is great. And again, thank you to everybody that is donated, that is racing with me this evening, that's contributing in the chat. Thank you ever so much. Uh, this is going to be one of the busiest parts. I am suspecting from around about 11 o'clock, it will go quiet. And uh, then I could be doing all sorts of different things. Uh, at the moment, we are on uh, friends only. So I'm only racing with people that are friends of mine uh, or that are friends with me in the uh, PlayStation app. From midnight, we'll go public when we will be racing in public lobbies. So it will be completely different. Right, let's get this qualifying underway. And we'll enter into race number three, which is track number two, but we're in the reverse way now. Um... Shumi, let me know. I'll hop out, focus on post midnight. Shumi, you do whatever you want, mate. You do whatever you want. One of the things I try to do on my lobbies is to um, keep the races short and sweet. And that allows people to jump in and jump out as they want to. Um, quite a lot of streamers will run half hour or hour long races. I tend not to do that. Purely because I like people being able to jump in, have a race, jump out, you know. And the other thing as well is we don't tend to do, um, of course it's a bump there. We don't tend to do a lot of tro uh, championships and tournaments because obviously then people have got to um, commit to the time and that's something I'm trying to avoid. RL 250 is going to be on in about 10 minutes. Oh, I'm off the track. I have to watch that one. Thank you to everybody in chat that is uh, contributing in the chat. It's really great to have so many people watching. 
watch some great liveries very often what I will do is to run through the liveries but I often do that on a uh, when I'm commentating oh that is catching me out every time that corner got uh, Jack in the dodge just underneath me at the moment he's just backed out So the quality period is quite long for this particular race, uh, probably longer than I need it to be. But when we get into some of the longer races, then uh, you know the guys will need that amount of time just to familiarise themselves with the track, to get used to what gears to run, and thinking about their tyres and their strategies. So not so important on this one. You see the car behind me; they're just bump drafting me. Thank you for that. You'll see sometimes that people will put their hazard lights on. I'm trying to watch what I'm doing at the moment, so I didn't do that. The hazard lights is, is well, normally to say, you know, thank you for the bump draft and or bump me. In particular, when two people working together. Uh, come on, get around. Oh. Yeah, lobotomy scam. You're a great man, Mitchell. Don't ever change. I don't intend to, my friend. I am what I am. I am what I am. Okay, Mad Mikey, no worries. Catch you a little later. Oh, my word. Off the track again, that corner. I think I've just taken uh, Fat Dad with me. Guys, do not follow me around this track. Because that corner is getting me every single time. Right, so we come around the big corner, then we get this fast left, but we just need to be a little bit oh, careful because we need to keep it on track through there. Jenky got a brilliant run through there, as did Aid. Then we've got to get it slowed down without running into the car in front. I think the uh, five minute quality was a little bit long for this one. Basically, it's a full race distance. Uh, but I've set the parameters up just to see me through the night because otherwise my brain is going to get scrambled. So for some of these smaller races, you're basically going to get two for one. But that is the way it is. Well, Ernie Ball got a nice message on the back of his uh, McLaren there. So, in a moment, we will be going racing proper. So, we could have quite easily done a two or three minute quality on this one. But, you know, some people might want to come in, check out their tyres, come back in, change, see if something works better, it doesn't change again. Ah, didn't pull the handbrake quick enough. So you can see on the screen there all the cars that people are running. So Jack's in the uh, Viper. Uh, Too Good is in the McLaren 650S. Christie's in the V8 Vantage Aston Martin. Uh, Home Forever is in the Toyota Supra. Gamer Dan is in the Mazda 3. AIDS is in the Lamborghini. Uh, Greg White is in a Porsche, so we've got a big old mix of cars. Shumi is in the Alfa Romeo 4C. Uh, Fat Dad Gaming is in the um, Megane. So um, quite um, quite a big difference of cars that we've got in this particular one. I think uh, we're just waiting for a couple of cars that are running around at the moment. Christian Aiden, I suspect it will probably jump. So on the back of... Uh, was it Greg's car, Ernie's? One of the I think it was Ernie's car. He's got uh, Mitchell go go go, which is pretty cool. I love that. Good evening, Dan. How are you, my friend? I hope that you are well. I hope that you are well. Woo! Lots and lots of people in the chat going through. Captain uh, 
or oh, 20 I haven't seen and Seji, Drac Fury, Fat Dad Gaming, M1M, MC I saw in earlier, Kushti, Galactical. Oh, so many people. So many people in the room. So many people. I'm just going to give it a moment or two just in case anybody wants to make a change to their car. Uh, Fat Dad Gaming, 40 likes already. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. RL, 9010. Yep, we're on full. we've been a full house since two minutes Somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. Two minutes past nine, I think we went full house. Certainly by about ten past, we were full house. Absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. And I will update the, um, the amounts from time to time. Uh, but we've already started to get some great donations. Um, 1869 I'm hoping I'd like to try and hit £2,000 for the charity tonight. Uh, but we've got such a long way to go. And then once we finish with the um, the friends only lobbies, I'm going to be going public lobbies as well, probably. And uh, let uh, other people in. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So here we go, guys. Let's see how we can do this one. Let's see if I can actually stick with a few people in this one. So I could go quiet on the... Uh, on the chat although i've just seen the fact that gaming says i'm tired already need a big bacon sandwich and a hot cup of tea oh my friend get them ready i'll be round in a minute i've got a couple of videos to run i can leave it running i'll pop round we'll have a quick cup of tea a nice bacon sarnie oh set me up just nice oh have we started with the food already we're not even an hour in we're just coming up for an hour in Right, this is the difficult corner. So even I slowed down there and I still got it wrong. Just trying to get on the back of Shumi and Ernie Ball up front here. Oh, I left that too late. Broke way too late into the wall. In fact, Dad, thank you for the bump. Jenky just threw on the inside as I caught the wall. We see how it slows you down when you touch the wall. It's better to lose a little bit of speed and miss the wall than to catch the wall. So none of these guys are actually breaking through there. Well, Jenky just touched his brakes at the end there. But some of these cars do um, behave differently. So some you'll need to brake, some you won't. Jenky sporting my livery with a couple of little changes. Thank you ever so much for that. Couldn't quite get up the inside of him there. Oh, no, I've caught him. So what I've got to do is back off. Let him through. Because that was my mistake. Not quite sure what was going on with Ernie Ball there. I think that was Ernie going slow. Whoa! IRL 250 is happy to wait for a space. IRL, oh, where are you? Are you in the UK or the US? I always think you're the US, but I'm never quite sure. USA. Ah, so I can see that uh, later on is probably going to be better for you. You'll have to get hold of your US friends and see if you can get them in the lobby later. I'm feeling surprisingly good, all things considered. Although we've got a long way to go yet. We've got a countdown timer at the bottom of the YouTube video. And I'm not even looking at that or thinking about that right now. All right, let's just slow down through there. Let's see if we can get on the back of Jenky through here. He's just a little bit cleaner than me through there. A little bit quicker. Oh, caught the wall. That's not going to help. Oh, Ernie Ball's got problems with the internet. 
You'll find one or two of the guys I race with have internet issues, which is a real pain. And Matt Mikey has problems with his television. Whoa, big slide. You can see now that my tyres have gone off. I was hoping that the racing medium tyres were going to get me to the end. We've got just a few laps to do, but you could see my right-hand front tyre is completely red. I've got no tread on that whatsoever. So I'm just going to need to try and manage that because pitting will kill my race. So I'm just going to try and manage that. In real life, of course, the wheel would probably burst. Whether it will in the game or not, I don't know because I don't often run this long with no grip. Ernie Ball's back. Good, 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 good. Whoa. As you can see there, look, no grip whatsoever. Straight into the barrier. I've lost, I've lost the grip on the near side rear tyre now, the left hand rear tyre and that's sliding the car around like you wouldn't believe. Having just to back out, you can see how the car in front is just running away. I'm going to assume that the car is better on its tyres than the Aston Martin. Ah, RL is in the UK. come around to finish this one I'm just going to try not to slide into the wall just slight lift in there a little bit of a feather of the throttle just to get through can we catch this car can we get Christy on the line oh yeah yeah got a yellow flag there whoa I think he was waiting for me hey Tony Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, God, it's warm in here already. I could be getting my uh, my fan out later on. So uh, on that one, you can see that I got a clean race bonus. We came ninth and my position was raised two. So we started 11th and we finished in ninth, which is good. We want to try and finish higher than we started is is one of the things that we like to do in this game so your your result for that one uh jack kobe in the viper with a 30.1 didn't quite manage to break the 30 young jack never mind never mind never mind uh, Shumi in second with a 30.3 so fractionally behind uh home, uh home forever in third with a 30.9 uh too good in fourth with a 30.8 and then gamer dan in fifth greg white in sixth Aid in 7th, Jenky 8th, I got ninth. Back Dad Gaming in 10th, Tom in 11th, Malkovich 12th, Kyle in 13th, uh, Kushti in 14th, and Ernie Ball with technical issues with a DNF, but you're top three on that one. Jack, Kobe, Shumi, and Hoon forever. Right, moving swiftly on, because there's a lot of tracks for us to go through, and it was getting a little bit easy so now we start getting complicated. So we've got Dragon Trail, International Raceway, Seaside. We've got the normal clockways, clockwise version, and we've got the reverse. But we've also got Gardens and Gardens Reverse. So we've got four races at this particular track. Uh, I'm going to change this now down to, I think I'm going to go seven laps on this one. Um, I'm going to change the event settings and we'll see how we go. So we've still got the same tyre and fuel wear. Nobody has shouted at me yet to reduce that. So I'm going to leave that as it is until somebody says, Oi, can we do something different? Um, and then we, we can reduce the number of laps. Um, I'll show you the tyre the, 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 the wear or the fuel Hey, I'm seeing Spretzatura 1989. Just a good look, mate. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Spretzatura is, uh, Andrew is my boss, big donator to the cause. Uh, thank you ever so much for that. Absolutely brilliant. So now I need to be sensible and not be silly because my boss is watching. Um, that ain't going to happen. 
I only have one mode when I'm live streaming and that's silly silly. Uh, those of you that <laughs> follow me night after night will know that. Uh, so he's going to see a very, very different side of me tonight. Very different side of me tonight. Uh, we're in a, uh, a track that I don't particularly like. There's one or two guys in here that are really quick around here. Really, really quick. Really quick. Um, Andrew says I'll log off soon. You don't need to log off, my friend. You do not need to log off. I promise I'll be back in at work Friday, nine o'clock sharp. I promise I won't be late. Um, but yeah, Spectatura and Revelation Software, two companies I work for, uh, both big contributors to the total. So a big, big shout out to them and a big shout out to everybody that's contributed. Um, it's been some some really nice donations. Uh, not quite hitting the 2000 at the moment. Not far off it, though. Uh, but we've only really just started. So, you know, anything can happen yet. Anything can happen yet. Got a long, long way to go. <laughs> right. So where are we? We're going to start this one. I said at 2207. So let's get the qualifying underway. Uh, some of the people to watch around here, Jack, Kobe, Kushti, uh, in particular, very, very quick. Uh, I noticed that Kushti's dived into the Mazda. He is blinding around here in the Mazda, so one to watch. And, uh, well, I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go as quick as I can and see what happens. Um, when you're live streaming, it's quite difficult to keep up with everything. Now, I might actually have the wrong tyres on for this one. Because we've reduced the number of laps, the soft tyres could well be the tyre to be on. It just really depends on how much they're going to wear. This is the first of the difficult corners. You don't want to take too much of that kerb. It does unsettle the car, but you want to get a good exit to go up this hill. This is only the outlaps, so it doesn't matter too much. Turn in early, sweep across the apex there. I've missed it. Break heavily at the beginning of that red bit. Try and pick up the apex through here, and then they've got to run down the hill to a section that catches a lot of people out. It's very quick. But this corner is a little bit unsighted. It's around the side of the barrier. And you will probably see a few people, including me, winding up on the left-hand side through there, especially with these curbs, because they really do upset the car a lot. They really do. So as you come down here, we're looking for the beginning of the, the black and white curb, slowing it down, probably a little bit soon there. We then have what's called the chicane of death. I am almost definitely going to become a casualty of the, the chicane of death throughout this stream. So you'll know why and I'm a casualty of it already. Everybody pummels into there. I'm going to get out of the way of the car behind. This is only the outlap, thank goodness. But the chicane of death can be an absolute race killer for a lot of people. Several different ways of doing this corner. But again, another tricky one. Very technical circuit, this. Very technical and a lot of people very, very good at it. So now we are into our first flying lap. This is the first one that is going to matter. Um, I've got eight behind me. I've got Gamer down in front. So again, a little bit of a uh, a little bit of pressure from the front and the rear at the moment. Oh, so I've gone a bit deep into that one. Although Gamer Dan's got it sideways too, that's going to let A through. He's actually backed out of that one. Do need to concentrate a little bit. I don't want to upset these guys too much. Hey, do you want to go through, mate? You're quicker than me. Go through. And the Supra, go through. Whilst I'm running the uh, running the stream, I know that these guys are so much faster than me. Uh, I can race better and quicker when I'm not streaming and I'm not talking. I'm concentrating. Um, but when we are doing these lobby races with my friends, I don't really mind. I just like to run the stream. A 
Again, if you want my attention in chat, please use at PlayStation Racer at the beginning of your chat message. Uh, otherwise, I am likely to miss it. Putting that PlayStation Racer will put a little orange box around my name and it jumps off the screen and I can see it. Because uh, the chat is going through pretty quickly. And I have got a few messages to play as we go through uh, from some of the Crohn's ambassadors just talking about the uh, the disease, which is really, really horrible. Uh, Joe Mayla half suffers really badly from it. And I have actually got a video from her as well uh, while she's going through a um, going through a Crohn's attack. Whoa, way too deep, way too deep. Just trying to use the gears there to slow the car down. That didn't quite work. Missed my breaking point completely. And again. Down in the description should be details of where you can donate if you wish to. All donations will be very, very greatly received. And I might actually try and race better if people donate. <laughs> That's actually a very good point. I should have done that. Put the Just Giving link in, uh, in the chat. But it is in the uh, description of the video. So if you look at the YouTube video in the dis below the video in the description, you will find links to both PayPal and Just Giving in there. Where are we? Final lap. And then we'll be getting into the race. Thank you, Dan. I much appreciate that. Oh, thank you, Andrew, for posting it in the chat. Hmm. I was considering putting in Stream Elements, but Stream Elements has a habit of taking over. But it's it's in the uh, it's in the description as well if anybody wants it. Woo! Wow. So as I suspected, it looks like Kushti is going to be on the top of the tree. This is one of his best tracks. He's an absolute master around here. But I'm interested because I think this is the first time that I've seen Kushti and Jack go up against each other. So I am really really excited to see how that is going to go. Um, and I'm actually going to do something really, really, really strange because I have a very funny feeling that this is going to be one of the best races that you've seen around here, guys. So I am going to start the race. Let me just make sure everybody's all set and ready to rumble. Um, OK, oh, Jess and whom forever. Um, I don't think they're actually running at the moment. Uh, it doesn't look like they are. So I'm going to start this one. We've got 14 runners. So I'm going to start the race. But I am immediately going to jump out of the race. I am going to commentate this one. Oh, RL9010. We've got a couple of non-runners in this one. If they are not running in the next one, then I will ask them to vacate and we'll get you in. Because uh, we are going to be doing this one in reverse as well um, in a little while. Oh, wrong, wrong button. So I'm going to exit out of there. Yes, I do want to quit. We'll spectate. We'll put the information on. And then what I normally do is I normally go into follow cam and we'll follow a few of the guys. So uh, at the front here, we've got Kushti is taking the lead in the Mazda. Jack Kobe behind our 2A plus racers. 
RL250 is just in front of us and then we've got Gamer Dan. One of the other views that we've got is we can have the refer to as the fan view so you can see some of the liveries and you can see somebody's making a move up the inside the red and white car there making a move through so Kushti still leading everybody away at the moment and then in the top right hand corner you can see the map so you can see just how close some of the racing is um and you got dave parker in the suzuki making a move too let's go back to the follow cam and just keep an eye on edge well kushti's just made a very rare mistake which is that uh, jack kobe and rr250 through greg white's right on his back bumper as well now so kushti's going to be in recovery mode uh, but if i know him that will not stop him and he will be right back there before long although greg white is having a good go on the outside here and is he going to get that move done yes he is so Greg, a lovely move through there. You can see that uh, Kushti has got damage on the front and the left. That can be what the difference makes. If you haven't got a top performing car, you can be in trouble. As we go through the chicane of death, we're on board with RL250 with Jack up front. RL250 right up, up behind the back bumper of Jack. Nicely navigating through the chicane of death, the pair of them. You've got to watch that wall on the exit as well. Greg White and Kushti have come through there quite nicely as well. Further back, we've got Gamer Dan and Thugs. Thugs in the Ferrari that we're on board with at the moment. Then we've got Ernie Ball just off the back with that Mitchell Go 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 logo on the back. Sporting the Crones logo. Kushti's off again on the grass. What is going on with Kushti tonight? I think we need to ride, need to ride on board. Uh, eight. And uh, okay, it's Malkovich was in the uh, Suzuki. He's just making a move on aid to get, uh, sorry, on, on, yeah, Malkovich on aid, just on board with Jenki at the moment. And we've got two good just off the back as well, GT Tom, and then Kyle is bringing up the rear at the moment. But up front, you've got Jack and RL250, but we've still got a fair way to go in this one, yeah. And I think you are going to see these four cars closing up good and proper. So somebody's just mentioned tyre straps. Oh, Kushti getting it really sideways. So Kushti is on racing hard tyres. Greg White is on hards. But then we've got RL250 on softs. And we've got Jack Kobe on mediums. So we've got three different tyres in the top runners at the moment and as we get towards the end of the race you're going to start to see some of the strategy coming into play it will be very interesting to see how this one plays out who's paid attention who's thought about their strategy how is it going to play out as we go through so the top runners i remind you that kushti is on the hard the slower tire as is greg white RL250 is on the fast soft tyre, so he's going to be really wanting to get past Jack Kobe at the moment because Jack is on the racing medium tyre. And I've given it away because those four probably wouldn't have known what tyres they were on. Uh, now, that of course, they do. And as we pull further back, then you're going to find other people with a different tyre compound as well. So it's going to be very easy to see how these tyres last. Also, how people look after their tyres. So you can see here the RL250 on the softs. Not too badly worn at the moment. But if we come back, uh, Thugs is pretty similar. Ernie Bull's tyres are looking pretty good. And he's got a move on Thugs. Can he get him into this right-hander or the right-hander going down the hill? Is he going to be able to close up? nice apex on the way through there mclaren versus ferrari here the sunlight glinting off these beautiful cars gotta just slow down a little bit for this fast left hand as we go into the right hander ernie ball not quite making the uh move that he needs to for the moment but probably if i know ernie he's going to be watching thugs looking to where he's a little bit slow and then he'll pounce up front you've seen uh Kushti closing up on greg white who could be could be making a move very soon tires still looking pretty good on the pair of them but uh, Kushti really settling into this one 
we going to get a move up the inside into this corner side by side action Greg White's going to need to leave room on the outside Cushti's going to need to keep it tight Cushti got the inside line but can Greg White get more speed off the corner with that wider line this is not over this is far from over Greg White with a slipstream now you can see him closing all of the time 0 0.7 0 0.6 point coming down to 0 0.5 but no Cushti's got that covered off for the corner Cushti lives to fight that one another day but so so tight these guys really close together just staying with this one for the moment looks like this battles all the way through but uh, this is one that could well go all of the way and of course we've got uh, two guys on the same tyres here so if these guys can look after their tyre and not fight too much then they might be able to do something about RL 250 and Jack up front at the moment as you can see RL 250 the tyres really struggling now they're looking quite painful you've got Jack Kobe on the racing mediums out front at the moment got this race fairly well under control Kushti's through on Greg White now unfortunately we cut away a bit too tight oh but he got on the curb that's going to slow him down Greg White would have seen that you no way that you're going to be able to overtake through the chicane of death there is no way through here but can Greg get a nice exit oh a little bit into the wall there I think that one is going to settle down for the moment Here we go, Jack Kobe in the pits, RL250 in the pits as well. So RL250 has carried on, on those racing softs. Looks like fuel could come into play as well here. So have the guys been watching their fuel levels? As you can see, look at the different fuel levels between Kushti and RL. Are they managing the fuel? As I said, this is where it's going to get really, really interesting towards the end of this race. Because some of the guys are going to be filled with fuel to last them to the end. Others are going to be fuel saving. Some are going to be on very quick tyres. Some are going to be on slower tyres. So, um, yeah, this could get very, very interesting throughout the rest of this race. So, at the moment, Thugs is running about four and a half seconds behind Kushti, but four and a half seconds ahead of Malkovic in the suzuki although look at his tires absolutely gone on the left front very little fuel very little tire there gamer dan looking really good on tires no worries whatsoever fuel is looking pretty good as well so uh, maybe the toyota was a good car or maybe he's just working the strategy so well placed in fifth at the moment to certainly pick up some places during the pit stop phase jack kobe running in sixth now now he has pitted so he's pitted he's put enough fuel in to see him to a, to the end of the race he's on the racing soft tires so he should be absolutely going for it now with uh, just over a couple of laps to go greg white also pitted he's on the racing softs now again with enough fuel to the end so those two guys out of position really rl 250 in the pits right now kushti followed him in So this is the, the little view for the pits when people come in. It's quite nicely animated. You see the car come in, you'll see the tyres being changed. You'll see any fuel being added that might be needed. And then they just hold the cars and then they get released and away we go. And then we're back out on the track. So theoretically, most people will be doing their pit stops at the moment so at the minute you've got gamer dan out front looks like the fuel is looking in a good position the tires are looking beautiful he's really managed this very nicely at the moment uh, but jack kobe is chasing him down 3.3 seconds behind i suspect that jack will catch gamer dan we'll just watch this guy running for the moment let's just go on board with him 
and just watch the in-car view and you'll see just how smooth this driver is around here but I've also got one eye on Kushti as well who could well be coming through the field too but Jack with the racing soft tyres the better tyres chasing down Gamer Dan now Gamer Dan could go defensive Going defensive could slow him up and then put him into the clutches of RL250. So will he let him go or will he fight it? The racers in us normally say they're going to fight it. But the intelligent racers very often will know which races to fight and which ones to concede. And there we go. He's letting him go. The invitations to overtake on the right hand side. So Gamer Dan knows that if he can let him go. He can now use a slipstream and try and stay ahead. He has also got RL250 chasing him down again on new racing softs and plenty of fuel. So that could be another one that goes. But Gamer Dan let uh, Jack Kobe through so that he didn't lose any more time he needed. Just letting another one through at the moment. <laughs> Not quite sure which way to uh, overtake. I found out to my cost a little while ago that there is no, there's no protocol to whether you indicate left or right indicating left could mean i'm going to go left you pass on the right or it could mean please pass me on the left you just don't know so it does get very 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 confusing uh where are we now let's just go back to the follow cam only ball 6.7 seconds off of the leaders gamer dan ro250 and jack kobe are the three at the moment further down we've got thugs greg white and only ball in a wonderful little tussle Aid just a little way off of that. Looks like we've lost Christie for the moment, which is a bit of a surprise. This is one of his better tracks. Uh, not quite sure what happened there. Uh, as RL9010 is saying, I try to I try and signal where I am going. Whoa! Thugs getting it really well. Did he save that into the wall? Oh, saved by the wall, but that's how quickly it can go wrong when you're pushing. Uh, just cut to thugs absolutely beautifully at the uh, at the right place there, but that's let aid right on the back of thugs. That's how quickly you can close up. Gentlemen, when there's no way to go side by side through the chicane of death, one of you is going to need to back out. Aid is backed out, giving that one to thugs. But aid should now get a really nice run off of the exit. This is the final lap. I'm going to stick with these two for the moment. I should cut to the leaders, but who is going to do it out of these two? Aid has gone for the inside. Thugs is going to need to give him some room. Oh, Aid has gone a little bit deep. Who's going to get the traction off the line? This is going to be a drag to the line, but I think Thugs has got this one done. That's going to be Thugs. Then we've got Malkovich with a five-second penalty. Haven't covered penalties, but we do have penalties in this one. And then we're going to have Jenki is going to come across the line as well. GT Tom. He's just coming across the line too. And then we get too good. He's just running up just a little wheel on the dirt. Just to take the line for 11th. And then we got Carl Brennan. Still running quite nice. One of the new racers to the channel, he's uh, just learning to race online now. So I dare say that I may well hang back and have a little bit of a race with him from time to time. Uh, really nicely turned that Porsche there. But car going really nicely. Very nice silver that blue and uh, the silver and the blue car looks very striking. And Carl is going to come up and take the check and flag for 12th place. Flashing his lights as he comes across the line. I like that. I like that. Cool, cool, cool. Well done, guys. So we'll check out the... Um, might just save that replay to have a lose at later on. Uh, but the result there, Jack Kobe in first place with the fastest lap of a 146.2. Jack being one of our, our faster racers. Uh, RL250 again very very quick racer in second with a 146.9 Only Ball again cracking racer in third uh, Greg White in fourth these are great great racers that are taking the top spots here 
Uh, so Greg White in fourth, uh, Gamer Dan in fifth, Thugs in sixth, Aid in seventh, Malkovich in eighth, Jenky Racing in ninth, GT Tom tenth, Too Good in eleventh, Carl Brennan in twelfth, and Christy dropped out for some reason, as did I, because I was going to commentate that one, which I do from time to time. I do enjoy commentating some of the races and also enjoying watching these guys racing as well. But your top three in that one, Jack Kobe with the fastest lap, RL250 and Ernie Ball. Congratulations to the three of you. OK, so event settings. So that was Dragon Trail Seaside. Now I'm taking these in order. So you'd think we were going to go Seaside Reverse. No, we're going to go Gardens. So this is um, the same Dragon Trail uh, International Raceway. But this is a different configuration. Um, I've got a thing up here. Show me what Jack said. What did Jack say? Can we rotate tracks rather than doing reverse of each one? Um, as in, you just want to go through the tracks but not do the reverses. Is that what you mean by rotate them? I think that's what he means by rotate them. Uh, so basically what we will do then is we'll be going um yeah okay so we're going to go with uh dragon trail gardens which i can't actually pick at the moment because somebody's just coming in so basically what we'll be doing then guys is uh assuming i got this right and tell me if i'm wrong so we'll do seaside then gardens as we're doing now then we'll be heading over to the high speed ring just do the full course then we'll be heading over to blue moon bay to do the full course the infield etc as we go through i think that is what people are asking for i still can't set the room up oh i can't set the room up because somebody is actually um initializing at the moment There we go. Okay, we're now running. I'm actually going to run this one. Oh. Aid, we'll join you tomorrow and be watching. Good luck. Thank you, Aid. Appreciate your time this evening. Thank you ever so much for racing with us. Okay, so Jack, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do it that way around. Does anybody, does anybody know what happened to Christy? Um... Yeah, it won't update on the screen, Andrew. I have to update it manually, unfortunately, which is a bit of a pain because of the type of websites that we're on. But I've just updated that. So thank you to whoever has donated. So we are less than £100 away from that magic 2000 at the moment. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, Christie's wheel went out. No, not the new wheel. Ah, oh, Kushti, no, 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 no. Um, uh, okay, let me just get this qualifying message up and then I'll explain why I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit disappointed at that. Um, I will explain why in just a moment. We'll start this one at 23.36, guys. Kushti had a lot of trouble with his first wheel. And he's invested in a new one, which is a, the latest Fanatec wheel, which is really, really nice. And I'm hoping, 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 hoping that um, that those issues were behind him. But I'm not quite sure why it stopped. Uh, about the fifth time it's happened. Oh, gear paddle stopped working. Christy, have you tried your McLaren wheel on it? That's just what he said. That's why I said that. He said, let me try the McLaren wheel. <laughs> great minds. Great minds. Great minds. Great minds. Um, right. Okay. So in this one at the moment, and I'm going to start this in just a moment. We've got Jack Kobe, Greg White, RL250, Too Good, M1M, Jenky, Ernie Ball, Jess, Drak Fury, Who Forever, Malkovich, Thugs, Christy, we're just waiting on. I need to enter this one and i'm waiting on gt tom as well and then we've got one more space if anybody wants to grab it oh 
I'm surprised Spretz 1989, my boss, is not bored yet. <laughs> but, um... Oh, at least 0090 is letting us know that it's not hardware related. So hopefully we can get an update for that and it will all be sorted. It's nothing worse than when you're racing and your wheel gives out. Nothing worse. Uh, so Andrew could be watching Carly, his partner, um, play Fortnite. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Right, um, we're at 36. I'm going to start this qualifier. And uh, what I will do is I am going to run one of the messages from one of the Crohn's people very, very soon. I've also got a message from Joanna as well, which um, I want to play at some point. Um, but for the moment, I'm just enjoying the racing uh, with you guys. It's good, 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 good fun. Good fun, good fun, good fun. Um, Ah, uh, Carly's out at a union do. So, uh, Andrew's probably sitting watching with the cats, I would imagine. Right, here we go. Again, if anybody wants to catch my attention in the chat, please put at PlayStation Racer so it uh, jumps out at me. Otherwise, the chat will go through very quickly while I'm racing. Oh, this is a track that I'm not very uh, familiar with. And there could be a few guys on here that are not very familiar with it as well. It's a good track. Lots of manufacturers races me for do tomorrow. Really? Is it manufacturers day tomorrow? I haven't even signed up. maybe that is something i need to look at tomorrow that could be very interesting so thank you for the heads up on that kuro now for those of you that are new to gran turismo you'll notice that there's uh, a lot of different cars that are running and the physics for each car are slightly different but we have got what's called BOP on, which is balance of performance uh, is on, which should even out the cars a little bit to make some close racing. I'm going to let this uh, little super fruit. I've got all night to choose a manufacturer. Well, I know which manufacturer I'm going to go with. So that's the easy bit. What track is it, Kuro? And what car is it? Is it GR3, GR4? Oh, I nearly got into the back of too good there. Too good and Drac Fury. Do you not know that we're in quali mode? <laughs> we're not racing yet, my friends. I am Games. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream, my, son, my friend. We often run requests on the lobby nights, um, but this one I'm tending to take each of the tracks one at a time so I'm now in a dilemma as to whether I hop across to Grand Valley Highway or whether we stick to the plan just rotating through the tracks as they're listed on the Gran Turismo page my plan was to try and do all of the tracks one after the other I might stick to the plan or I might let the guys online persuade me otherwise Oh, Christie's jumped into them again. That was one of the faster cars last week at one of the tracks. I can't remember which track it was now. Was it Brands Hatch, I think? I can't remember. I spent too much time planning for this for tonight rather than uh, think, thinking about what's been going on. I can practice manufacturers at four o'clock in the morning. 
Uh, so Grand Valet and GR4 for DRB, which I think is what I am. Sorry, I don't know Grand Valley very well, so that'll be a track to learn, which is not a bad thing. And uh, GR1 for folks. And GR3s. So I'll have a look. I'll have a little look. Whoa! Just got across the curbs a little bit there. Somebody's uh, put it in the barrier there. Nice little battle going on between the three cars up front, but we're only in qualifying, guys. This should be all about just setting a decent time rather than racing, but we all get carried away. Uh, I think that the old soft should be fine around here. So um, I'm actually going to jump out of here and um, I'm going to go with some racing soft tyres. I think they're going to be the better tyre for this particular one. Uh, so we got uh, 10 seconds of quality remaining. So I'm just going to leave that to run out. Um, so yeah, Kuro said Grand Valley and GR4 for DRB or under. Uh, GT1 folks races are all GR3 cars. So I would be the GR4 um, at Grand Valley. I just can't run Grand Valley, as you all know. <laughs> so uh, that would be amusing very amusing i'm gonna have to hopefully everybody will disappear i'll be belly no mates at like three or four o'clock in the morning as Kuro's saying when i can practice 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 and see if i can put a half decent lap time in okay so we've got uh, just under a minute of overtime running to do but we've got kushti is in the mcgann trophy ernie ball is in the mclaren 650s uh, jess is in the 650s in the west colors uh, the old mclaren west colors very nice uh, Drak Fury is in the Sylvia spec R that he loves. Uh, cars jumping around a bit. Only Ball is in the 650. We've got a few 650s. Uh, Thugs is in the Ferrari 458. RL 250 is in the 650 again. Malkovich is still in the Swift Sport. Jenki is in the 458 Italian in his normal colours. The grey, yellow and black. Really nice livery that one. M1 M Racing is in the purple car. Uh, that's a 650 again. Uh, Who Forever is in a 650, lots of 650s as I said, primarily white with the yellow stripe. I'm sticking with the Aston Martin for the moment. Uh, GT Tom is in a Megane, Too Good is in a 650 and Scott Cheggers has just joined us. So I'm just waiting for Scott to grab a car and then we will get this one underway. I can't remember if I did a warning on when we would go. But as soon as Scott Cheggers is in, we will get this one underway. Um, let's just ask Scott if he's racing. Because sometimes people drop in and um, he may well just be sorting his car out. Or he may well just be dropping in to spectate. Of course, duh, we're not in quali, we're in race. Dylan, thank you for the reminder. It started already, guys. It started already. Mitchell Morgan's losing the plot. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, my words. I thought we were in practice and we're out to quali. Ah, oh, nightmare, 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 nightmare. nightmare. The silliness has started already. The silliness has started. Right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. 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 Right, let's got a slipstream on home forever. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to ram him. So I'll just come over to the side here. Just burn off a bit of speed. We've got the inside line. Just using the gears just to get a little bit of rotation. Slow the car down a little bit more. This tightens up here. This can be a little bit of a uh, an area where there's a bit of punting that goes on sometimes. If we're not careful. I've gone a little bit deep through there. Just almost got into the back of M1. Had to back out of that ever so slightly. 
Just going to try up the inside of M1M. Not got the benefit of slipstream, but just getting my car up slightly up the inside, trying to brake late. All the way down at the first, so we can get it turned over the apex. Looking at the radar, I'm clear of him. On the back of Jenky now. Just gone a little bit deep through there. Just had to back out of that one a little bit. That's uh, caused me just to pull back from Jenky just a little bit. Just while I was backing out. You can see that Drac Fury's got a, a half second penalty up front. That's probably for a track limit. So um, a lot of these corners, if you put all four wheels over the white line, then you can get a track penalty, which can be half a second. It can be longer. If you ram somebody hard, then uh, you can also get a penalty. Not quite sure who that was. It's coming up really tight on the inside there. Good move, though, Hoon, forever. Oh, I missed a gear change there. So I'm just trying to get a slipstream off of Hoon forever at the moment. Let's go down into this first corner. Just watch him for your braking point. Just staying with fourth gear this time. Feathering the throttle, back on the throttle. Just trying to close up. Home forever breaking a little bit earlier than I thought there nearly caught me out we got Drac Fury with a big sideways moment oh just getting caught out with the slow cars through there so we're gonna go hard on the brakes at the 100 meter board just get this over. Oh, Jenky's gone a bit wide. He's going to be have to be careful when he joins. He joined perfectly right in front of me. Well, I rejoined, my friend. That was awesome. Can we get up the outside of him? There won't be any way through there. Can we undercut? Possibly not. Oh, he got it big wide. I'm going to have to stay over to the right hand side through here. That's going to compromise me a little bit. But just managed to stay out of the way while he was getting it all crossed up. Big, big moment for Jenky there. He managed to hold it. Well done for that. I tell you now, if that had been me, I would have been all over the place in the barrier, spinning it round. So to hold that, that was a well, well, well done. A real bit of skill there. Okay, where are we? Two or seven. The tyres don't look too bad. The fuel position is... Well, we might have to check on the fuel position. Whoa, gone a little bit deep there. That's going to let uh, Janky back through. So I think we're just okay on the fuel. Could be a little bit close. That's too deep. No, no, that sausage curb really upsets the car big time so I need the uh, tr radar on now to see where Jenky is Jenky's on the outside of me so I need to leave him room as we go into this corner braking slightly later using the gears picking up the apex I've got the benefit of the inside but then he has the benefit of having the more open corner he opened the corner up by going wider in which means he can normally carry more speed through so sometimes taking that inside line can be a good thing. Other times it can hinder you. And sometimes you've got to know the guys that you're racing and how they're going to behave as well. I know that Jenky behaves himself and he races fair. So I was able to do that. But I tell you now, he's going to be right back at me in a moment. Got my rigging vibrating like crazy on some of these corners where the tyres are just gripping breaking on the orange bit of that barrier just trying to get on the power but not too early Malkovich is coming in to the pits so we've got four laps to go and I've not got enough fuel, so I'm actually going to just do a little bit of fuel saving. That's probably going to let Jenky overtake me, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. 
because I just want to make sure that I've got enough fuel to get me to the end of the race so when it comes to fuel saving there's a couple of things you can do you'll see that I've got the fuel map on so I can move that to one which is using loads of fuel or I can lean it off which uses less fuel and I can also upshift earlier by upshifting earlier I'll also use less fuel obviously when you're power shaving you will then let cars through so you know you do need to be careful when you're when you're fuel saving be very aware of where all the other cars are around you because they might not be power say power a fuel saving even So at the end of this lap, I've got three laps to do. So you can see the fuel remaining. I've got uh, just about 2.9 laps of fuel. So I just need to fuel save just a tiny little bit more and just see if we can bring this to the end of the race. Also, I need to watch these tires. So we've got Hoon Forever and Drac Fury are in. Jenki is still running behind me as well okay he's got me this time whoa but Kushti there just done ghosting in front of us so I'll let Jenki through just need to watch these tyres watch the fuel situation I don't want to slide it around too much whoa Jenki just jumped straight on the track in front of me that was cool that was inch perfect an inch or two later and it'd have had me off but that's all good another good rejoin from Jenki getting the uh, back end of the car out a little bit there Again, I'm still just trying to just watch the fuel for the moment. We should be okay, but if I can just save a little bit more, then we might be able to go a little bit more on the offensive. So at the end of this one, we've got laps six and seven to do. So two laps. I think we can probably just start to take the fuel up a little bit. Take it up to three at the moment. Just try and pick up this apex. Just catch, uh, trying to get on the back of Jenki to slip streaming down here. I'm also going to be very, very careful. Just a little bit of a bump draft, push us both forwards a little bit. Got to be very careful of that right hand front tyre, which is not looking too clever right now. Also, don't want to run into the back of Jenki. Whoa, got a bit of a run up the inside, but that's going to, that was what you call a push to pass, so I need to let him through. There's a few people on here that I know are new to this sort of uh, stream, or not streaming, but um, sim racing and uh, motor racing in general. Whoa, fast car coming through there. Greg White, super quick through there. Uh, push the pass is where you go into a corner and you put your car up the inside of another one and you just push them slightly off their line so that you can squeeze through. Some people call it bare and hard racing. In Gran Turismo, it is seen as a push to pass as something that uh, is to be frowned upon. But I think actually I could take this uh, fuel up quite a bit more. Let's try one for the moment and see if we can stay with these two guys. Again, just got to be really, really careful of these tyres. So uh, just be careful of it sliding. Jenki taking a trip to the grass there. So I wouldn't be surprised if you're struggling on tyres too. Jess is in for tyres. On the racing soft, had enough of them. I'm completely shot on the right hand front tyre of my car. So I've got to be a little bit careful going into left hand turns. I am going to try and get through this one until the end of the race because I'm just going to drop way, way too far back. 
we're going to try and intimidate Jenki <coughs> excuse me into an error if we can without running into the back of him as you can see he's just pushing it one little mistake and we'll be able to get through but I've got to be careful I don't make the mistake there is the mistake that could be class as an intimidation pass where you are right tight behind somebody and you are intimidating them and then they push a bit too hard and have an error and then you get an easy pass it's called an intimidation pass oh, I forgot all about my tires so that's a mistake on my own part that's just a mistake that wasn't an intimidation mistake that was just a mistake that's Mitchell Morgan doing what he does best so I hope these little insights for those of you that are new to the game uh, you're finding them useful if you have got any other questions please ask them in the chat there are a lot of knowledgeable people in the chat who will be more than willing to help you oh I nearly got it too wide there so that's let who saver through no home forever get it right Mitchell come on home forever going through and I've got Malkovich behind Malkovich is moving quite well or oh, IRL 250 could be out of fuel I did say that we needed to watch the fuel situation I've got half a lap so I overdid the fuel saving but I could have gone a little bit better but we managed to keep Malkovich behind us to bring it across the line for eighth couldn't quite catch Hoon Saver Hoon Saver Hoon forever I'm going to get it right one of these days. <laughs> I am going to get it right one of these days. Oh, boom forever. I'm, I'm sorry. Keep getting your name wrong tonight. It's the pressure of a 27 hour live stream. <laughs> uh, uh, Jack Kobe, I meant to go on mediums, not softs. Uh, I did soft all the way through there. It was okay towards the end. I had no tyres and Jenky was in the same, same situation, but. Um, Looks like Kushti came across the line first on that one. And I am going to save that replay. So your winner there was Kushti in the McGann Trophy with a 138.6. Ernie Ball was second with a 140.4. Jack Kobe in third with a 170, sorry, 140.7. Uh, Thugs in fourth, Jess in fifth, Greg White in sixth. Hoon forever in seventh i got it right for once uh, i got eighth quite pleased with that malkovich in ninth drag fury in tenth Jenky racing 11th rl 250 in 12 too good in 13th m1m in 14th and gt tom 15th those are your runners to so the top three christy ernie ball and jack kobe well done to you right we will then go into the event settings and so we've done northern island speedway we've done the broad bean raceway we've done dragon trail so we're now going to the high speed ring where we're just going to do the full course um i'm going to leave this one as seven laps get through this one fairly quickly because it's a fairly mundane track this particular one so i'm going to do the event settings and whilst the guys are just setting up I am going to do something that I will be doing throughout the evening. Now, I am streaming for Crohn's and Colitis UK today. And there are a number of uh, people that uh, suffer with Crohn's disease. And um, quite a few of them have done messages on the Crohn's and Colitis website. And I've grabbed a few of them. So this is just one of those ambassadors talking about Crohn's disease and how it affects them and I hope that this will encourage you to maybe just give a small donation whatever you can afford I will be back in just under two minutes I'm Rick Parfitt Jr and I'm a musician DJ and a part-time racing driver I was very shocked because in in our family back through the generations none of us has ever had anything like that. It's difficult to put into words what you can actually say to a nine-year-old kid who's just developed Crohn's. You've just got to try and be there and be supportive. When I was in hospital, you know, when you're five and a half stone and just had everything cut open, you can't move, you can't oh, walk, I shall you never can't forget stop. it. He was so incredibly thin. It was an incredible shock, but I mean, he's dealt with it incredibly well, and it's not an easy thing to deal with. 
it really isn't. Crohn's can get you into a very dark place and for me it was setting little goals and doing lots of things that made me happy and brought joy to my life which would even out the pain and the suffering that I had to go through as well. Like most people who suffer from Crohn's, it made me feel very insecure, I was very, very thin and so to be able to put a race suit on and be recognised for being really quick as opposed to someone who's just thin and ill was a massive boost. Most sport gave me the positivity to kind of get through the pain. Hello, my name's Jeff Fordley. I play Kane Dingle in Emmerdale. I'd just like to say we need as much money as we can to fund research for Crohn's and Colitis UK. So please, please give generously. Okay, so just a little message from um, one of the Crohn's ambassadors. I've got a number of little cameos like that that we will be running and those guys are really, really, really underlining why this is such an important charity and why I am doing this uh, tonight, all the way through the night, all the way through tomorrow until midnight tomorrow, 27 hours. We've got a timer counting down at the moment so we just got over one day one hour to run uh, we've got 31 people on the stream at the moment which is absolutely brilliant they're uh, they're watching it and um, if I just do a refresh on the totals there we got 1753 pounds donated into just giving and we got 200 pounds into PayPal that's all going to go to Crohn's and Colitis UK to support people with Crohn's and also to uh, research the disease and to just impart knowledge and information and just try and make life just a little bit easier for people that suffer with this really horrible debilitating illness. Uh, RL 250 thank you ever so much for the donation it's very 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 much appreciated and uh, I cannot thank all of you enough for your donations and also to everybody that is supporting me this evening by racing and in the chat and also for all of you that have got me to this point where my channel is big enough to uh, to be able to do this it's absolutely phenomenal um, okay I'm just uh, we got Christy and Wacky Tabaki I'm just waiting for them um, is Kushti sorting herself out with another car. I think he may well have been. Yes, he was. Oh, he's going with the Veyron on this one. Well, that's a very brave choice. We've got one more place, but we are into the qualifying session. So I'm going to start the qualifier. Good luck, everybody. And yeah, just thank you to everybody that's continuing to support the stream and uh, through just racing with me and the chat, the donations, everything's absolutely phenomenal and brilliant. And um, I cannot thank you all enough. Right, let's get into the qualifier. And we see how we go. Um, actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to swap this out. Uh, um, let's go with the soft tyres. I'm just going to see if they are going to be the better option around here. Uh, lots of people filing out of the pits at the same time. Uh, McVagga is off to sleep. See you through the day tomorrow. That would be fantastic, my friend. I look forward to seeing you then. And at some point, I do promise I will, when I'm not doing this, we'll race together and I'll give you a little bit of help uh, or what little bit of help I can. I'm not, I'm not brilliant. But, um, oh, Scott Cheggers is in the Veyron as well. So we've got our top two races both in the Veyron. Our two A-plus races. Again, this is uh, a track that we don't run very often. So it's not one that uh, we are all particularly familiar with. The only bit I know about this track is you, you get up onto the kerb here, you get right up and it 
hooks it around and then as you come off the end of the curb there you can sweep across although I'm going a little bit wide and then carry more speed down this straight so we've got a car up the front there just weaving around trying to get some uh, heat into his tyres as Scott Cheggers goes by me so we should be uh, fairly flat through this one a lot of people come right up onto the green and then sweep down I've got my hazard lights on for some strange reason let's turn those off whoa three wide through there the two Veyrons going around wacky debacky oh no I caught wacky debacky big time on the back quarter sorry wacky my bad thankfully I didn't spin him round I was just trying to back out of that uh, as quickly as I could I think um, well what's all that about Kushti is that uh, is that another wheel failure please say that's not another wheel failure but that's most weird for him to drop out like that and spin round Four cars all together up front. I remind you, we're only in qualifying. <laughs> we're only in qualifying, and these guys are going for it already. Uh, so we've got a 117.5. Scott Cheggers with a 115.9. That is the time that we're all chasing, a 115.9. And I am way off the pace. But that's nothing unusual. So we come down to this sort of tight left-hander. As you can see, the tyre's taken a real, a real grinding in this one. These are on the soft tyres. With these fast flowing corners, they really do take some punishment. You can see some people already in the pits, rethinking their strategies, rethinking what they're going to do with their tyres. Some will qualify on softs, and then they'll come out in a race on a different compound. Others will run on the softer compound and build into their strategy a pit stop. Others will do other things. So we got a 117.4. So as you can see there, really a 117 is out my limit. And of course my right hand front tyre is now completely shot. He's feel it just sliding a little bit through that corner and that's killed the last little bit of tread that I might have had so I'm gonna to have to be extra careful through here because it's gonna slide like crazy it is sliding that would have compromised me just a little bit obviously I can lean on it a lot more this time on this corner because that tire is unloaded although it still was sliding quite a lot M1M just into the barrier a little bit barrier to slow you down so that's why I'm managing to catch M1M because catching the barrier they're slowing down a little bit so up on the curb we'll come off it we'll come off the accelerator a little bit just because it's sliding as soon as we get the slide under control back on the power up through the gears this is the final lap is it going to be any quicker I don't think it is because of the sliding around I think it's going to be slower it is slower significantly slower because of the sliding so I think we're going to need to swap out the tyres certainly for mediums the mediums could possibly be better uh, Drap Fury saying go high on that last corner and turn two I will bear that in mind I will bear that in mind Drac Right, where are we? We're just on the overrun at the moment, waiting for thugs to come through. We've got uh, Scott Cheggers and Poon Forever's running. I've got a funny feeling that Kushti may well have had an issue there. I'm hoping not, but we will have to see. We will have to see how things are going. 
Um, if you join the stream at a minute, can you give me a double thumbs up on the chat? Would be absolutely brilliant. If you haven't already, please smack the like button. I'd love to get to 50 likes for this uh, this video. Um, I'm also not even sure how long I'm going to be able to keep the actual stream running before YouTube. I don't know if YouTube have got any limits these days. Um, so I have got it set up so that I can um, run another live stream if I need to set up another room and stuff. Cool. Thank you for the double thumbs up. Oh, ah, <laughs> Spectatura. No idea how to. That's fine. Not a problem. Not a problem. I thought you were only going to pop in for a minute or two, Andrew. <coughs> He's still watching. For those of you that uh, don't know, Andrew is my boss. Uh, first time around here. A uh, big contributor to the total. Uh, so uh, thank you to um, Revelation Software and also to Spectatura for. Uh, the contributions and to everybody that's contributed financially it's absolutely brilliant um just shy of the 2000 at the moment i will update the total shortly but for the moment um let's get this race underway and see how we can do so we're starting off in 11th on this one uh, my livery specially done for these races All right, here we go. Well, we've got a run on Jack for some strange reason. Just using a little bit of the slipstream as we go into this first left hand up. Just looking for a slip off of the cars in front. And then we get into the first of the tight ones. Cold tyres initially, so they're going to break a little bit earlier. Then on the power, nice and early. Just get a uh, slingshot underneath Jack there. And again, I'm braking a little bit early and a little bit more aggressively. Working the gears whilst these tyres are cold and they're still warming up. Three cars really close together. Tom, Wacky, Debacky and Thugs. Be nice if I can get into the mix with these guys. How quickly can we get it off of this corner? Just sliding a little bit. I don't want to slide too much through that corner. I'm going to burn the tyres out if I'm not careful. So just got to think about the strategy a little bit. Fuel situation. 5.6. So we just need a fuel save just a tad. Just falling off the back of the guys up front at the moment. Uh, we've got a bit of a battle going on behind as well. But we've got ourselves in a little bit of air at the moment. Although the car behind is a lot closer than you think looking in the mirror at the top. You saw when I looked back there how close they were. I've gone a little bit deep into that one. So... That car behind is right on my back bumper. He's going to go for the inside. Can we go around the outside? Can we get an undercut? I've got a McLaren on the inside of me as well. Don't want to run him out too wide. I've got to give him room. He's still there. So I'm not going to be able to hook up on the curb this time. So we've got another one following through. This is a problem very often. You let one through, you let half a dozen through. There's not an awful lot you can do about that. So that is Jack finding his way through. So we just try for a slipstream here. Is he going to go high? Is he going to go low? We've got the McLaren's gone high. Jack's going to go low. I'm just going to try and stay in the slipstream of Jack at the moment. Just see if he can pull me along.
Right, should be able to hook the curb up this time. Jack Kobe doing the same. Who's going to be able to get the power down it the better? Similar. Just got a bit of a uh, slipstream at the moment, so a little bit of a bump draft down this straight. You can't bump draft too late because you will push them off. So I'm just going to give him the single bump. We've got another car coming up the inside too. Greg White really shifting. I think I can probably um, take the fuel up a little bit if I'm honest. All right, don't want to get into the back of Jack. I just lost a little bit of power as I went down low there. Slightly off the apex there. Watching the tyres too. So we're okay on fuel now. I probably fuel saved a little bit more than I needed to, but hey ho. Took my eye off that ball a little bit too much. But I'm also minded of the tyres. Also, I'm not sure about people pitting. So you see Jess has just come in. So that's one place that we've managed to pick up. Now Jack and Greg could get into a battle. What am I doing about oil changes? I'm in trouble when it comes to oil changes because the only way I can do an oil change is by coming out of the room. So after we have been running um, in the lobbies, later on I'll probably go and do some oil changes and stuff. but. I am probably going to need to change my car very soon. Um, the trouble is, on this view, you can't see the state of your oil. Only by coming out can you see it. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting as to when I need to do that. Right, five of seven. We've got a good run on Jack this time. Can we get up the inside? So inside line, but I've got to be careful through this one so I don't run him out too wide. I've also got to be careful with that uh, front tyre that's looking pretty badly worn right now. He's trying to try and come down the, in the inside of me. So just one move for defence. Oh, I've got no, no grip on the front wheel at all. That tyre's gone. That front tyre completely shot now. I'm going to have to manage that. Maybe the hard tyres were the way to go or the soft with a pit stop. Be really interesting to know what tyres the guys around me are on. So again, as we come off here, I think Jack is going to have a good old run because I am sliding, so I'm having to slow it down more. Cranking the steering wheel, which is making it slide even more. You can see the red bar around the tyre. I am going to try and get this to the end, but I think that uh, I am going to struggle and Jack is going to take me in a minute. The big question is, those guys up front, are they fuel saving? They're slow. They could well be fuel saving. So this could be an opportunity to uh, get some moves done. Uh, again, I'm just struggling with the tyres. Almost into the wall. Right, let's get the radar on and see where people are. I don't really want to be running into people.
ball beans now. Oh, yellow flag was out. Yellow flag is out. I can't overtake. Ah, that's a shame. We did fuel save a little bit too much, but we did get seventh. Wow, Kushti was on hards and his front left was gone. Wow. What, what was he in? The Veyron. Hard on the tyres, the Veyron. Hard on the tyres, but Thugs with a brilliant win. Our E-rated racer got a win on that one. Well done, my friend. What did he know that the rest of us didn't know? Well, 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 well. Yeah, all changes for me, Aid, are a problem. Um, because I have to... The only way I can do an all change, I think, is to come out of the room. Which is a bit of a pain. Um, I'm interested to see how Thugs did on one. So I'm going to save the replay for later on. Uh, so your winner, Thugs, in VR means they're in virtual reality. So Thugs running VR in the 458 Italia was our winner with a 116.3. Hoon Forever in the Supra with a 115.9 in second. Christy in Aveyron in third with a 116.9. And then we have Malkovich in fourth. Greg White in fifth. Ernie Ball sixth. I got seventh. Jack Kobe got eighth. GT Tom in ninth. Jack Fury in tenth. Jess in eleventh. M1M in 12th, Wacky Dabaki in 13th, RL 250 in 14th, and Scott Cheggers was a DNF on that one. Your top three, Thugs, Hoon Forever, and Kushti. Okie Koki. Uh, yeah, there's, ugh, there's no way for me in here to change my oil, which is a real pain. And the only way I can change the oil is by exiting out which means i have to quit right out of the room um which i don't really want to do at this stage i'll probably do that at 12 o'clock um a little bit later ah oh, scott checkers running out of fuel oh schoolboy error my friend schoolboy error there um okie kokey uh Jack Kobe, don't think it affects your car when you're mid lobby. Okay. Um, right, so are we happy to continue along the way that we're going, guys? Just going one by one by one? Or as it's getting to half 11, do you want to drop out and try one or two of our more favourite tracks? Does somebody want to shout out a track that they'd like to do? Jack Cove, you want to do Red Bull? There we go. Red Bull is a shout out. We're going to do that one. Uh, so I'm going seven laps. Um, I'm going to throw a spanner in the works on this one. Um, please note, we got random weather in this one. Random weather. Yeah, I felt we just needed, just as we're getting towards the end, and we'll start to lose a few people in a, in a short while. I just felt it'd be nice to throw in one of the uh, one of the other tracks. The first set of tracks are fairly fairly easy, if I'm honest. I sh there are different ways of going through the game, but this is the most logical way of of doing it. Uh, what I am going to do is make sure that I've got the intermediate and the wet tyres, which I do. We'll enter the race, and we will start the qualifier on this one. Uh, so we'll do the qualifier at, where are we? 23, uh, 23, 28. Because I'm going to do two things. Uh, firstly, I am going to just review the totals. So I think we're probably, we're on a, a 1,770 and 200. So uh, creeping up there. And then one of the other things I am going to do is we're going to have a little message from... I'm Ali Jawad. Um, I'm a full-time athlete, uh, Paralympic powerlifter, and I'm also a student here at UEL. The night before I competed in my first Paralympics, I uh, got very sick and uh, nobody knew what it was. Um, it took about 
eight months to diagnose, I think, afterwards. So I got diagnosed in 2009. So it took, it took a long time to diagnose. First, I thought it was gallstones. So I thought, okay, it's only gallstones, I can live with that. Just, you know, just operate on them, whatever. Or uh, then they found that it weren't gallstones. And then they tight tested me for cancers. So it got quite serious. And then I think it was my GP that did like a blood test and he's like, wait a minute, these are more, you know, something that you could see in something like Crohn's disease. Now I've never heard of it before. And I just said, well, how do you cure it? He's like, you can't cure it. And I was like, oh God. The first, the first year or so was really difficult uh, to try and, you know, to be a full-time athlete, to try and push your body, knowing that your body probably couldn't handle it was something that I couldn't take. Um, eventually in 2000, late 2009, I decided to retire completely from sport because I was getting worse. Um, every time I was training, I was just flaring up. Everything I was eating, I was flaring up. You know, it just, I was in pain so much. I, just, I couldn't really, it was hard to function. Hello, my name's Jeff Fordley. I play Kane Dingle in Emmerdale. I'd just like to say we need as much money as we can to fund research for Crohn's and Colitis UK. So please, please give generously. Okay, so if you ever needed a reason to donate to Crohn's and Colitis UK, there is an example. A young man who uh, had to put his career on hold because of this horrible disease. And uh, there are a few other people, a few of the other ambassadors I've got videos to run throughout the night from time to time. Somebody just mentioned to me about uh, track limits. I'm just double checking. We've got the shortcut penalty is on. So uh, we should be good for that. And we can get straight into the qualifying. I hope I didn't cut anybody off. Um, I don't think I did. We're back to 16 runners. Um, but yeah, hopefully I've, I've got a few of those little cameo videos that I'm going to be running throughout this live stream from Crohn's ambassadors uh, sharing their stories. And some of them, you know, these are sports people, famous people, really healthy people that are all struggling with this horrible, horrible, horrible disease. Um, I'm actually going to change the tyres. Unfortunately, I'm having to change them each time. I can't jump out and set them in the car because, again, that means I've got to reset everything. Um, and it could be interesting, this one, as to whether we go for the softs or the mediums. Uh, I think I'm right in saying that the Red Bull ring has a fairly short pit stop to it, but also the Red Bull ring is classic for weather and we have got random weather on so that could well make a difference Red Bull Ring was one of the daily races recently uh, so quite a lot of the guys here will be used to racing here and they've been pretty quick uh, so race my best mate has Crohn's he never wanted me to know about it growing up you know there's a, a video race of um, the Scottish Rugby League, I think it is, Captain League, or you know, I can't remember which. One of the videos, he said exactly the same thing. It was embarrassing. He didn't want to tell his teammates. He didn't want to tell his friends. And a lot of people don't want to mention it because it's really horrible having to go to the loo all the time, being in pain all the time. People do not want to admit to what they've got and tell people about it. And the other thing as well is um, it does cause a lot of depression and anxiety, which is another hidden part of this horrible disease. The, um, the anxiety and the depression. There's a classic example of a track limit. I went too far over on the way through there. So that's given me a half second track limit, which is not what you want during the quali because now I'm going to lose my qualifying times and there's no point me coming and starting again because there's not enough time
Um, check stream title. Right, Jack says, um, check stream title. The hashtag needs editing. Is that the stream title in the YouTube? Or in the game? Ooh. I'm not sure. Well, I've made a mistake somewhere, but I don't quite know where. Is that in YouTube? Let me have a little look, see if I can find it. Just while the guys are racing. Um, live. Oh. Thank you, Drac. Hopefully that sorted that. Thank you. Hopefully I've sorted that out. If somebody could check for me, that would be brilliant. Um, I don't quite know how I managed to do that. It's normally YouTube prompts you. What's with the ABS warning? Uh, I'm assuming I was sitting there with the uh, ABS banging away. Um, but also ABS is running when I'm braking heavily into a corner because I'm over braking the car, which most of us do in the game, to be fair. We just bang onto the brakes and then the ABS is banging away to stop the uh, and the wheels from locking up yeah it's probably just I have my foot hard 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 on the brakes I guess the developers don't imagine you're just going to be sitting there with your foot on the brake like an idiot like the idiot I, I am Ugh. but Andrew you know me developers write software I use it as it's not intended to be used. Well, I completely messed that one up. <laughs> Let's go and spectate. Um, that's a joke between myself and Andrew. Um, actually, it looks like qualifying's over. Um, Andrew, my boss, writes professional software and the guys often write these programs for me. Uh, and then I beta test the software but I use it as it's not expected that they expect people are going to use it. So often I'll be like, Andrew, this bit of code isn't working the way I expect it to, or this bit of functionality is not working the way I expect it to. And they dive in and look up the code I've written, or they'll go in and, and, and I'll be complaining about something they've written. And it'll be like, why are you doing it that way? That's silly. You'd never do it that way. Well, I'm sorry, but I do. <laughs> and it drives some crackers absolutely crackers um uh when will you try traction control zero when am i going to try traction control zero how about now how about now um but yes andrew will tell you plenty of stories about me and why are you doing it that way well because it's logical yeah but that's not how you're supposed to do it Ah. <laughs> uh. right okay traction control is off 
We've got seven laps to do. Let's see what the old fuel map situation is. We'll lean it off at the moment so we just don't use too much at the moment while we get going. Oh, what a time to start me right on the apex of the corner. Just about saved that, I think. Good night, Andrew. Thank you ever so much for dropping in. Very, very much appreciated. Um, I'm afraid I won't be in the office tomorrow. You won't see me till Friday. <laughs> ah, no! Ah. Nearly dropped it right in front of GT Tom. Sorry, GT. Kuro running slowly. Oh, come on. Right. Can I go fuel map one and just fuel save on the upshifts? Is that going to save me enough fuel, I wonder? A little bit too much curb there. Big old gaggle of cars up ahead. Let's see if we can get into this fight. Come on, Mitchell, keep it together, keep it together. Watch the fuel. Also got to watch the track limits. There's certain places where you get track limits around here. One of them is after this corner. You do not want to go too wide on this corner. And track limits really hurts. You get a half second penalty for the first track limit. But it's worse than that because you get it down a straight normally. And then you're suffering because you're going slowly down the straight. Still going to watch my fuel a little bit, but I think we're okay. Need to watch the tyres too. There's one or two corners here where you can really throw the car through the corner, but it is going to scrub the tyres. And we're on racing softs, not the racing mediums this time. Taking a bit of a gamble. So we will need to look after the tyres a little bit. So I'm not absolutely throwing it through corners. I tell you what's really interesting. Does anybody know what the word sprezzatura means? Oh, pedal sticks. Sorry, thugs. My mistake. Jibber jabbering again. It's quite apt to this game, actually, that word. And it's not something I'm very good at doing. All right, let's try and get up the inside of thugs which is now the outside of thugs where is he where is he where is he radar on he's just a little bit behind me hard on the brakes into this corner don't run too wide otherwise that will I'll undo everything we've just done okay let's go back to the fuel and see how we're doing traction control is off some people are going to be saying why didn't you have traction control off earlier because I am not confident in my abilities. Ay, oh, yeah, yeah, too deep there. Did we manage to keep that in? Or is that another track limit? I'm going to lose out to Thugs. And Kushti's going to come by here. Or oh, he's just giving me a thump. Thank you, Kushti. Alright, let's try and get up the inside of Thugs. I think Kushti's on the outside too. He's going to get the inside line for this corner at the bottom here. So I am going to need to be very, very, very careful that I don't uh, cut him off on the way in. He's still there, I think. Where is he? Well, I'm pretty sure I didn't bump him off, but he's completely vanished again. Oh, nearly ran into the back of Thugs there. Going to go for the inside on the way down into this corner. 
He's got a slightly better run. Instead, we'll try to get a good run off the corner. And try and get him coming down here. How are we doing for fuel? I think we're doing okay. Oh, Kushti stacked it. Thankfully, that wasn't me, although I very nearly ran into the back of Thugs there again. Can we get this done down the hill now? Not worrying about fuel saving or anything, we're just going for it. My pit crew are very quiet on the chat today. How are we doing for fuel, guys? So I've got three and a half laps to do, and I've got 3.9 fuel, so we should be good. Normally, I have several guys in the chat that are screaming at me when to pit. How I'm doing with fuel. But I think they're all taking a day off today. Or maybe they are screaming and I'm just not listening. Who knows? Bugger noise! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Don't go too wide. How are we doing? Tyres look good. The all looks okay. Gonna have to keep an eye on it a little bit. Just need to look after these tyres just a little bit. Who are we chasing? Drac Fury. So I think Drac is probably in the Supra, which is pretty quick in a straight line. Hard on the brakes. Just trying to look after the tyres. Thugs right behind. Oh, I've gone deep. I've gone deep. Stay out the gravel. Stay out. Oh, I caught the gravel. That's going to let thugs through. No point fighting, let him through. If I fight him through there, we're just going to slow each other up, which is pointless. Right, don't run into the back of him. What I need is a good exit off this corner. Oh, he picked up a lot of dirt through there. That could be a track limit. But we have got a better line. We've got a better exit. We are going to be on the inside for this one. But that does mean to say I've got to be careful. He's going to come up the inside. He got the better line through there. But he has got the penalty. Christy, what's happening with your wheel, my friend? Is it all good or are you having problems? Right, what I need to do is I need to stay with thugs. Because we're nine seconds to GT Tom behind. And um, we got to run up the inside here. Give Thugs plenty of room. Got that one done. So, Home Forever is 6.7 down the road. So, I'm likely to catch him. But, who is going to pit? Who is yet to pit?
Watch for the two orange dress guys. Ah, oh, that's a pit. That's a limit. That's a limit. Penalty and possibly there as well. I got that all crossed up on the way in. I've got one. Is it two or just a one? Oh. It's going to be close on the fuel too. I'm going to have to go for it now because Thugs will have seen that penalty. He will know that that half second penalty can result in a full one to one and a half seconds. And he's one and a half seconds behind. He can smell sixth place unless I can really, 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 really keep this together and go for it. And I'm still trying to look after the tyres and not spin it. He's gone wide though. He's gone wide. That might have just got me off the hook. So I think he may well get a penalty too. How are we doing for fuel? Can I just do a little bit of fuel saving? Uh, as I said, Poon Forever is uh, too far out in front of me at the moment to uh, for me to worry about. But what I've got to worry about is Thugs behind. I've got a penalty to serve. I might have cut that one too tight too in my eagerness to try and get across the line. That's a penalty served. Hopefully I didn't get a second one. I mustn't get one through here. If I get one going down this hill, I'm in trouble. The fuel is going to run out on the line. Doesn't get much closer than that. Fuel management spot on. Couldn't catch the guys in front. And we cross the line just as the fuel runs out. Perfect fuel management. Unfortunately, poor execution of the race itself. Uh, what a shame. What a shame. What a shame. Whoa. Wow. We've had some great racing tonight. I'm probably enjoying this. Um, do you know what? We're, we're sort of coming up for three hours into the stream. And I feel fine. I feel fine. Bear in mind, I was supposed to have slept during the day and rest, and I didn't. Had a really, really, really busy day in the office. Um, basically done two months work in two days, which is fabulous. But there we go. I am going to save the replay on that one. And uh, our result. So Jack Kobe takes a trip back to the top step in the Master 3 with a 136.0. Jess in second with a fine 137.4 in the McLaren. Uh, Greg White with a 137.3 in the Genesis. So three different cars in the top three. So Greg White in third. Uh, Scott Cheggers in another different car, the Ferrari in fourth. Yet another different car for Hoon Forever in the Supra. And then I was in the McLaren 458 in sixth. Thugs in seventh. RL250 in eighth. GT Tom in ninth. Wacky Tabaki tenth. Drac Fury eleventh. Ernie Ball twelfth. M1M Racing in thirteenth. Uh, Kuro was a DNF and unfortunately Kushti also a DNF. But your top three on that one, Jack, Kobe, Jess and Greg White. Congratulations to the three of you. OK, we crack on, we crack on. So we can either go back to running Blue Moon Bay or does somebody want to shout out a different track that you would like to do? I'm sticking with the GR4s tonight. Uh, we haven't done any off-road ones yet. Um, I'm just wondering as we're coming up to midnight whether we go Colorado Springs in the minis I wonder just for a change oh Drac I'm up I'm not up for Fisherman's Ranch just yet we'll build up to that one we'll build up to that um just for sillinesses, just for silly, let's go for Colorado Springs. Uh, we'll go, um, I'll leave it as seven laps on this one. Um, but we'll, we'll go for this. Now, the car that we're looking for, guys, the car that we are looking for is the Classic Mini. If you don't have the Classic Mini, then um, pop something else in. Uh, Dylan, taking off for a bit. 
going to tend to the pup and whatnot. Be back in a bit. No worries, my friend. You enjoy the pup and we will see you very, very soon. So, um, the mini, I am very confused because I put these in thingy order and I thought I did a livery on the mini. I am completely confused. I know that I did a... I know I did a livery for the Mini. Let me just go down and have a look and see if I can find it. I think my Mini might be tuned, but we're on dirt, so what the heck. Yeah, I've got a wide one, all jazzed up to look nice. And um, need to dirt tyres. Um, hopefully I've got dirt tyres. Have I got dirt tyres? Yes, I do. And I'm suspecting it's nitrous overtake is prohibited. Didn't even know I got nitrous on it. Um, let's take the nitrous off. I mean, for those of you that I'm going to run another video, uh, but I'm actually going to put my car settings up so you can see what I've done to my car. Uh, um, you'll be able to see what I have done to it uh, quite a fair bit souped it up quite a lot uh, but whilst you guys are looking at that I am going to give you a little message from Rick hi everyone it's Rick Prophet Jr here um, two-time British GT champion and former extremely average BTCC racer. Um, I just wanted to lend my support to Mitchell's 27 hour live stream. I mean, that's absolutely crazy. Um, and I love the fact that he's raising awareness for Crohn's and Colitis UK. I also suffer from Crohn's and have suffered from with it from the age of nine years old. I've had countless operations and I've been very lucky at the moment to avoid a dystoma. However, a lot of my gut is gone. What people don't realise about the uh, the illness is it's quite, it's extremely debilitating. I mean, the physical side of it, the pain, the fatigue, uh, the constant trips to the loo, and also the social side and mental side of it are extremely tough to take. And you carry those scars most of the way through your life. I still suffer with all of them as well. So anything that raises awareness so that people can understand the illness a lot better is a wonderful thing. So this is why it's important to donate to Crohn's and Colitis UK so that... Um, people can help get the help that they need to get diagnosed quicker and hopefully help fund vital research into how we can find a bit of a, a cure for this illness because it's just getting more and more prevalent nowadays so good on you mitchell uh, well done on your your driving ability uh, online i was absolutely rubbish you know um i was actually a bit better when i had a proper car underneath me so you would kick my ass on that level um hopefully everyone this sort of exposure will help to make everyone understand a little bit more about the illness and people who have it to feel a little bit more comfortable. But everyone else, please support Crohn's Colitis UK. It's an amazing cause and uh, something very dear to my heart. And uh, you have my undying love forevermore for supporting such an amazing, worthy cause. Wishing you all the best and thank you for raising uh, awareness for Crohn's Colitis UK. RPJ out. Okay, so there's another reason for people to donate. It's a horrible, horrible disease and uh, Rick is a, as he said, a two times GT champion and British touring car driver. So, uh, yeah, one of us, except he can't do it online. <laughs> um, right, where are we? We got, um, okay, Wacky Debacky doesn't have this car, which is not a problem. I'm just waiting for Kuro. It's just entered. I can see that Ernie's picked up my livery. Thank you for that, my friend. And uh, just went for Kuro and Sanji. And we got 12 or 16. So we've still got four places. Four places at the moment to um, available. Uh, M1M is uh, he's off. He's going to pop in later. No promises. But that's not a problem. Thank you ever so much, my friend. If you haven't already please smack the like button on the way out that would be wonderful and i can see uh, i don't know how many likes we've got at the moment um i know we've lost a few viewers we're down to 27 um but i really appreciate everybody that is continuing to race with me uh christy's just just going to grab some food and then he'll be back uh ro 9010 is still waiting for his pc 
so normally we tend to lose a, a fair few people around about um, sort of half past 11 12 o'clock um, I'm gonna stick running with my friends until such time as um, we're getting a lower number of people and then I will open it up to um, the world and um, we'll get some other people in no doubt that are racing and um, when I do run out of friends wanting to race as will happen then I'll probably going to go into other lobbies other people's lobbies and do some lobby racing with them uh, there are also the daily races I could do um, all sorts of things the daily races I haven't done any daily races yet I haven't set a lap time or anything so that would be quite interesting to see how that goes so I'm just waiting for Sanji to um, grab a car uh, Wacky Dabaki is in the chimney. It looks huge compared to the little mini. Oh, but thank you so much for the uh, donations. I can't believe that. Can you see that? We are five pounds. Five pounds off of 2,000. That's amazing. Amazing. Just five pounds off of 2,000. Oh, my original target that I wanted to try and hit was a thousand pounds. And we're almost, almost double that. Almost double it. Um, in fact, the um, ad revenue from this video will almost definitely cover that, I would hope. So we will have done 2000. We will have done 2000 now, guys. Is that amazing? You guys absolutely rock. Um, RL9010, you definitely did your bit, my friend. And thank you so, so, so much for your donation. Uh, as did Rimac. He's done a big old chunk and, and quite a few of you. I'm not going to name names because I will miss people. Um, but yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people have already donated. Uh, Kuro. Oh, I'll sit out. Kuro's sitting this one out. So we'll start the qualifying. Um, I'm getting so hot, I've taken the old gloves off for the minute. So the steering wheel feels completely different. Um, but yeah, boy, it's getting really warm in here. I'm going to have to open the window in a minute. Uh, Jack, most people, most people are in the same car. Uh, Galacticor is working his way through a packet of McBitty's ginger nuts. Uh, bad moves put them back on oh, I'm so hot I can't my hands are sweating like crazy um, Jack I'm not too worried about the car on this one because a lot of us like the little mini classic mini but of course it's not available easily to buy in the game so um, I don't mind if people uh, are not running this one I know you met the gloves, RL. I know you met the gloves. Uh, and for this one, boy, does this give your hands a workout on the uh, on the old wheel. I tell you what, although I've got mine tuned, my times weren't massively quicker because it's just all sideways and all over the place. Uh, but for transparency, I did put my tune up onto the... Um, on the screen so some people will probably be running stock oh, yeah, yeah. some people will be running tuned oh drag fury going through there RL solved the problem with multiple pairs of gloves. The problem my hands are just very sweaty. I mean, I'm, I'm it's going to sound horrible, but I'm sweating buckets here. It's so hot in my room and uh, with the lights on and everything else. Uh, so I have a big key light above me and um, it's not a big key light, but I've got a key light above me to light everything up. And uh, I've got uh, coders just sleeping next to me. I've got the door shut. I've got the TV on, the computers on two screens 
the PlayStation um, loads of hardware running and it's just hot, hot, hot in here right now. The radiator is off. I've just double checked it is off. Um, it's actually been off all evening. Um, and it will not be on until very early on tomorrow morning. It just gets very, very hot in my room when I'm racing. And um, the stuff, when you're streaming, that you end up having on, those of you streaming, all the gear that you have running, I think it's why Rory had um, had his air conditioning fitted in his house uh, when he was in the unit. And I do have a fan that I may well crack out at some point. Uh, but we're okay for the minute, we'll see. Wow, Drac is on a flyer up ahead. I'm in the barrier again. What are we, 1.5, 1 minute 55 left of this one. The Jimny's coming through. I think Jess is coming through, or is that Jess? Yeah, it was Jess. Right. That's interesting. I have, and it happens on this track sometimes, I've just lost the vast majority of my force feedback on my wheel. I can feel a little bit, but very, very little. And it does happen sometimes on this track. So that's going to make life a bit interesting. Ah, oh, we be interesting if it returns when we go to another track or whether I need to turn the wheel off and back on again. I tell you, the, the, the Logitech G29 was a great wheel and 17 years I never had a problem. But these uh, direct drive wheels, well, modern technology relies so much on interpreting the software, there's a lot of things for them to go wrong. Whoa! In addition, it's uh, putting my equipment through its paces over these 27 hours. Uh, I've done five and six hours. Whoa! Hard into that wall again. That one catches me out every single time. You'd think I'd know it by now. Normally I count the corners, but when I'm talking on the stream, I can't count the corners. So it gets a bit, uh, gets a little bit difficult. So our old 250 has just said, don't hit the barrier. No, he didn't say that at all. Uh, I always put the heating on before streaming and then I'm baking after a few minutes. Uh, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Oh, I'm just very, very hot. At. So uh, Wacky Debaki as expected is out front, but he is in the chimney, which is a lot quicker. Uh, Sanjay has chosen a reasonably good car actually to go up with us. Uh, that A110 is fairly equal. And uh, with a souped up Mini, I'm mid pack. Right, so we'll just wait until everybody is finished. And then we'll get this one underway. And we are heading into our fourth hour. Forgive me. I am going to eat a custard cream. I got into trouble for buying all sweetie things. The girl said I should have bought some fruit. So I'm just celebrating the fact I've just done three hours and our L9010 has just reminded me that I've only got a day left. Thank you for that, my friend. <laughs> oh. 27 biscuits in your mouth for 27 hours. I might eat 27 biscuits in 27 hours or I might eat a few more than that. Chocolate digestives are good as well. Ah, our L250. I've gone one better than chocolate digestives. I have got two packets of wagon wheels. Unfortunately, they're not big wagon wheels like they used to be when I was a kid. I've got two big packets of wagon wheels. And I do love a wagon wheel.
very 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 nice almost as good as bacon rolls not quite as good as bacon rolls almost as good as bacon rolls wagon wheels no not jammy originals original ones oh 9010 you don't know what wagon wheels are oh wagon wheels are gorgeous Right, Wacky the Backy's pulled over. He's in a very, very quick car, so he's going to come through behind. So, Wacky, thank you for pulling over there. That was a really good place to uh, to pull over. Didn't infringe anybody else, so thank you for the courtesy. This is so strange. Driving this with... Wi There's a little bit of field force feedback, but not very much. It's really, really strange. Jack Kobe, what is the significance of that number plate? I want to know what the significance is. It's got SLW, which means slow, 287R. So slower. <laughs> but I don't know what the significance of the number plate is. I really want to know. Maybe it's his first ever number plate. Oh! I'm not going to worry about anybody banging anybody in this one because it's just what's going to happen. Uh, overtaken prohibited let's not get past Jackie uh, uh, past Jack Kobe there right are we on green are we green are we, uh, are we back racing green flag except I've just caught the wall badly there <laughs> us Brits eat weird stuff I remember going to South Africa one time and we went to this really upper class restaurant Andrew took me and it was like 27 dishes of some really weird food uh, it was so weird he was saying to me he said do you want to know what you're eating before you eat it or do you want to know afterwards it's like no tell me afterwards because half the time I wouldn't have eaten what I was eating if I knew what I was eating then we went to Iceland he took us to Iceland one time one year and um we were eating octopus and skate and shark and all sorts of stuff. So um, I think wagon wheels is quite normal, sensible food. <laughs> right, can I catch these two guys up front? Well, I'm trying. Keep it straight over the jump. Our oh, game of dance from South Africa. So you'll probably know that it was a dish of all um, like local traditional things. And there was some really nice stuff, and there was some really, really not very nice stuff. But I don't know what it was. But it was a it was a great evening. I think that was down on down Cape Town way that we we went somewhere down there. We were down for an exhibition and uh, that all went wrong and it turned into a week's holiday and uh, really had my eyes open to uh, lots of things where we were down there um, including the shanty towns in fact i got into trouble with the uh, manager because there was a lady that lived in the shanty town which was literally about three or four hundred well probably about half a mile i guess from the um hotel we were staying in and she really looked after me uh, with the, the breakfast and dinners and stuff like that and uh, I gave her a big tip at the end well it wasn't a big tip it was only like about 20 quid something like that it wasn't huge for me but it was like a month's wages for her and the uh, manager came over and said what are you doing had a right old go at me you can't give her a tip like that I just turned around and said she's earned it if I hear you've taken it off her there'll be trouble 
He probably did. I'd probably not known anything about it, but... Oh, my TV's about to turn off. I'm going to lose my TV. <coughs> right, it's TV sorted. I told you I can't drive on dirt, don't I? Look, I'm just... guys are way out in front. Well, there's a really good battle going on behind. I might actually wait for the battle behind and join that battle. Here they come, here they come. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Let's join this battle. We've got GT Tom, RL250, a few others coming through. So it looks like GT Tom was at the front of that battle. RL250's in the mix, only balls in the mix. Oh, we've got some good races in here. And we've got the Jimny as well. So, how can we do against these guys? People bibbing their horns to let me know they're there. Oh! Just trying to get on the back of GT Tom here through this little bounce, bouncy bit. Where are we? Lap four or seven. Racing Club Morgan. <laughs> Love it. Whoa. Oh, deep into the grass there. And that got me a big old slide on the exit. Oh, he's come through again. GT Tom just getting the better of me through there. Looks like Jack Fury's in the pits for some strange reason. Right, let's not get into... Oh! RL 250 with a brilliant little jump across the front of me. Come on, come and chase me. Whoa, I'm into the wall. That's going around, that's going around. I'm trying to... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, big crash. Big crash. Come on, try and get it round. Yeah, Wacky the back is waited. Thank you, Wacky. Let's see if we can catch up with these guys up front. We've got a couple of laps to do it. Go on, Tom. Don't wait for me, mate. Go on, I'm going to give you a bump. And we give RL a bump too. Yeah, they're all weighted. Oh, it's, it's so hard to race these cars on the dirt. It's brilliant fun. These little minis. You don't have to be up front and a brilliant racing driver to have some great racing. Look at this. The Jimny's right there with us too. Ernie and RL really going for it. Tom right there too. Ready to pick up any of the pieces. Let's see if we can get back into this one. Oh, on the grass a little bit there. That's going to let GT Tom through again. Over that jump. Where's, where's GT? I thought Ernie Ball was going to get pushed down the pits then.
Wow, GT Tom got some some speed. Is he working with the Jimny? Is the Jimny pushing GT Tom, I wonder? They're working together. Is GT Tom got some super speed out of that corner? Oh, big bump, big bump, big bump. IRL 250 and early, follow each other and he gets it wrong. Oh, I've got a lot of speed out of that corner. Got to get it slowed down for this one, though. No. Oh. Can't we keep the guys, be guys behind us, behind us? That's bad English, isn't it? Oh, oh, did you see RL in the no, in the mirror there? Right up in the air. Well, this is a tight one. I've left it too late. That's going to be in the barrier. Hard in the barrier. Whoa! Ho, ho. GT hard in the barrier too. Somebody else going round as well there. Right, they waited for me. I'm going to wait for them. Oh. Whoa. Nearly in the pits. Up and over the top. Work the steering wheel around this corner. Just feathering the throttle. Whoa! Oh, yeah, yeah, hard into the fence there. into this dodgy corner whoa the guy's got a much better run through there than me wow first to last in this little group the Jimny following three behind watching what's going on whoa so we got some winners already but I'm in a battle with these three who is going to be the king of the four of us oh big old air off there gonna get down in the middle Yes, we can. Oh, come on, come on. Keep it together. We've got this difficult corner. Oh, no, I've gone too wide. Gone too wide. No. Can we get down the inside? It's just this one corner. Ernie's going to do it. Ernie's going to do it. Oh, no. No, we ran out of time. Oh, no, we ran out of time. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Oh. oh, Jack's number plate is Mr. Bean's Mini. Ah. And South African food is Lekka. Okay. Ah. Uh, so, Richie, hi, good evening. Been in a few streams before lurking. Saw you in with Hugh Hattrick. Are you doing 27 hours? Yes, my friend. We are doing 27 hours. And I forgot to turn the traction control off in that one. Uh, but there we go. There we go. There we go. That was a bit of fun. Just a bit of fun. So your winner there was Sanjay. Sanji? Sanji? Yeah, I think so. Uh, with a 135.8. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologise. Uh, Drac Fury in second with a 138.9. Carlos Fandango in third with a 138.8. And then we've got Greg White, Jack Kobe, Jess, Ernie Ball. I managed to get eighth. GT Tom in ninth, RL 250 in tenth. And Wacky Tabaki in the Jimny following us up. But your top three was Sanji in the A110. But then in the Classic Mini. So realistically in first place, Drac Fury. 
Carlos Fandango and Greg White, your top runners in that one. Okay. So, um, does anybody want to shout out a track? If not, we'll head off to Blue Moon Bay and carry on with the uh, the normal run of events. Um, Richie, uh, what are we doing now and what's the schedule? At the moment, we're just doing respectful lobby racing with friends. And as we go through the 27 hours, it's wherever it takes me. Uh, I could be doing more of this until people drift away. Uh, I was going to plan to go through all of the racetracks. So we've done Northern Old. We've done Broadbeam, we've done Dragon Trail, and we've done High Speed. Um, but that's actually quite slow going through all of them. It's going to take many, many, many hours to go through all of the tracks. So we have jumped around a little bit. And, um, well, when everybody drifts away, I might do some daily races. I might join some other people's lobbies. I really don't know where this is going to take me. I have no clue. There is no necessary schedule. It's just 27 hours of madness. 27 hours of craziness. Oh, let's just try and update the um, totals. Are they going to update? Don't think it wants to update. I know, there we go. I know it's updated because the paywall, PayPal one disappears. Uh, so we've still got 33, 34 people watching at the moment. Thank you ever so much. If you haven't already, please smack the like button for the video that would be absolutely fantastic um donations down below and to encourage you to donate here is a little message from i'm carrie grant and i work mainly on television as a tv presenter and also as a vocal coach i was diagnosed with crohn's when i was 20 but i had been ill from the age of 18 so i had been ill for two years and i think that's the thing that's really hard for people with crohn's and colitis is that they can go for so long undiagnosed and for so long really being misunderstood. The hard thing about having Crohn's disease is that you don't know how you're going to feel from one day to the next and that's you can't plan you can't say oh I've got Thursday off I think I'll choose to be ill on Thursday you know I could wake up on Wednesday when I'm doing witness and be really ill and the only thing that I can do is I can't cancel work in those situations so I have to somehow fight through. Hello, my name's Jeff Fordley. I play Kane Dingle in Emmerdale. I'd just like to say we need as much money as we can to fund research for Crohn's and Colitis UK. So please, please give generously. Okay, that gives you another insight of somebody that suffers with uh, with Crohn's disease. It really is horrible. If you are able to spare a pound or two, it would be absolutely fantastic. The details to donate are in the video description below. Um, right, somebody just mentioned about Boost. Um, do we want to have Boost set to weak or strong? What is the what are the thoughts? about boost um, I'm happy to give it a whirl and we can either go with um, RL 250 thanks for racing with us my friend thank you ever so much Baz good morning Mitchell hope the streams are going well I think they're going well we've still got 30 people watching uh, the uh, with five pounds, just five pound off of two thousand. Um, so strong. All right, I'll leave it strong. We'll give it a go. So no, we don't normally run with this setting, but we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Um, yeah, doing well, doing well. We were on um, seventeen ninety five on Just Giving and two hundred pound on PayPal. So um, I make that 1995, just five pounds off of 2000, which is amazing. I did originally, I was originally hoping to do a thousand pounds for Crohn's and colitis. So the fact we've done that already and we're approaching double that is absolutely wonderful. 
Uh, Drac Fury, weak is meant to be best overall, I've read. So should we go strong or weak? Can I, in, in the chat, just while we're doing this, can I just get the word strong or weak for the boost? And uh, the slipstream is real. Um, I'm going to go into... What car am I going to go into? Because uh, the problem is I can't fix the oil in my uh, Aston Martin that I've been running. So I might go with the Ferrari again. Um, let's just go with the Ferrari. Strong for this track. Okay. Uh, everybody, well, I've got weak, weak, weak and strong. So I'm going with the majority decision of weak. Assuming it will let me and that's decision made. We'll run with weak just for the time being just for the time being oh wow what a stream what a stream what a stream i'm absolutely loving this tonight thank you ever so much to everybody that is supporting me both racing with me in the chat with the respectful racing with the donations thank you ever so much all of you um i could not be doing this without every single one of you that supported me over the last year and i cannot cannot thank you enough um, to do a charity event like this was in year four of my five year plan. And we're just, what are we now? January we started. So we're what 14 months into this journey on YouTube and I'm doing a live stream for charity already. And we've got nearly £2,000 in the bag. That is just amazing. I cannot thank all of you enough. I really, really cannot. I really can't. Wow, I haven't said when we're going to start the quality on this one. Uh, let me just do that right now. Uh, I don't think I said when the qualifier will be. So I'm going to go qualifier at um, losing the plot right now. Uh, I can't believe it's half past 12 already. Wow, wow, wow. Half past 12, guys. So just under two minutes and we'll be running. Um... Wacky Tabaki is asking how everyone's night is. It's really, really good. Um, oh, I've just, I'm thoroughly enjoying this tonight. I really, really am. Now, it'd be interesting to see whether I've got my force feedback. Uh, one of the things I am going to do, I'm very quickly going to pop out on track. So I want to see if I've got my wheel back. I can already feel it through the rig. It's just on Colorado Springs. Oh, it's back. It's back. Yes, it's back. It's back, it's back, it's back. Right, okay, so we're going to start at half past, so just under a minute to run. Who have we got in the room at the moment? We've got Kushti, Greg White, Kuro, Gamer Dan, Shumi, Wacky Debaki, Faz. Carlos Fandango, Ernie Ball, myself, Drac Fury, Sanji, Thugs and Tom. Wow, thank you ever so much, guys, for racing with me this evening. Oh, Richie, should be over 2,000 now. Woohoo, exciting. Have we really gone over 2,000? Yes! Oh, my word. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. That's, oh man, I cannot thank you guys enough. Oh, that is amazing. That's amazing. Oh, Richie, if, if you took us over, that's absolutely brilliant. Uh, my friends, we've got 17.95 on Just Giving and we've got £208.11 on PayPal. That is just over £2,000 for Crohn's and Colitis UK. They will be over the moon. Richie, if that was you, my friend, that took us over the 2000, thank you so much for your donation. I cannot thank all of you enough. This is... Oh, I was panicking yesterday about doing this. Can I manage 27 hours? Is the equipment going to last? And I'm now buzzing. I am buzzing. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll start the qualifying and then we'll, we'll do another little video in a minute. In fact, I might do in a minute. I might do a very, very, very special video. It's one from Joanna, my other half. She recorded a video for me uh, mid-flare-up. Uh, mid 
and you're going to see somebody how it affects them uh, she's normally a really bubbly lovely lady and you're going to see somebody that is yeah quite down quite down she recorded it mid play and um, if that doesn't get you dipping your hand in your pocket for a pound or two nothing will um, wow 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 long way to go yet a long 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 way to go yet um, I probably shouldn't say this but at this point and I can't believe I'm about to say this at this point I am almost hoping that one of the big youtubers picks up on what we're doing tomorrow and maybe just gives us a shout out that would be, make my day um, because what we're doing is unusual there's a lot of 24 hour stuff it's live streaming for 27 hours doing this sort of stuff entertaining it's not easy I love it I love every single one of you guys that support me that race with me boy wouldn't it be great when we were public oh Oh, Richie, thank you for putting the link in your Discord, mate. You know, the more people we can reach doing this, the better. Um, I've already had a lot of my customers donating, and I want to just do a thank you to, um, on the stream, for all of the Revelation Software customers, my customers that have donated, uh, some current customers, some old customers. Uh, been absolutely fabulous. All I did was put a note out that I was going to be out of the office for two days while I'm doing this stream. And a number of them donated, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've had a number of you that follow me that have donated as well. We've now got other people that I haven't even looked at. I've got uh, so many thank you, thank you emails to do for people that I know uh, over the next couple of days. I'm going to be really, really, really busy. But thank you so much for sharing. We're on. Uh, friends only at the moment but I'm going to be going public as soon as you guys start drifting away I'm going public lobbies and other people will be able to find us and of course if they're friends of friends they're going to find us as well the longer we can keep this going the better I can understand that I'm not one of my problems Billy was that people would consider that I was promoting my stream and it's not about that this is about the charity uh, if I if I wanted to promote my stream there'd be other ways of doing it there would be other ways of doing it believe me because I've done a lot of that to get to where I've got now <coughs> but if people want to think that's what I'm doing that's absolutely fine uh, you said it and a lot of people will be thinking it but this is not what it is about um, in fact for this one I've even got my subscriber count turned off because I'm not interested in the subscriber count and what's happening with that uh, Richie yes it's a friends only lobby if you go on to PSN and you send me a friend request I'll check my phone in a minute and I'll accept your friend request and then you'll be able to find us and if you want my PSN number if you just do PSN in the chat it will come up and tell you what that is So let me just head down out of the way of these guys. Whoa! Well, that I wasn't expecting. Let's just try and get down off the off the bottom. Right, where is? What have I done with my phone? Whoa! Oh. Yep. So Billy says I totally understand that you promote people's streams all the time. There's no harm in promoting others, it comes around. Exactly. I think, you know, it's hard enough on YouTube. And if we can help each other, then so what? So be it. 
Uh, right, I'm just waiting for a friend request. It's just come in from Richie. That's accepted. And if you go into the lobbies and you turn on the lobbies with friends, you should find it. Whoa, that was a bad rejoin. Sorry, Shumi and Wacky. That woke me up. That absolutely woke me up. Those two guys going in berserk like that. Oh, my word. Kuro coming down. He's going to catch me on the line. Oh, right. We're probably, we're probably starting really low on that one. Uh, purely because um, I was messing around with uh, administration stuff. But there we go. I can't believe we've done £2,000. £2,000. Oh, my word. Little old me. That's amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah, I'm buzzing now. Oh, I am buzzing now. You're going to get the silly Mitchell's going to come out very, very soon. Oh. 2000 and it's 20 to 1 and we've still got 30 people watching. And I think we've pretty much got a full room. I'm just waiting for the uh, uh, 14 at the moment. Oh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh. The other question, I don't know whether YouTube continues to stream, well, whether it will do the full period or whether I've got to stop and start things and... I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. I'll just keep watching to see whether it is continuing to run. Just watching my phone from time to time, which I'm going to need to plug in soon. Um, but it does seem to be running still. It's still running. Wow. Oh, my word. Uh, so, game it down. It's 12 or 13 hours max. Okay, cool. Ah, Jesse says it should go the full way. Um, well, what I'll probably do then is at some point I will stop it and start another one. Wow, we've got cars all over the place up here. Whoa! Whoa, 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 everybody all over the place. What was that all about? Okay, 12 hours max, so I'm going to need to cut it into three lots. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. It's glitched. Have we glitched? Right. Okay. Back out, guys. Back out. Let's give that one a go again. We've glitched, guys. Back out, please. Okay, so um, I've actually got in OBS, um, I've got three different live streams set up. So at some point, I'll stop this one and then do another one. Um, uh, probably around about, um, probably 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, I'll probably stop it. So around about 10 hours. Um, yeah, we'll... Um, We'll stop it and uh, sort that one out. Uh, Shimmy, thank you for throwing up the uh, red flag. That's very much appreciated. And um, what we'll do is we'll go straight into a fresh quali as soon as we've got everybody is set up. Um, switch camera views if it does that okay we find that occasionally where it does that i don't know quite why so who have we got in we've got um who have we got in we've got faz is in in hurricane gamer dan is in the master greg white's in the suzuki swift kuro's in the nsx kushti's in the hurricane ernie balls in the vantage shumi in the shiroko drak fury in the sylvia 
Wacky Debaki is in the NSX. Carlos is in the 650. Sanji's in. I'm in. Rich is in. We've got room for one more. One more. And if there are no takers, I'm going to go. Billy, after 12 hours, you get a call from Larry Page and Sergi Brin telling you to keep streaming in case people don't know they are the Google bosses. Oh, wouldn't it be great if that happened? <laughs> wouldn't it be great? Right, I'm going to start qualifying. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this one on the road. Let's get this one going. Wow. Two grand. Two thousand pounds. Oh, the other thing I've got to watch is the um, the battery life on my microphone is not going to last the full 27 hours. So um, I've got to monitor that too. And try and work out how I can manage that. As I'm just looking, I'm about halfway down the battery life on this one already. So that is going to cause me some grief. And unfortunately, this is the only microphone that I have now. So that could be interesting. Thankfully, I have two of these. I've bought the double pack. Um, but we shall see. It's all good fun. All part of the adventure. Oh. Wow, you can't go flat through there, Mitchell. Um, whoever that's behind me, I'm sorry, shoot me. This is the one I know you got to slow down for. thought we'd be able to get we can get through the first one flat I thought I'd be able to get through the second one flat giving show it uh, shoot me a good toe now he's just giving me a bump draft so no you can't go through there flat Try and give Shumi a bump over the line. Just get a little bit extra. Whoa. I got too far under Shumi there. Into this tight corner. Couldn't see the braking zone. Where are we at? 152. So 50.4 is what we're chasing. Wow, a 50.4. Wacky to backy. Where did that come from? Of course, we've got the boost on, so it might have something to do with the boost. Well, game of damage quick through there. Shoot 
assume he's just going down to pick up a slipstream. Should get one more lap. Let's see if we can get a really good lap in. So 151.9. Gonna break on 100. Just get down on the bottom here. Need to give Gamer Dan some room up, up the top. Can we get a slipstream? He's hazard lights are on for a bump. I'm too far back. Trying to reach him. He's too quick for me. And I'm having trouble with this corner. I couldn't give him any help, unfortunately. We tried. Where are we going to come across the line? It's not going to be quick enough. Where were we? We were way down the order. 1.5 seconds back. Oh, my word, my word, my word. Well, 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 well. Yeah, I might have... Um, might have some difficulties with the old um, microphone a bit later. Richie, thank you for the one gifted, my friend. Thank you very much. That has gone to Jesse. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Thank you ever so much. And that will be going into the pot, my friend. Anything that I make from this video, from this live stream, is going into the pot at the end of it. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. That is very much appreciated. Can we throw up some beer mugs to uh, Richie, please, guys? Or some cups. I don't mind. Uh, boost is on, Billy. Yes, boost is on. It's on light. But boost is on. Oh, it's getting warm in here. Right, okay, so here we go. Oh, gifty five memberships. Wow, thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who's got those ones? I'm interested now. Um, uh, Faz has got one, I think. It's nice you're telling me. Oh, Fargo Nige was gifted one. Wow. I think I might have some to gift out, actually. I might have to do that in a short while. Uh, let's get this race underway. Um, Thugs, thank you for racing with us this evening. Um, wow. Thank you so much, Richie. That is unbelievable. Uh, that will be going straight into the pot. So that's going to take us up to... Quirky nearly two thousand and ten pounds oh you guys are so generous thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart Whoa. folks if you haven't already please remember to smack the like button on the way out that would be absolutely brilliant if you could Woo. here we go here we go try not to crash mitchell Oh, let's go down a just taking it a bit easy into this first corner with cold tires oh drax got it badly wrong or got tagged one or the other i'm not quite sure it's an unusual place to go around there oh rimac you're taking my attention but thank you for the gifted my gosh they're all coming through thank you so much 20 gifted memberships my gosh thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you 20 times oh you guys really really rock oh please throw up some um, beers as well oh it's still rolling through oh my word Thank you, my friend. 
I'm trying to race, I'm trying to watch the chat. Really, really supporting my uh, my stream here. That is blow me away. Oh, can I thread the needle? Yes, we can. Oh, you guys are so generous. Oh, sorry. Moving over on somebody there. I didn't see them out the corner of the window or on the radar. Not quite sure who that was. I think it was Christy, actually. Sorry about that, my friend. This is a dodgy one. Got to be careful, I've got a car on the outside that I want to try and pick up a slipstream on. It's Greg. Managed to pick that up. Can I give him a bump? Not into this corner. That's not going to help. We can off the corner. If we can get in there. How close to the corner are we? Oh, my front tyre's gone. Absolutely wrecked. Oh yeah, yeah, into the wall. How much longer is this tire going to hold out? How much longer can I race with that tire completely gone? Not that long, because that's, that's gone now. That's gone now. And I can't get into the pits. I've got cars on the inside of me. Oh! This car has had it. Shumi's looking for a bump, but I can't get anywhere close with these tyres. They've completely gone. Whoa.
Oh, I've had to come in for pits, into tyres. That's probably going to completely goose the race, but those tyres, no good. Completely, completely goose them. Right, it could be tight on fuel. Oh, I just think we should be all right on fuel. One or two others pitting as well now. Well, Sanji is. The others look like they're running. It's going to be interesting to see what the tyre situation is up the front. Have people looked after their tyres? Oh. That car drag is in is really quick on these long straights. How on earth some of those guys up the front have done this on their tyres, I do not know. How have they done that on their tyres? They must have gone mediums or hards. The soft was not the way to go. Come across the line. Oh, looks like Carlos may have run out of fuel. Is Drac going to get me on the line? It's going to be close. Oh, oh, I just caught the back of Kuro as he went across the line there, but I couldn't back out. Drac was right on me. Wow. There were some good tight races throughout that one. Some really good tight races throughout that. Oh, a little gnat that's buzzing around at the moment it's driving me nuts ah Remak, thank you so much for all of your donations to this stream my friend um other than rev and spreads obviously the businesses you've blitzed you, you've done so much my friend i cannot 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 thank you enough um you've been brilliant 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 the result of the race, which pales into insignificance, the, the, the numbers, I'm going to go back to that in a minute. Uh, Wacky Tabaki, 51.0 uh, is your winner. Gamer Dan in second with a 51.3. Uh, Greg White in third with a 51.9. And then we had Christy in fourth, Ernie Ball in fifth, Shumi sixth, Richie in seventh, Paz in eighth, GT Tom in ninth, Kuro in tenth. I got 11th with a poor strategy. Uh, Drac Fury in 12th, Carlos Fandango in 13th, and Sanji in 14th. For your top three, Wacky Debaki, Gamer Dan, and Greg White. Well done to the three of you. Wow, Richie did it all on softs. Wow, 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 wow. Whew. I am. I am beat. <laughs> oh, right. We're going infield A and then we'll go infield B. We're going infield A for this one. Uh, I'm going to knock this one down to seven laps now. And we'll see how we go. Um, how 
How are we getting on with the uh, the 10 and 10 tyre and fuel? I'm just sticking with the 10 and 10 across all of the races in this one. Um, but it seems quite interesting. Kuro, thank you ever so much for dropping in this evening. And uh, please smack the like button on the way out. But I really appreciate you racing with us this evening. Thank you ever so much for your, your, uh, your, your time and your support again. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, Kushti hates it. He always hates the fuel situations and the tyres. Oh, man. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yeah, good night, Kuro. Good night, Kuro. Woo! What a night. What a night. What a night. I am... I can't believe this. I really cannot believe this. Right, let's, uh, let's just do a refresh on the numbers. So we're seventeen ninety five on just giving, and two hundred and eight pounds and eleven on PayPal. That is amazing. Um, Jack Fury, I'm off to bed. Enjoy the night, Mitchell. Night all. Oh, good night, Jack Fury. And ten ten, I'd knock off and have some straight sprints, in my opinion. Um. I think you could be right. I think you could be right. Let's uh, let's just knock it down to one on one for the moment. So, guys, we're going one on one on the um, one on one on the fuel and the tyres for the moment. And um, just do some straight sprints, and then when we get onto some tracks that we know again. Uh, you know some of the regular daily race tracks will um, will maybe mix it up again with the 10 and 10 I'm enjoying the strategy if I'm honest it is uh, it is quite interesting how it jazzes it up a little bit um, and whilst we're just everybody's getting ready I am going to put up a little message my name is Jeff Fordley. I'm one of the ambassadors for Crohn's and Colitis UK. We are uh, here today at Emmerdale, which is my workplace, where I play the character of Kane Dingle. I was diagnosed with Crohn's in, I think it, it, was, it was 1996, but I think it was about March 1996 to be precise. In my final year at drama school, I was doing Wuthering Heights. I wasn't playing Heathcliff because that's what everybody thought that my um, m m all the people from my year were like. Yeah, he's going to that's that you're going to. I was playing Joseph, the old farmhand who was about 80 years old. So I'm kind of glad I missed that play because I actually missed the play um, because of uh, my illness. I had a uh, went to the hospital in Manchester. I'd been vomiting a lot. Had a lot of stomach ache. I looked really pale. I'd lost an awful lot of weight. They um, explained that I had Crohn's disease. Um, which instantly frightened me because um, my mother, when I was nine years old, had died because she'd had uh, Crohn's. Uh, she had Crohn's disease. Um, so I just thought, oh, does that mean I'm going to die too? You know, um, obviously not the case. Uh, Technology has moved on so much more since 1979. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was quite a frightening time, um, and I had to have an operation where they took part of my small bowel. Uh, and packed my large bowel out. I was left with a big um, scar, which is quite impressive. Um, but uh, yeah, that that was the, that was the beginning of it for me. I became an. Hello, my name's Jeff Fordley. I play Kane Dingle in Emmerdale. I'd just like to say we need as much money as we can to fund research for Crohn's and Colitis UK. So please, please, give generously. So a little message there from another of the Crohn's ambassadors just to take us up to the qualifier. Um, if you need any any nudging just to put a couple of quid into the pot. Um, there is another another so many people that suffer with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. It's amazing. The amount of people I've come across since I've said I'm going to be doing the stream. Uh, people just around the corner in the street um people all over the place that uh actually we don't need to do that let's um let's just change the tires there's uh, so many people that i've come across that suffer with it or know people that suffer with it or are directly or indirectly affected by people that suffer with it it's, it's amazing 
Crohn's and Colitis UK says 500,000 people. They think it's double that. I think it's way more than that, given the people that I have spoken to over the last couple of weeks. Um, since I went public with what the charity was, so many people have contacted me. Uh, and it's just horrible. If you know anybody that suffers with it, you'll know. But um, Joe comes home some days completely fatigued. We'll be going out the door and suddenly it's like, hang on a minute, I need 10 minutes on the loo. The amount of times we had to ring friends and say, oh, we're going to be late. And it's all down to Crohn's. The amount of times Joe has to ring her work and say, I'm going to be late. And the worst is when she's stuck on the A45 on the dual carriageway on her way to work. And she gets a flare up and an attack and she needs to go to the loo and you can't. I mean, what are you supposed to do then? You can see why the uh, anxiety and the uh, the depression kicks in. It's just it's just horrible, it really is. And to, um, to to live with somebody that goes through it is heartbreaking because there's nothing that you can do. She's had half her uh, bowel removed, her intestines removed, um, and desperately doesn't want to lose the rest. Otherwise, it's a stoma bag and uh it's just just it's just not nice it really isn't and that's why i'm doing this i'm doing this just to raise awareness i'm doing this to try and raise just a few pounds for the charity so that they can well go into the wall research it more and more than that to help people uh, when i was told that joe had crohn's back in 15 2015 uh, the information there wasn't a lot out there the doctors didn't know much and it was the Crohn's and Colitis UK that helped us to better understand what she was going through, what to expect, how we might be able to help solve it. And I am going to run, I am going to run another video of Jo just as she's going through a, um, a flare up. And it's, it's actually quite difficult watching if you know Jo, she's a very bubbly character. Might do that one after this one. Uh, Drac Fuhrer, I've shared the stream on Twitter on the Crohn's profile and also to Jeff Hordy. Thank you very, 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 very much, my friend. Thank you. We've got a number of the um, a number of the ambassadors. I've, I've uh, basically pinched some of the videos off the Crohn's website with their permission. I will underline with their permission. Uh, they saw what I was putting together. Uh, but yeah, quite a few people um, and Rick did me a brilliant personal note Rick Parfit uh, GT two times GT champion and British touring car racer um, he has I pinched one of the videos off there again with Rick Parfit senior um, vocalist and guitarist of status quo uh, I pinched that one off the Crohn's website but Rick Parfit junior did me a personal video which I did show earlier on uh, a lot of you probably won't have seen that and i am going to be playing a number of these videos as we go through the evening but um yeah so glad to be out doing this uh, this charity stream and thank you ever so much for everybody's support again i i cannot do this without you and it means so 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 much your support Jack Fury just got the uh, the safety car, the GTR safety car. That's a nice little win. Whoa! Into the barrier. Round we go. First spin of the night. I tell you what I need to do is turn the acid lights off. Didn't even realise they were on. And lose the old traction control. <coughs> Whoa, my voice is not going to hold out the whole uh, 27 hours. I'm pretty sure of that drinking lots of water uh, but drag that's a nice win that is to get that GTR safety car
Very, very nice win. I'm assuming that was in a ticket. Like a driving marathon ticket or something. Nice. Nice. I haven't done the weekly challenges this week. Um, mainly because one of them I need to do a video for and I just haven't had time preparing for the stream. Uh, I haven't managed to get that one done. Uh, something that I need to do. Uh, Kuro won the uh, Amemia RX-7 which is nice. Biding an engine swap and it is already as, a, as he already owned one. Nice move. Nice move. I'm going to put my gloves back on. Making my hands red raw. Wow. Oh man, oh man, oh man alive. Yeah, thank you to all of you that are sharing the stream on different channels and different mediums. Um, different outlets. It's uh, different social media channels and the like. I really appreciate what you're doing. Spreading the word. Absolutely amazing. Uh, 29 people still watching. And we are now quarter past one in the morning. Guys, I hope you guys haven't got uh, work in the morning. I really do. Some of you have been with me since we started. Wow. Wow. Ooh, my steering wheel's gone light again. 55 likes, Drac. Wow. Cool. Beans. That's better. Got my wheel back. Um, 55. Yes, we've hit 50 likes. We're 55. We've gone over 50. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Right. Traction control off. Wow, wow, wow. This gets better and better and better. I love it. Uh, wicked, wicked, wicked. But it's not about the likes. It's about that figure that's on that screen. And that is what is absolutely got me buzzing and i um, so pleased so pleased and so thankful to everybody that's donated and thank you to all of you guys that are racing with me that's making it happen i couldn't have done this without all of you that are racing with me tonight and that have been racing with me for the last year faz sitting in front of me one of the very first people that joined me when i first started this channel my first ever channel member so many of you have followed and still with me and some of you really really whoa digging deep into pockets and i really appreciate that no end i appreciate the racing i appreciate the support i appreciate the donations everything right let's see if we can get back into this one whoa I've got a car on the outside of me Need to check the radar a little bit more frequently. Right, where are we? We're back in ninth. Too much jibber jabbering again. This is pretty close up the front. Where is that breaking point? Don't get out in the grass. That's going to let fans through again. Trading places. That's a good film that was. Need to leave some space on the outside. He's got the inside for this one. It's double left hander. Need to give him some space. Oh, he's run me out on the grass. <laughs> oh, man. All right, catch up time. Oh, that might be a track limit. Come on, Richie, go, go, go.
Oh, we're really going for this, the two of us. Oh, did he put it in the wall? He did. Maybe just let him catch up. Actually, I'll, I'll let him catch up in a moment when we've gone through these little, this little complex. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. He's right with us. Here we go. Right, he's back with me. Let's go. Let's go. Not quite sure where all the other guys are. Who's that we're catching up with? It's Young Faz! Oh, cut that too much. Whoa, a whole second penalty for that one. That's harsh. That's harsh. We've worked hard to catch up with these guys and then one second. Oh, we got a big incident up ahead here. Three cars involved with that one. Tom with a big penalty. Sanji with an apology. Going out. So I guess Sanji did something. Did Tom then run into the back of uh, those guys and get the penalty? I've got Richie again right with me. He's right on my back bumper. Well, that Mercedes was a little bit uh, loose through there. I've got a penalty to serve. Where is a penalty served? Don't tell me it's down the main straight. Please don't tell me it's down the main straight. It's right here. It's going to hurt us. One second penalty. Come on. Oh, somebody's got the wrong tyres on. Oh. Hard tyres when I dropped it back to 1-1. One, one. That's got to hurt. I've got Richie right tight behind me. I am leaving this break in as late as I dare now. Can we catch up with these guys up front? Don't go over the edges. Richie, I think, has been playing with me. He's right there. We are catching the guys in front. So who have we got here? We've got Faz, Carlos. I can't see who else we've got. Faz in front, Carlos in front of him. We are running out of time though. Got another slow moving car in the mix. Where do we go with this lot? Last lap. Car on the inside. Giving me room, thank you, whoever that is. I've got to do the same through here. Just give them some room, not get on the grass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just got nerfed on the back a little bit through there. Cars here, there and everywhere. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, nice move for the car upside, up the inside there. I just left the door open just a little bit too much, but I have got the inside through here. Just trying to get the power down, not quite quickly enough. That uh, car with the stripes is still on the outside. He's now on the inside. He's got the old swapperoo going on. Oh, we've got a yellow flag. People doing a half brake turns on the line, I think. Oh, it's such a good race going on behind, but nobody could overtake at the end there. Oh, that was a shame. Never mind. Not to worry. I do love it when people are doing the spins on the line, but sometimes when you've got a really close race going on behind, they start waving the yellow flags and then you can't overtake. Um, wow, that one was manic. What a race. What a race. What a race, what a race, what a race. Woo! Woo! Don't even know who won that one. I'm going to save the replay on that one. Have a look at that later on. So, imagine if I could do that all night long. I'm going to have no time. Uh, Game of Dan was your winner in the Master 3 with a 112.8. Ernie Ball was second with a 112.3. Faz was third with a 111.6. And I was chasing Faz for a long time, but he nailed it towards the end. Uh, Wacky Debaki in fourth, Shumi in fifth, Kushti in sixth. I got seventh, Carlos Fandango in eighth with the fastest lap of a 110.0. Uh, Richie in ninth, GT Tom in tenth, Sanji in eleventh, and Greg Y in twelfth. So your top three: Gamer Dan, Ernie Ball, and Faz. Okay, right. Um, the next one that we're going to do. Assuming we're carrying on in order, let's see if we can get Blue Moon Bay completed. So we've got um, we've got infield B that we'll be doing next. Uh, and uh, I'm going to start the event. I'm going to make sure we've got boost week is on. I'm going to change the event. But at half past one, I'm going to hit you guys with a very special video. Um, if you want to know what Crohn's is like, my other half, Joanna, is the bubbliest, loveliest loveliest person you ever likely to meet full of positivity and just really really nice and i'm not just saying that she really is this is joe recording me a video while she's going through um a flare-up and uh, i'll leave you with joe for a couple of minutes hi everybody my name's joanna i'm mitchell's other half and i have crohn's I was diagnosed in 2015 after having a life-threatening operation. If it wasn't for my Labrador Milo, I don't think I'd be here. He was the one who kept nudging me and he knew I was very, very poorly, extremely poorly. Went to the doctors the next day after screaming and shouting to get an appointment. He closed his book and said, let's start from scratch. Felt around in my tummy and then felt a fullness and then was fast tracked down the cancer route. And to cut a long story short, ended up with a life saving operation and then ended up with Crohn's. Nowadays, I have good days and bad days, the fatigue, stomach ache still eating things is very very hard it does affect my day-to-day -day living i can't deny that the fatigue is a killer and uh, not eating one thing to the next day not knowing what i can and can't eat um i just make the best of it so every penny that is donated tonight is one step nearer to everyone getting a cure and stopping people from countless toilet breaks rushing off to the toilet the, the fatigue the stomach cramps the pain joint pain fistulas piles that bleed is would be great 
not to have them on a daily basis. So thanks, everybody. Bye. So that, <coughs> excuse me, is the reason why I'm doing this. Uh, Joe really struggles with Crohn's badly. Really badly. Um, it upsets our lives. We can't plan things very easily. Um, when we do have to go out, um, we have to prepare. Uh, she has a special key to get into public loos and things. Um, yeah, it's just it's just horrible. And um, you could probably see there in her face. And um, Milo, the Black Labrador. <sighs> yeah, if it wasn't for him, we lost him a few years ago when we got Coda now. Uh, but Milo, if it wasn't for him, we would have probably lost Joe because one night he was just bothering and bothering and bothering her. He was pouring her, nuzzling her. It was just so out of character. And we've been to the doctors a million, 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 million times. And I know I'm going over to 1 minute 27. This is important. We've been to the doctors loads of times. We've been to specialists up and down the country, um, private specialists as well. Nobody could do anything. We did actually see a written report from one consultant that said that she was wasting their time, that she was making it all up. And Milo was a right pain one night, just constantly bothering her. He'd normally bother me if he wanted to go out. And that night, Joe had a horrendous episode on the floor. She was curled up on the floor, crying in agony. And the next day we said, that's it. We're going back to the doctors. We went back to the doctors with one of those attitudes of you either sort something or we're not going away. And the doctor closed up the book, as she said, and I remember it as if it was yesterday. And he said, right, there's clearly something wrong. Take me through it. We went right way back to the beginning. She was very close to losing her life. That mass that he found, that fullness that he described, this mass of gunk in her intestine, if it had burst, we would never have got her to hospital. There was a lady in the hospital with it, with the same issue. She was on Joe's ward. The mass broke and they could not even get her to the operating theatre and the lady died, sadly. Um, we cannot thank Milo enough. He really, 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 really is an absolute lifesaver. And I just want to say thank you to, uh, to Joanna for doing that video because I know how hard it was for her to do it. But this is why I am doing this stream. It is not to promote the channel it is not to make me feel good it's not about me it's not about you it's not about gran turismo it's about this god awful disease that a lot of people don't know about and it's really debilitating and horrible and this is why i'm doing this and thank you for all of the hearts thank you for all this all of the hearts uh, i really do appreciate it um it's quite a story and there are so many people up and down the country that are struggling with this disease. And, uh, you know, it, it needs a little bit more awareness. And if we can get the message out there a little bit more often, a little bit more, then, then, then that's all the good. Anyway, anyway, um, Baz, Ernie, um, are you guys running or uh, are you sitting this one out? Um, guys, I really appreciate all the hearts. Thank you so much. So, so, so much. Um, that is a video that I wasn't sure I was even going to play. Joe doesn't want me to play it. Um, and uh, OK, Faz is making a brew. Uh, I'll get this one underway. Um, yeah, Joe didn't really want me to play it. But I felt with all of the others, with the, the professional actors and the professional people. Um, you know, those are really professionally prepared videos. Rick has done me a beautiful, Rick Parfit has done me a beautiful, you know, thank you personal thank you video which I'll, I'll play again in a minute i did play it earlier um which is really nice but you know that is just joe sitting on the bed in the bedroom mid flare up and well you can you can see uh, wrong tires again you can see what it does you can see how it affects you it's um it's not just it's it's not just needing to go to the loo all the time it's not just the pain it's also the mental side of it. it affects you. A lot of people don't know. It affects you from your mouth to your backside, from top to bottom. Uh, she suffers with mouth, ulcer mouth ulcers in her mouth. She suffers with uh, piles and fistulas at the other end. Um, you know, sometimes they bleed. It's just really, 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 really horrible, really horrible disease. And 
nobody really knows that much about it this is the uh, this is a sad thing there's no cure where's the track going uh there's no cure for it <coughs> and um basically all you've really got is uh crohn's and colitis uk that are our charity in the uk for for it um and there's a video from the uh, captain of the Scottish rugby team and uh, he got it as a young man didn't want to talk to anybody about it didn't want to admit to having it um, you know I remember it took me 40 years to admit that I was deaf in one ear completely deaf in one ear but to, <laughs> yeah covering that up is easy not to admit that you are doubled up in pain not to admit that you've got to go to the loo every five minutes i mean as he says three steps from the loo sometimes was too much that was too far away to do that as a young man in your prime playing professional rugby that's something else uh there's a um a paralympic a weightlifter who's uh i've got a video for as well um, one of the guys in the Norwich City football team. It's just so many people, so many people suffering with this horrendous disease. And um, this is why I'm doing it. This is why I'm doing this 27 hour madness. And this is why so many of you are supporting me by racing with me until half past one in the morning. I bet a lot of you have probably got work in the morning. You've got better things to be doing with your time. And you're out here racing with me, keeping me company and keeping me going. And cannot thank all of you enough. You really are fantastic. And all the donations that have come in. Just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Right, we've got, uh, what, two minutes to run. Oh, God, that got a bit depressing, didn't it? Um, I've got the indicators on again. don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, yeah, it got depressing, but that's what Crohn's does to you. That's what Crohn's does to you. Oh, I'm in the wall. Wow, Cushy set a 52-7. I'm in the 55s, but forgive me, guys. I'm just... <clears throat> yeah i bring back memories of milo and everything we went through with joe it's just won't mean a lot to you guys but it's a sobering moment for me Okay, quality at an end. That's quality done. Oh. Wow, nine, still got nine people running. Getting to the point where I may well jump out and um, change the oil in some of my cars and um, possibly getting to the point where we'll open up this to the general public which will start to get a bit interesting show me we're doing a lot of races that we haven't done before um going through all of the tracks it's um interesting this is a, a new one on me too it's a new one on me as well 
So I hope the stream is still running OK, that the audio and the visuals are OK. Um, I'm just watching the battery on this microphone, which is worrying me crazy because uh, I thought it was supposed to run for about 14 hours, but it doesn't. <laughs> uh, Richie's saying this one in reverse is a lot. Sorry, Christy. Thank you for the heads up on the screen. I didn't even realise I'd not changed it uh, while I was just talking about that. Ooh. Thanks, Richie. Wow. There we go. Let's get into this one. So we're going to start the race. Uh, nine of us running. Seven laps. Good luck, everybody. Let's see how we go. We'll be off. I think we're off to a new track next. Off to another track. When's part two scheduled? I haven't really got a part one, part two, part three. Uh, I mean, part two of the video because it's obviously part one that was just so that I got the right um, the right uh, stream in OBS when I started it because this is actually going out on Crohn's and Colitis's uh, Just Giving page uh, that I created um, part two will probably be about seven or eight o'clock tomorrow morning I guess I got part one two three and four lined up because I didn't know how quickly YouTube was going to bump me out uh, for going over time. Apparently it runs for, we think, about 12 hours is what a few people have been saying. And obviously if I'm running for 27, that means I'm going to need three lots. Oh, Richie, club of the wall there, on the way in. Huh. Uh, but I've got question mark over the equipment, whether the equipment's going to last. <coughs> question marks over my voice, whether that's going to last. Uh, question marks over whether I'm going to last. Question marks over the batteries from the microphones. Um, so I could go whoa, very quiet at some point, And that'll be because the microphones died on me. Uh, I have got two microphones and hopefully I can find some way of charging the other one. Power on the inside of me, needs to be careful. Oh, just watching what's going on for the moment um, yeah I've got another another one set up hopefully they're going to charge in the box and I'll get through if not I'm going to have to find myself a lead yeah some boys getting their elbows out in this one Oh, three wide into here. I got squeezed in the middle. Cheaty Tom, thank you for backing out of that. I think I was going to get mullered there. Into the wall again on the way out. Where's this turning? I've gone too deep. Too deep into the corner.
Still caught the wall. I'm breaking at that white line now and I'm still clobbering the wall. In a moment, I'm going to find the right braking zone and it's going to be the end of the race. GT Tom with a great run off that last corner. Absolutely going, absolutely going great guns. Oh, I've gone too deep into there and got it sideways. That was bad. Way too much speed into there. Harder on the brakes there. Give me a good run out of that corner. Get up the inside of Wacky Debacky. GT Tom going quick as well. That's a quick car and a quick driver. Three of us side by side into here is never going to pay off. This is going to be a problem. Something's going to have to give. Oh, who's that going round? Somebody going round there with a big tyre. Smoke loads of tyre smoke there we find ourselves in fourth all of a sudden where are we lap six or seven we've got second and third in front of us the first place runner gamer dan is off down the road I've got Wacky Debacky chasing me as well, really hard. Thank you for the nudge, my friend. Oh, too deep, too deep, too deep again. Need to get some room on the inside. We got the inside for this one, but then Wacky's going to get the inside for the next. We got a wall of cars behind us. I think Wacky's going to get us to the line. He is. GT Tom. Tom is right behind too. This is going to be close on the line. Very close on the line. Whoa! He did it. He beat me. GT Tom, my friend. Wicked. Wow. Uh, RL250. Good night, my friend. Good night, good night, good night. Uh, probably come in around dinner time tomorrow. See how it's going. You're welcome, my friend. You're welcome in any time. Anybody's welcome any time. Drop in, drop out. Three places raised. I'm pleased with that. Up to sixth. Wow. I don't know who won up front. Somebody was way out in front. Uh, Game of Dan out in front. Look at that. A 52-2. Five and a half seconds ahead of Carlos Fandango. Also with a 52... Well, with a 52-6. Um, also with a 52-6 was Shumi in third. And also with a 52-6 was wacky tobacky and then gt tom with a 52.5 pushing me all the way through there i managed to get six but he picked me on the line look at that how close that was what's that three thousandths of a second that's insane three thousandths of a second he crossed the line oh wow and then uh, richie very close behind ernie ball very close behind in eighth and kushti in ninth uh with the fastest slap of a 48.9 I think he must have been the one who had the big spin. Uh, Game of Dan in first, Carlos Fandango second, and Shumi, your third place runner. Well done to the three of you. Wow, 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 wow. That was a race and a half. That was amazing. Right. <sighs> Need to take a pause for breath. I think that that is Blue Moon Bay done. We're off to Sukuba. We are off to Sukuba. Um, we're off to Sukuba. I wonder. Uh, 
I wonder. Um, I wonder what's going to happen when I do this. What you still got eleven of sixteen people. Kushti's in the room, Gamer Dan, Shumi, Wacky Debacky, Faz, Carlos, Ernie Ball, myself, Richie, Fat Dad Gaming, and Tom. Wow. Galacticor is off to bed. Good night, my friends. Sleep well. Hopefully I'll catch up with you tomorrow sometime. Uh, it would be fantastic if we could do that. Right. Something a little bit different. Something a little bit different. Whew. Fargo Nice knew it was coming. He knew it was coming. Shumi got to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, I am shattered. I am shattered. But having fun. Oh, I'm going to have to get out into the carts for a moment or two because I really struggle with these. They're like fun little things, but little, little inputs. And it's quite hard this around here. You do not want to put it on the grass. You do not want to put it on the curb. Oh, I struggle with this one. Mitchell, go, go, go from any ball. I've seen that on the back of your car, mate. I've got to get off these curbs. Stay off the curbs, Mitchell. Stay off the curbs. Uh, Richie's, I think, going to sit this one out. This one isn't for everybody, I will admit. Ah, oh, big old slide through there. Oh, big off there. I do struggle with these. Right, let's um. Let's just check everybody's in. Um, I'm just waiting for uh, Wacky Tabaki Richie. I think he's sitting this one out. Uh, so just waiting for Wacky Tabaki, and then we'll get this one underway. Uh, the VW VGT. Um, I'm not sure I've run the VW. I, do, I love the VGT cars. Uh, one of the main reasons I'm not running them tonight is that the um, interiors are not completed for uh, the VR races. Uh, but I was going to use the BMW VGT for the whole of this stream. Um, but unfortunately, I couldn't do that. Uh, Wacky Debacky, are you joining us? Um... Yeah, I do love the VGTs, but a lot of people hate them. They really, 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 really divide people. Some people love them, some people hate them, uh, which really surprises me. It really does. Mm. Oh, a lovely cup of tea. Oh. Right, uh, wacky to backy, I'm not... I'm not sure what Wacky's doing. I might well just get this one underway. Uh, let's do a qualifier at 01. I'm going to go 53. So just a couple of minutes. Give people a chance just to settle down. 
Uh, so the BMW, the VW and the Mitsubishi, I assume that's the Mits, Mitsubishi are a great combo at Tokyo. That's good to know. Oh. So where are we? Only another 22 hours to go. All VGT, yep. Yeah, good cars. I do like the VGTs. I really do. I, uh, the BMW VGT, as I said, is my favourite car in the whole of the game. I can race and race and race that all night long. I think it looks good. I think it drives well. It's just a really, really great car. Um, but as I said, it, it divides people. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Uh, right. I'm just waiting for... A couple of guys to join. Richie, thank you for the membership, my friend. Thank you so much. Looks like Austin has got that one. Oh, no, Austin has just uh, joined the channel member. Was that the gifted? Yes, it was. Austin got that one. Thank you ever so much, Richie. I much appreciate that. Um, all of the gifteds are going to go into the pot. Uh, I don't know where we are with the pot at the moment. Um, I'm going to assume the Wacky Debacky is not running. So I'm going to start this one in just a moment. Uh, let's just do a refresh on the numbers. Um, wow! Up to 18834. Wow! It's climbing again. We're way over the 2,000 now. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for donating. Um, looks like Wacky is not in this one so I said we we're going to start it at 3 I'm going to start it at 3 if I've chopped Wacky Debacky out I apologise uh, but it's difficult to keep on waiting for everybody so I've made a decision and we've gone for it it's just a quick 7 lap race this one it's not huge I have to concentrate like Billio on this. I really do. So hard. No, I'm on the grass again. You cannot put a wheel on the grass, Mitchell. If I really struggle with this, I will stop and I will commentate on this one. Because uh, these carts, they do normally give some really great fast post racing, but I just really struggle with them. Stay off the curbs. Go round we go, round we go. Come on, stay on the track. My word, we're catching up with somebody. What's all that about? No, I'm on the, on the uh, curb again. Need to stay off those curbs. Whoa. All over the shop. Uh, 
practicing the barrier. Need to stay off these curbs. Somebody else got an RX-7 earlier on for a... Uh, was it the uh, Armemia one? There was somebody else got that, I think. Was it Kuro that got that earlier? I think he said. How on earth is Christy going through these corners so quick? Well, at least she should have given everybody a good old chance to get to grips with this car. Or the cart, I should say. It's not even a car, is it? And then we'll hopefully have a good race. With some nice close racing. Uh, I did a short quali on one of these once. And a lot of people were struggling to get to grips with the cart. With a five minute quali, although it's like, you know, four or five laps basically almost the distance of a race it does give people the opportunity to get a feel for these especially after running the GR4 cars Shumi the first one to break the minute he's got the fastest lap 59.4 cracking lap that's awesome you can see how far off the pace I am That's going to be the end of the lap. Come around this corner. Wow. Woo. I was pushing it as hard as I could and I'm still down in eighth. I'm going to have a nice race with my mate Fat Dad. Ooh, let's get straight into this one. So, nine runners in this one. very difficult this car it's it's, it's, a, it's a real knack to the carts and uh, the real racers can get that knack really quickly I struggle so I'm going to concentrate on this one if I really bin it badly then um, then I'll probably go commentating Oh, I've binned it already. Not that badly, but binned it already. Stay off those little grassy bits. in a straight line get it turned in on the power as soon as we can Fargo knows you can't see anymore how do you think I feel my friend 
I've got 27 hours of this. Somebody said to me, why are you doing 27 hours the other day? They said, why are you doing 27 hours? Even the Le Mans drivers don't do 24 hours of racing one, you know, lap after lap after lap for 24 hours. And I thought, yeah, they got a very good point. Good night, Bargo. Have a good one, my friend. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for dropping in. Please remember to hit the like button on the way out if you haven't already. That will make my day. Whoa, we've got Fat Dad Gaming's off the track. I'm chasing down Faz now and Malkovic. With Ernie Ball just in front. Thank you, Fargo. Much appreciated, my friend. You have yourself a really good night. And I will see you when you are ready to join us again. Hopefully sometime tomorrow. Oh! Did two, car two carts into that one. But one of them, I think, just gave me a little bit of a wheel tap on the way through. That was close. Oh! That was a bit more of a wheel tap, that one. <laughs> but all good, all good, all good. Whoa, I've just caught somebody. Ay, 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 I'm three into one, it's not working. Malkovich, I'm sorry, I had nowhere to go, my friend. I cart on the inside, cart on the outside. Actually, finally, for once starting to hold it together reasonably with this cart we're still battling down in seventh whoa I'm not quite sure what happened there but one of the carts went right off to the side there whoa Got a car on the outside, I'm just trying to give him room. But it's hard. I think that was Faz, I apologise Faz if it was. Ah, oh, I had a run on Ernie there but I couldn't use it. It looks like Cushti had gone round. Yellow flag was out. Were we four or seven? Where's Faz? He's right there. I'm not sure if my move was uh, fair or whether it was one move I ought to give back. I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on. too deep into that one that's going to go it fast right back at me look at him coming back at me on the radar he's right there on the outside You've got to be careful through here I've got another cart coming through Where are we? That five of seven. That's Malkovich going through. On the outside, catching Paz at the moment. Just uh, breaking a little bit early there. Whoa, Malkovich just getting into the back of Faz and then he bounced and caught me as well. Whoa! <laughs> wow, Gamer Dan, way out in front. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do because I. I am quite way off the off the pace now and we're getting towards the end I am just very quickly going to try and jump into the spectate and we're going to catch up with Shumi and Gamer Dan who were really really going for it really really close together it looks like Shumi's dropped off the back just a little bit just on board with Gamer Dan now
as he comes across the line in this car. We're well, taking loads of the curb on the way through there. Where are we? Got any other battles going on? Don't think we do really. Oh, we've got a battle here. Ernie Ball, Faz and Kushti. Let's see how these three do. And they're catching the cards up in front as well. This could be a four-way battle to the line. Ernie taking a look up the inside of Faz. Faz blocks and defends beautifully but Ernie's got a lovely line through there to get the good exit has he got enough speed Faz carried some speed through that corner Ernie Ball has got a slip he's going for the inside whoa Faz just moving around a little bit going through there I don't think Faz is just about going to manage that a little bit of barging going on there uh, but it's hard with these little carts when they start moving it's so difficult to uh, to control them if I'm honest uh, Malkovich is coming up to the line wow and uh, I think game it down was your winner crazy 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 in the carts i think that's probably going to be the only cart race i'm going to do um tonight uh so your winner there was gamer dan out in front with a 59.4 uh shumi nearly four seconds behind in second with a 59.3 all very close really kushti in third with a 59.5 and then we got faz in fourth only ball in fifth Pat Dad Gaming in 6th, Malkovich with the fastest lap of a 56.9 in 7th and I dropped out of that one um, and uh, so did Carlos Fandango, I had a bit of an issue and dropped out of that but your winners, Gamer Dan in 1st, Shumi in 2nd and Kushti in 3rd, well done to the three of you. Okay, let's um, just load up the setting for randomizer races, that will put all of the settings back to where we need them and uh we're then off to daytona for the tri oval now one of the things i am going to do here is we're going to make this a midnight race um got to do it got to do it and we're going back to the gr4s and we are going to go with the um boost set to week so pretty much back to where we were before. I'm just going to save that one away. Just so I've got those settings for later on. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I am going to need to find a charger for my microphones at some point. Um, if I am honest, actually, I might have got one. I might have got one because the controller, the lead for my um, controller may well be the same as the one for the box. Let's just see. Yes, it is. And the box is fully charged, so we're good for that moment. Uh, but I should be okay. Fingers crossed with the microphone. Woo! Oh! Richie says, no Mazda, please. Well, I'm not running the Mazda, so uh, don't look at me. Um, what should I go with this time? I don't know what car to go with. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's the first of the yawns. Uh, I've got the uh, McLaren is liveried up, the Mazda's liveried up, uh, the Ferrari that I'm running, I've got the Supra. Um, oh, let's let's uh, let's give the old Supra a run, I think. I fancy going with one of the others, but 
I'm minded about oil and I don't really want to be blowing up too many engines tonight if I can help it. Not if I can help it. Okay, qualifier at. Rhymes, we're into two o'clock in the morning. It's quarter past two, you guys. Those of you that have been with me from the start, I hope that you are not overdoing it. Please don't make yourselves ill. If you're working tomorrow, you know, please take some breaks. This is my issue. This is down to me to do these hours. I appreciate your company, but um, uh, we are on. Um, yeah, we're not. We're not. Oh, what there? What are we doing for the? Uh, yeah, just look after yourselves, guys, please. Uh, we're back to 10 and 10 on the tyre wear. It's on the screen there. We are back to 10 and 10 on the tyre wear. So just consider your tyres. Um, Right, uh, when did I say? Qualifying at 02.13, so just under a minute. Oh. Wow. Good evening, Alto. Or good morning, I should say. Good evening. Crikey. It's two o'clock in the morning. Um, good morning. 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 Okay, let's uh, let's get this qualifier underway. Uh, now, interestingly, on this one, um, hitting could be interesting. It's not necessarily a straight run to the flag. This is going to be interesting, and this track is just beautiful at night. Uh, most, well, I think we've got everybody out on the track now. Hey, what are going to do? Ooh, excuse me. There could be a lot of yawning tonight, lads <laughs> and lasses. Rimac, I did enter, but I kicked myself. Well, I bet that was painful. Why would you want to kick yourself? I mean, you can kick one or two of the marshals if you want, but you shouldn't kick yourself. That's 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 not a good idea. <laughs> right, I want to try, and these guys are catching too fast now. Shumi and Christy in the Veyrons. I haven't got a Veyron liveried up. Unfortunately. But, uh, the Veyron is a good car to go. But look at those two. Absolutely going for it. Working together. I imagine they are slipstreaming and bump drafting to get the fastest laps. Um, I did have an okay lap, but it's falling, falling, falling all the time. Rimac is going to be spectating. Do you know what? I tell you what, he, he might be spectating, but he's probably having a word with the marshals to nobble me. That's what he normally does. Well, I don't know, sometimes he nobbles me, sometimes he looks after me. So, Rimac, are you looking after me tonight? 
or are you nobbling me? What 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 are we getting the uh, what are we getting the um, marshals to do tonight? Ed Bones, welcome, 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 my friend. Alto saying the Gunaseka, and then I'm only joking. Well, we're working through all of the the the, uh, the maps, so Laguna Seca is on the list. Laguna Seca is definitely on the list. We were doing the forwards and backwards, but a lot of people said they just want to go forward, so that's what we're doing at the moment. So. Um, So at the moment we've got Kushti and Shumi are our top two with Faz in third. Kushti and Shumi are both working together. So who is going to give who the benefit? We shall have to see. Kushti is in the pits. I am going to dive in a pit, so I'm going to take a bit of a risk on this one. I'm going to take a risk and see what we can do on the soft tyres. Um, Rimac, let's get that straight. When you say backwards, you mean the track, not driving backwards, right? Checking for a friend. Um, yes, now what about the reverse? So, um, running it in reverse. Actually, we should do a reverse race, so backwards. We should all go backwards. I might actually win. <laughs> that would be fun, wouldn't it? Trying to go around these. Crikey. We can't even reverse into parking spaces, let alone race backwards. Oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> Look like Richie's got a, a third place. That's nice. Well done. Oh. It's going to be Red Bull time soon. Red Bull. Wagon wheel. I can see it coming. I can see it coming. What I am going to do, I'm just going to refresh the numbers again. I don't think they'll have moved, but we'll just do a little refresh. So 1834 and 228.11. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Right. Okay, we just got 30 seconds and then we should be able to go. I'm not quite sure why it's not letting me do the uh, start the race. Uh, Fat Dad Gaming says, full English breakfast soon. I hope you've got one on its way to me, my friend. I'll love you forever. Uh, Dan, Gamer Dan, are you going to be able to make 27 hours with all that yawning? Oh, I'm not yawning all the time, am I? I'm sorry. Oh, that's really rude. It's really rude. I'm sorry. Um, I don't, am I going to make it? I decided that I was going to get a load of work done and I spoke to my boss and said I was going to disappear a little bit early and get some rest. And then I had another two orders that came in that needed processing before I finished. And uh, no, I didn't rest, I didn't sleep. I dozed for about an hour before I came on the stream. Um, but otherwise, it's been like a full on day today. Uh, absolutely crazy, crazy day. Uh, but I have done my target times three for the month, which is really, really great news. Really great news. Um, so, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I'm going to go traction control off. Right, good luck everybody. Please keep it respectful as always. Let's go chase those Veyrons, people. Let's work together. Chase the Veyrons.
all about the slipstream in this one. We're getting a lot of the oval tracks out of the way. Uh, we've done the red ball ring. We did that one out of uh, out of the order. Where are we on the old fuel map? We're okay at the minute. Let's just try fuel map five. I've got a car on the outside. I'm just trying to give some. Trying to keep it on the but the bottom of the apron here, just so that the car is able to uh, take a reasonable line. Just falling back off the back of Gamer Down at the moment. Need to get a slipstream. The Aston Martin's going to tuck in behind now as well. Unfortunately with this one, the only way that you can manage the fuel is with the fuel map in this one. You can't really manage it through uh, lifting the coasting because you and, and early upshifts because you're not doing any of that stuff. Well, this is tight. Right, when are people going to start teaming up? That's the question. Oh. I've lost my slipstream with Gamer Dan. That let Malkovic through. Oh, now we got back on it. We've managed to get back underneath Malkovic. Just trying to bump Gamer down at the moment. Just needs these Veyrons are not getting away. How are we doing with fuel? We're okay at the moment. Just. No, we're not. Oh, I took my hat off the steering wheel to change the fuel map. Right at the wrong time. down on the apron we can let's just keep keep this together see when you get in the slipstream of the guys going through the corners that's when your car starts moving around quite a bit when you're right underneath another car we just got underneath gamer down there for a moment maybe pick up one more place oh moving around a lot behind the veyron we get underneath this Veyron yes we can that split the Veyrons where are we lap six need to move this fuel map out a little bit more while we're in the uh, slip of Kushti we can probably get away with that just need to try and uh, 
get a little bit more fuel. We might be in a spot of bother with the tyres and the fuel here. Oh, fast has gone wide. A bit concerned about my tyres right now. Shumi giving me a push from right on the back of Kushti. Fuel still looking really iffy. That just went a little bit wide there, that's caused me a problem, let's shoot me through. Any ball's gone through, everybody's going through now. When that happens, I just got uh, lost the tyres on the end there, and we've also got fuel issue. So as we cross the line, we've got two laps of fuel and two laps to run, lap nine and lap 10. So this is, this is proving difficult. We've got tyre issues, we've got Possibly got fuel issues. I'm not quite sure. Malkovich has gone a little bit high. That's given me an opportunity to come underneath. So that's got the Veyrons now are getting away from us. So we really do need to work together to try and get on the back of the Veyrons. But my tyres are moving around. I'm sliding around all over the place in this, this one. Where are we? Final lap, we're going to go for a podium. Just pushing Ernie around at the moment. Got a far, Richie's behind. Oh, Richie's going to come through. We're going to go high. We're going for the. We're going for the podium. We're going for the podium. Was that the right time to make that move? Was that the right time to crank the fuel and go for the move? Yes, it might be half past two in the morning, but the old brain is still working. We got a podium, we got a podium, we got a podium. There's a little bit of, a little bit of uh, banging around a little bit in that one, I'm afraid, but it does happen in that. It's, um, as the cars go high, you, you've got to try and get underneath, and then there is a little bit of, a little bit of, um, <laughs> a little bit of bumping going on um but uh wow look at that look at that for a finish for the two up front one hundredths of a second oh i bet that was awesome i bet that was awesome carling 65 thank you for the best wishes my friend thank you ever so much well 33 of you still watching if you haven't already please smack that like button what are we up to with likes on the videos guys how far are we have we done 50? Oh. Wow. Wow. Look at that. First podium of the night. 64. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you guys. You, yeah, the two Veyrons did dust us towards the end. But I'm surprised you didn't run away earlier. Um, The result there. Kushti won it. Kushti got it with a 52.8.
Shumi in second with a 52.9. Uh, I got a 52.6 in third. Uh, Richie with the fastest lap in fourth with a 52.1. So well done, Richie. Uh, Gamer Dan, who I was having a battle with all the way through there in fifth. And also um, Ernie Ball was in the mix there as well in sixth. And Malkovic I was having a battle with too. We kept on going high and coming underneath each other. Really fun in seventh. Uh, in fact, that game in it. Eighth and Faz was a DNF on that particular one. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, Game of Dan, good night, my friend. If you're disappearing, I just noticed a thanks catch you tomorrow. Um, thank you ever so much for racing with us this evening. Um, wow. Let's change the event settings. So... That was Daytona. Let's try that again. Edit event settings. So that was a Daytona trioval. So now we're off to the Daytona road course. And guess what? I am going to change it to midnight. And um, otherwise everything else is all the same. We got tire and fuel in here. So again, we're going to have to be careful with tires and fuels, guys. Uh, Fat Dad Gaming, catch you in a few hours, Mitchell. Got to go for some Z's. Lucky you. I don't have that lu luxury. But then this is my challenge, not yours. So you go and have yourself a cracking, cracking sleep. And come back and see me when you're all refreshed and not bleary-eyed like me. I'm going to be here with matchsticks very, very, very soon. Very soon. Uh, Nintendo, what car are you going to drive? Um, but at the moment, I'm in the Super Race car. Uh, only because I'm slowly working through all of my liveried GR4 cars because I'm just running the oil out of them because I've been running since uh, nine o'clock and I don't have the ability to come out of the room to change the oil, uh, which is a bit interesting. Um, but when people start to drift away and I can't believe we've still got 11 friends running, um, then I will, I will go through the oil on the cars. Uh, but GR4 cars tonight. GR4 cars. And we're in the Supra right now. Whoa. Wow. Richie, New Zealand in the house. Join the lobby, Dave. Who's Dave? Who's Dave? Who's Dave? Who's Dave? Right. Um, I am just going to put up another little message from one of the crones and uh, ambassadors um, this one is going to be lewis and this is one to watch my name is lewis moody and uh, i'm currently an ex bath rugby player I, I recently retired and i'm now involved off the pitch and, and trying to figure out what i'm going to do with the rest of my life it was just prior to the the lions tour it was yeah it was it was something that i struggled with for about four months uh, before I went and got it checked out and you know you, you, you just don't know you, you're slightly embarrassed as, as a young man as well you know what to say or who to speak to or after about four months it got so bad that I had to go and speak to someone I went and saw uh, my, my GP who diagnosed me with ulcerative colitis and has, has looked after me since. I, I lost a lot of blood basically whenever I went to the loo um, I was incredibly sore stomach um, almost like you were having a stitch or a uh, or a cramp every time and uh, the more longer and longer I left it the more I was bleeding and the more blood I was losing the more weight I was losing the whiter I was getting eventually to the point where I couldn't get out of the house because I needed to be literally within three steps of the toilet um, and sometimes that wasn't enough you know the sort of three steps was too far it was distressing because I was a young man I didn't understand it and you know one of one of the things I, I would have really liked was to when I when I'd first picked up the disease was to have realised that there was the Crohn's and Colitis UK charity that, that I could have gone to and, and and got some more information. You know, information is key in this, and I think they've done they've done a great job in, in spreading the word. And and yeah, you know, had I done a bit more research, I, I might have been able to, to find out a little bit more about it. But Crohn's and Colitis have, have been brilliant. Hello, my name's Jeff Fordley. I play Kane Dingle in Emmerdale. I'd just like to say we need as much money as we can to fund research for Crohn's and Colitis UK, so please, please, give generously.
Again, another little appeal there at the end from Jeff from uh, Emmerdale, um, appealing for people to uh, to donate to a really worthy cause. And you know that story there from that young man really hit home when I heard that one because one of the things with this disease is um, it's the shame of it. People do not want to admit that they have this problem. Um, it takes a long time to go to the doctors. It takes a long time for you to open up to your loved ones about what's going on. A lot of people try and hide it. Opening up to your friends and your wider family is very, very, very difficult. And um, yeah, that story really hit home to me when I heard that. And it resonated with what Joe and I went through. Um, Richie, last one. No worries, my friend. You've picked a good one to finish up on, my friend. Uh, Game it down. Yeah, the links are in the um, description below in the video. Either PayPal or um, Just Giving. Both of those donations will be going straight from the uh, two resources to Crohn's and Colitis UK. They do not go via me. I am not touching one penny of the money. It goes straight to them. And, uh, and the thing you can donate would be greatly, greatly appreciated, my friend. And um, I will be ever so grateful, as will Joe. Uh, it's a nasty disease and we really need to do something to help this charity to get more information about the disease as well as getting the information out to the people that suffer with it so that they can try and uh, better understand what's going on with them because so many people, they, they don't understand what's going on with them and uh it's just it's just really hard um you know it's there's a, a video from um yeah there's a little video from um jeff that i've been running where his mother died from crohn's and he got diagnosed with crohn's and he's like am i gonna die as well and that that is one of the things that goes through your head um, the mass when they removed it from Joe was like the size of a tennis ball and it was like oh my gosh what is this we don't know it might be cancerous so we had to be sent away for cancer checks and stuff so we were thinking you know she got cancer and thankfully it wasn't but all sorts of things start going through your head and then you gotta learn to live with half your colon missing and uh, it's just it's just not nice not nice um, Richie I might be able to do that let me just pull off and see if I can get that sorted I've got to try and find where where can I get the link from um, that's a very, very good idea. Uh, let me just see what I can do. Um, oh, come on. My hand's too sweaty on the keyboard. I do what can I do what can I do I go into there I go into there and we go into if I grab those two will that work Right, what a jolly good idea. So you've got both the PayPal and the Just Given one. Is that all right? How's that? Does that solve that 
What a cracking idea. Thank you. Thank you. What a nice think of that. I am such a numpty. Such an idiot. Such an obvious thing to do. Anything to nobble me from doing a qualifying lap look. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, look at that. 1849 on Just Giving and 228 on 11. Wow. I hate to be greedy, but you know what I'm going to love is when the Just Giving one goes to two grand. Oh, that would be fun. Oh man, I can't believe, I cannot believe how generous you guys are. Oh, let, uh, let me move out of the way, let me move out of the way, let me move out of the way of these guys coming through. I'm wrecking their laps. Oh wow, you guys are amazing. Not only just for supporting me, so many of you are still running. But some of you have donated some serious money. Um, I'm, I'm not going to call out names because um, I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, hopefully you know who you are. Um, one gentleman in particular, just thank you so much. And to Revelation and Spectator of my, uh, my bosses, just big donations. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. But uh, yeah, one gentleman in particular who is racing with us at the moment. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody that is not only those of you that are racing now, but those of you that have been racing with me over the last year and helping me to grow my channel. Because without you, we wouldn't be here now doing this because I wouldn't have a channel with getting on for 2000 subscribers and the ability to do what we're doing now. You guys are enabling me to do this. Um, and I just cannot, cannot, cannot thank you enough. This is when I started this channel, I wanted just to document my journey on Gran Turismo. I put it on YouTube for my own self gratification and self learning. It's grown into something bigger than that. I then did a five year plan and my in my five year plan. Year four. I wanted to do a charity live stream for Crohn's and Colitis. We're doing that 14 months in to the channel. 14 months. Um, I've completely lost the plot. What are, we, are we racing or are we qualifying? Because I don't see any qualifier thingy out there. Could somebody shout out and let me know what we're doing? I've lost the plot. Are we racing or are we qualifying or are we practicing? We're racing. Oh my gosh. I tell you, when I start talking about Crohn's, I get so I get so emotional about it because I know what it means to Joe doing this, my wife. Uh, I get so emotional about it and it means so much to me. I forget what I'm doing. Um, so thank you for the heads up about racing. Oh, I nearly, nearly caught that car in front of me out there. Oh, thank you, Tony. I really appreciate that, my friend. It's a very small thing. But it means a lot. We're coming down towards the bus stop. Oh, I got a car on the outside of me. I didn't see him. Sorry.
Oh, Malcolm Cushy having a little bit of a door bang. I think they're swapping some paint there. Cushy desperate to get in behind Malkovich. Unfortunately, I've been uh, left out to dry with regards to the sit stream. Bones, no worries, my friend. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. We'll see you whenever you can get back in. Enjoy your day at work. Oh, I've got a limit for a track warning. Trying to read the chat and drive at the same time. So hard. You have a good day at work, my friend. Thank you for dropping in. Oh no, it's going around, it's going around, it's going around. That's going to be a huge penalty. Yeah, I've got another car on the outside. Uh, we're getting eaten alive here I think we're going to go full beans and we'll just go for a pit stop on this one Richie's off the road. Richie's big sideways.
Okay, can you hear me again now, guys? Okay, we're back. Oh, we thought that was going to be the issue. Um, now I know how long the headphones last for. And the answer to that is not long enough. Um, it's just rearranged some of the cables. So sorry about that. So how long have we been going? Um, so basically six hours. That's not bad for those microphones. Six hours on the battery. Uh, thankfully, I've got two microphones. So I can charge one in the box whilst the other one is uh, is being used. So hopefully we're going to be okay. Um, I'm just turning the lights around so I can see. Oh, right. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, Mario, the stream is going brilliant. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. We are quite a few hours into the stream. There's some brilliant racing going on with some brilliant guys that are supporting me and have been doing almost since the beginning or some of them since the beginning. Uh, christy has been with me from the beginning. I think Ernie Ball has, I think Rimac has. It's, it's, I can't remember. Some of them have been coming and going, but a lot of them have been with me since the very beginning. And uh, we have, we've now done over £2,000 for Crohn's and Colitis UK, which is just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Okay, let's see where we are in this one. Um, Baz is up front. Five seconds ahead of Christy, who is chasing him down. Um, although he's not catching him at the moment. We've got Malkovic in third. Uh, we've got, um, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Wallent. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that name. Somebody might have to help me with the pronunciation of that one. Um, then we've got Mendes in fifth. Rimac Murray in sixth. Shumi in seventh. Ernie Ball in eighth. Richie in ninth. And I think what I'm going to do, let's just enjoy some of these liveries. So we've got Faz just coming into to his pit stop. He looks like he's going to be ditching the soft tyres, the... Uh, the pit crew go to work. They're ready and waiting with a new set of tyres. Christie's in too. Uh, so Malkovic is probably going to take over the lead. He is. And you can see there the uh, fuel is the issue in this one. They were halfway through. I imagine they're going to completely refuel. Um, Christie's pit crew waiting too. Four new tyres and fuel. So that's um, Batty's car, the caterpillar car the cat car really nicely it's a uh, Lamborghini very very nice looking car fuel going in we're just waiting 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 while that fuel goes in the lollipop goes up and he's away and where are we out on track so we've got Malkovich running in virtual reality out in front at the moment in the golf liveried car that sounds like a Ferrari it is a Ferrari the Ferrari 458 going really really well tires not looking too bad fuel situation interesting <laughs> Mendez in the uh, Mazda in that uh, hard to see that car it's quite dark if you didn't have the red line you'd almost miss it uh, but very interesting livery. It's quite nice actually. I, I like that one. Uh, but he's going well in second. We've got uh, Remac Murray. Again, another dark car. This is the um, black and red car going really, really well. So and then we've got Shumi. Let's see what um, livery Shumi's running at the moment. Um, is he in a Corvette? I think he is. He's in a Corvette. The uh, Mobile One. Corvette going really nicely as well. So American car and American track. Somebody knows what they're doing. Ernie Ball in the McLaren in uh, a version of my livery. Thank you ever so much for running that. It looks really nice. With the Mitchell go, go, go on the back. I do like that livery colour, you know. 
really does work well. I might have to rethink my uh, my own livery to morph that in. Oh, we've got a few cars coming into the pits now, I think. Oh, no, 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 they're not. I lost where we were on the track. Um, and then we got uh, Wellington. Well, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, in the Jaguar. I do like the Jaguar. It's um, a little bit underrated. It doesn't come out very often. It's a lovely car. It's got beautiful pop, pop, pop on the overrun. Uh, that particular car. And then we got Kushti running in the uh, McLaren as well with a very, very busy livery. It's nice. It's sort of green at the front, goes to blue at the back. If you haven't realised, I'm sponsored by Red Bull for this particular stream. I've got the mandatory can of, co uh, can of drink. I've got the shirt on. The Red Bull's on the windowsill. That's a total lie. They're not sponsoring me at all. This is called Stay Awake Juice. <laughs> um, in fact, that gaming, I'm here almost. That's because he's half asleep. Uh, wow. Kushti with uh, purple sectors. So we've got, uh, got a few little battles going on. Uh, Richie's done for the evening. Thank you, Richie, for being in. Hopefully you'll catch up again with us again tomorrow. That would be absolutely smashing. So out in front, we've got Malkovic, who's on his own. Then behind that, we've got quite a battle going on between Rimac Murray and Mendes, just on board with this one. But we've also got battles all the way through because we've got Faz and Shumi. Look nose to tail so we've got a battle up front we've got this battle and then oh we just got Malkovich coming in but we've got other battles going on as well Bass making a move around the outside of Shumi can he make that stick that would be audacious oh he can't quite make that stick but that was a move and a half and I tell you what Ernie Ball is sitting here ready to pick up any of the pieces any of the pieces so this is fifth fourth third second and first just up ahead so basically we've got a five car race here Kushti's on the back of this too we've got a six car race to the end with two laps to run at the end of this one so we've basically got two and a half laps to go oh Kushti's just trying to get up the inside of Ernie Ball he got the move done but then went deep Ernie switches back underneath him Kushti doing everything he can here to try and get by oh he just got into the back of Ernie respectfully backs out as I thought he may do thank you Kushti for that he just ran into the back of Ernie Ball you saw the brake lights go on he backed out let Ernie back through got back on the power as quick as he can and now he's going to chase these guys down and uh, yeah we got these four and then the two up the front at the moment are going really well can Kushti make a move on Ernie Ernie goes defensive no way through for there for Kushti. A slight little nudge on the way through, letting him know he's still there. Everything all absolutely fine for the moment. Kushti right on his back bumper now. Getting the slipstream. Working hard. When is he going to make his move? When is he going to pull out? Is he going to stay in there? Is he going to bump Ernie Ball to get on the back of Faz? They could work together here. Or is he going to make the move? It looks like he might go for the move. He's got the move done. S switches straight back in in front of Ernie. Ernie picks up the slipstream now. Kushti trying to close up on the break in. Oh, he's gone a bit deep. Is that going to give Ernie Ball the opportunity to come back through? Ernie's got a beautiful line through there. He's got a nice turn of speed off the corner. But Kushti's got it all gathered up. Flames spitting out the back of that McLaren as Ernie Ball is changing down the gear for the corner. Ernie with a perfect, perfect view of this race up ahead. This really is anybody's. We've got just a lap and a half, just over a lap and a half to go. Uh, forgive me for those other cars that I'm not featuring in this one, but this is where it's at. Malkovic just a little bit off the back, as is the Jaguar, but right here is where the action is. Ernie just sitting off the back of this. But just jumping forward with Kushti, you can see now that Faz and Shumi are catching Remak. Mendes is getting away a little bit at the moment. 
I think these guys are going to have to work together to catch Mendes at this stage uh, but they're spread out a little bit too much what's going to happen as we close up into the bus stop looks all pretty clean to me who's going to get the better exit it all looks pretty even pretty even to me Ernie just falling back just a little bit but Christie lining himself up on Sh on Shumi who's got a half second penalty so is Shumi gonna make Kushti go around the outside yes he is Kushti moves out move done Ernie ball coming into the pits so Shumi running after that uh, penalty oh we've got a car that's gone really 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 wide I think that was Rimac very wide into that corner. Shumi getting it really loose under brake, under acceleration, I should say. Kushti now can smell a podium. Oh, Rimac gone wide. I, I tell you what, I bet Rimac's tyres are gone. Oh, they're not looking too good on the front. The Mazda struggling with the uh, tyres. The rear tyres absolutely fine. I'd love to know what his brake balance is. But Kushti now finds himself in third place, but not if Shumi can have anything to do with it. And I tell you what, Remak is right in there as well. Look at this. As we go through this last corner, I think this is probably going to be it. It'll be a straight run to the line now, unless Slipstream can come into it. And I tell you what, Slipstream could well come into it because Faz has caught right up on Mendes. Mendes must have had a moment. He's got a Slipstream. He's going underneath. He's going for it is that a break a little bit too early as we go down into the bus stop is that a move too soon has mendez got fuel issues look at that fuel gauge blinking at the moment baz now pulling away i think the mendez may well have a fuel issue can kushti get second furthermore can shumi get third i think that might be a bit of an ask but Rimac could well get fourth. But I'm just going to jump up the front here to see what happens. We've got Faz out front. Mendez in second. Kushti in third as they come up towards the line. Is Kushti going to do it on the line? I think he is. He is. What a move at the end there. I don't know whether that was fuel, whether that was slip. I don't know. But what a finish between those two. Rimac celebrating with Shumi on the grass there. What a finish. Uh, it looks like uh, Rimac must have had a smack in the back because of the uh, the back bumper there. But wow, Marco did run out of fuel. Oh my word, <coughs> Baz played that blinder there. Kushti got the move done at the end for second. Unfortunately, Mendez just had a fuel issue. I tell you what, this 10 and 10 fuel and tyres really is putting the cat amongst the pigeons tonight wow wow hmm wow i am enjoying this i am enjoying the racing i'm enjoying the strategies that these guys are having to play out it's brilliant uh malkovich uh, looks like he's still running totally out of fuel completely out of fuel uh, but your winner Baz what a race what a race strategy to perfection just brilliant loving every every minute uh, Faz says great race everyone last one for me we'll rejoin in the morning sometime thank you ever so much Faz really really appreciate it my friend um wow that one was amazing so faz was your winner with a 154.7 uh kushti in second with a 150.2 mendez in third with a 155.5 then we got rimac murray in fourth shumi fifth ernie ball sixth i apologize i can't pronounce this name um i just want to call you whale because i i, I really really apologize and i don't see you in the chat so i'm not quite sure 
Uh, if anybody can tell me how to pronounce that name, uh, and I hate not being able to pronounce names, but Wade in seventh, Malkovic in eighth. Um, I didn't run that one, and Richie was a DNF as well. Well, I did run it. I just crashed out. And I'm so glad because that was a race and a half at the end between Faz, Kushti and Mendez and Rimac Murray. They were all in there. I mean, Shumi was in there at 1.2 and Ernie Ball. Uh, but your top three, Faz, Kushti and Mendez. Congratulations, all three of you. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous racing. Absolutely brilliant. So I think that is Daytona done. We're off to tracks that I do not know now. Maggio, popular tracks, but these are ones that I really, really do not know very well. And there's a lot of them. Well, there's a lot of them. What have we got? We've got full course. We've got centre. We've got east end. We've got west end. We've got east and we've got west. Oh, my words. Oh, my word. Uh, uh, good night, Matt. Catch you tomorrow sometime. Right, so we are at Maggio Lazi the Autodrome Maggio. I'm getting tired. Autodrome Lago Maggio full course. Um, it's quite a long one. This one I'm going to do this as five laps on this particular one. Um, we go custom weather. Uh, but everything else is the same. We're still going ten and ten, guys. And we're still running. Uh, actually, what I might do. Do you think, guys, it's easy for you to say. It's not easy for me to say. Not when you've been talking since nine o'clock. I've been talking for six hours so, that's so far. That's amazing. Should we open this one up to public? Do you think, guys? We've got seven out of 16. Do you want me to open this up to public? Just give me a thumbs up if you do. While we're doing that, um, We've got 21 people on the stream. I am going to hit you with a little message from Rick. Here we go. Rick Park. I'm Rick Parfit Jr. and I'm a musician, DJ and a part-time racing driver. I was very shocked because in, in our family, back through the generations, none of us has ever had anything like that. It's difficult to put into words what you can actually say to a nine-year-old kid who's just developed Crohn's. You've just got to try and be there and be supportive. When I was in hospital, you know, when you're five and a half stone and just had everything cut open, you can't move, you can't oh, walk, I shall you never forget it. He was so incredibly thin. It was an incredible shock, but I mean, he's dealt with it incredibly well and it's not an easy thing to deal with. It really isn't. Crohn's can get you into a very dark place and for me it was setting little goals and doing lots of things that made me happy and brought joy to my life which would even out the pain and the suffering that I had to go through as well. Like most people who suffer from Crohn's, it made me feel very insecure, I was very very thin and so to be able to put a race suit on and be recognised for being really quick as opposed to someone who's just thin and ill was a massive boost to most sport gave me the positivity to kind of get through the pain. Hello, my name's Jeff Fordley. I play Kane Dingle in Emmerdale. I'd just like to say we need as much money as we can to fund research for Crohn's and Colitis UK. So please, please give generously. Hi everyone, it's Rick Prophet Jr. here, um, two-time British GT champion and former extremely average BTCC racer. Um, I just wanted to lend my support to Mitchell's 27-hour live stream. I mean, that's absolutely crazy. Um, and I love the fact that he's raising awareness for Crohn's and Colitis UK. I also suffer from Crohn's and have suffered from with it from the age of nine years old. I've had countless operations and I've been very lucky at the moment to avoid a dystoma. However, a lot of my gut is gone. What people don't realise about the uh, the illness is it's quite, it's extremely debilitating. I mean, the physical side of it, the pain, the fatigue, uh, the constant trips to the loo, and also the social side and mental side of it are extremely tough to take. And you carry those scars most of the way through your life. I still suffer with all of them as well. So anything that raises awareness so that people can understand the illness a lot better is a wonderful thing. So this is why it's important to donate to Crohn's and Colitis UK so that um, 
people can help get the help that they need to get diagnosed quicker and hopefully help fund vital research into how we can find a bit of a, a cure for this illness because it's just getting more and more prevalent nowadays. So good on you, Mitchell. Uh, well done on your, your driving ability. Uh, online, I was absolutely rubbish. You know, um, I was actually a bit better when I had a proper car underneath me. So you would kick my ass on that level. Um, hopefully everyone, this sort of exposure will help to make everyone understand a little bit more about the illness and people who have it to feel a little bit more comfortable. But everyone else, please support Crohn's Colitis UK. It's an amazing cause and uh, something very dear to my heart. And uh, you have my undying love forevermore for supporting such an amazing, worthy cause. Wishing you all the best and thank you for raising uh, awareness for Crohn's Colitis UK. RPJ out. All right, forgive me. I'm just doing some more changes whilst I um, set up the room. Um, guys, if you need to do any oil changes in your cars, please do that. Uh, some of my cars were very bad on oil indeed. Uh, so I'm just, uh, just going through the ones I've been running tonight. Uh, taking this opportunity just to redo the oil. Uh, so change the car. Those are all done. I've got the advantage to do. Oh, interestingly, the uh, Aston Martin that I was running for quite a while initially, the oil is still excellent in that one. Uh, that surprised me. I thought that that would have been absolutely goosed. Uh, thankfully, it isn't which is good means i might be able to run that car a little bit longer uh, so just bear with me a second while i'm just redoing the oil whilst i have got the room closed off unfortunately i can't come out and do this without closing out the room uh, which is the reason why i didn't want to do that earlier on um that one's excellent so i think we're okay on that car um do you want to see me do my uh, tickets? I can open up a couple of tickets if you want me to, to do them. At the moment, I'm just uh, just checking these cars so that we're good for another six hours or so. Um, those of you that have um, been racing, please check your oil as well. Few of you have been having some good cars tonight with the uh, the tickets, so I might actually I might actually look at those two tickets, and then we'll get into the next race in just a few minutes time. Uh, I just want to grab this car as well, and then I think that that will be okay. That one's excellent too. That's good. Right, let's do um, let's do a couple of these tickets, shall we? Let's see what we get. Uh, just two, three stars for the uh, marathon. Uh, so we got uh, a bit of gold in there. I've got the parts. And you know it's going to be the parts. The one thing I don't want. Oh, no, it's the smallest amount of coin. At least it wasn't the parts. I really don't want the parts. Uh, so 5,000. A few other, few people have been getting cars. Three of you, I think, have had cars tonight. I'm not fortunate to get those. Oh, I thought we were going to get the larger stack of coins, but no. My luck is in with regards to the stream and the donations. My luck is not in when it comes to racing. Uh, there we go. I'm going to change back into the Aston Martin and then we will get this road, get the, get these races back underway again. So we're all good there. Right, so I'm going to go um, public now. Ooh, and then we get into Maggiore. So we're going to create a new room. We'll load the settings. This is public. And uh, we've got five laps in Maggiore. Custom weather. BOP is on. Boost is still weak. Damage is light. We've got tire wear 10 and 10. That is going to catch out people that are joining us. But hey ho, they need to be on the stream. We're still with racing tyres. Let's get this one underway and see who we have kept and who we've lost. I know a few people uh, disappeared to um, 
get some sleep, which I don't blame anybody for. Um, Shumi, Rimac, you see Marge Sport give you a shout out. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I am sh I'm shattered, but loving this. Absolutely loving it. I can't believe we're over six hours into this. Um, the only trouble is it's 27 hours, so I've still got over 20 hours to go. So although we're six hours in, it feels like, it feels like we haven't even started yet. And um, I'm looking at that little countdown and um, you have 20 hours, 42 minutes to go. But thank you, everybody that is continuing to support the channel, the people that have been racing and that continue to race. Uh, you, you astound me. I, I am. I am beyond proud to consider you, my friends online. And the way that you're supporting me is just outstanding. It's just amazing. Really, really does. Um, not sure how many people are going to get back in the room. Uh, Ernie Balls joined. Mendes is back in. Uh, Rimax in. Shumi's in. Uh, we got Punjab Police is in. Uh, please just bear in mind, of course, now that we've opened this up to a public lobby, that uh, all of the respectful racing is likely to go out of the window from this point in. Um, Christy's just sorting out some cars and tickets. Uh, yes, yeah, so the the respectfulness of this is going to go out the window. So, you know, at this point, you're going to need to give as good as you get. I am not going to be policing the style of racing. I may well be putting up the insides of people um, it could be elbows out a lot more in this one. Um, but with the Crohn's livery, etc., I'm hoping that we may well pick up a few new donations from some of the people that we meet out in the big wide world. Um, one of the reasons why I've gone with GR4 cars is so that we can manage the BOP and uh, people can use whatever cars they want um, so we've got quite a few people joining at the moment. I'm hoping Kushti's going to get back in. Um, MC Racer, good evening or good morning, my friend. Uh, this is no doubt your longest stream ever. It's going to be... Oh, I don't This could be. I don't know if it is. I think this could be one of the longest Gran Turismo streams out there. There's a few 24-hour ones. I don't know if anybody's done a 27. Um... Weirdly, I still feel wide awake. Where's oh, Coda's behind me? Lost Coda for the minute. Oh. And I know that we're enjoying the racing, but I'm hoping you're enjoying these little cameos from uh, Joanna and uh, some of the uh, Crohn's ambassadors. Um, just telling their story and getting across the reasons why I'm doing this live stream this evening. Um, it's not until you hear these people talking that you really understand um, what this hidden, unseen disease is, is really all about. Uh, both Crohn's and also ulcerative colitis. Um, I couldn't put it into words like these people can. So I was really, really glad that I found those videos and the Crohn's and Colitis UK charities allowed me to use them, even though it's got their old logo on it. Um, I have cut down and edited those videos quite a lot to, to give a snapshot of their stories. And um, I'm hoping that you are finding those informative, um, which is just something I wanted to do. Uh, tomorrow morning, um, I will be taking about half an hour out just to walk Coda and uh, just to probably have a shower and just have some breakfast uh, i've got hugh hattrick's video with me for you for that one i'll be running that during that little break otherwise as you 
are seeing, I am intending on being in this chair and not moving too much. Uh, there might be one or two trips to the loo, especially now that I am drinking. Um, but otherwise, I am in this for the long haul. There's no smoke and mirrors. It's a case of just leaving the cameras rolling and putting myself out there and trying, trying to go the full distance, uh, which is going to be quite a challenge quite a challenge there could be a bit more yawning um if i doze off <laughs> that's going to be interesting isn't it if i do doze off uh kushti's going to have to come round, knock on the door wake me up <laughs> we shall see um right uh, kushti says i'm coming just sorting some cars and tickets uh rimac i didn't see it i followed him since he started uh, he has streamed every day since GT7 came out. Every day, not miss one. I think talking about um, GT, I think. Um, RL9010 is going to keep me up. <laughs> I'll rim out. That's Mad 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 Sport. Is Mad Sport the the guy that sits in the Ferrari with the with the ovals. I've seen that's that's Madge something or other. I'm not actually sure who Madge Sport is. Oh it is him. Okay. Okay, yeah, I followed him. I follow I've watched quite a few of his uh, videos. He seems a lovely guy. Really nice guy. And um yeah. Um right I Kushti is in. We got nine of sixteen so I think what we will do is I haven't done any practice on the track. I don't know the track at all. So I am going to be completely hopeless on this one. But hey ho. Um, that doesn't bother me too much. I'm racing for the charity, not for myself. And I'm just enjoying myself with uh, racing with mates and new people now. So we're going to start this 03, 03, 0327. Um, yes, I think it is 10 and 10 again. Let me just double check. Um, yes, we are on tyre wear 10, fuel consumption rate 10. And we're racing tyres. So it's 10 and 10. And bear in mind, quite a few of the guys out there won't be aware of that. And also, please bear in mind that we will not be able to um, enforce the respectful racing in this. So elbows out, guys. Let's show these people how good we are at racing. Well, you lot, you guys can. I'm rubbish. <laughs> right, I'm going to try and just do one sighter lap. Well, I would if I... I still forgot to change the tyres in this car while I was out. I'm having to change them each time. I don't know whether soft is the right, right tyres, but we'll give this, this a go. Just need to get sighted to get remind me of the track. Oh yeah, round to the left, right. That gets tight. Stay right. Use this little bit to go left. Cut this bit. Stay over to the left. Then swing around to the right. Down the hill. I remember that. Good track. This. This is a good track. A little bit late through there. I think this was one of the daily races at one point, and I can't remember what um, which car we did it in. I remember. This is a. I love this. This is obviously a track that I haven't got much experience on, but I do love this one. This is a really tight right-hander coming up as you go down the hill. Some of the cars actually get a bit of air as you go over the top there. All those are the curb through here. Much, much more than that. Otherwise you wind up in a gravel. And then this bit is just wicked. Just pick up that white bit. Drift across here. Don't go too wide on the exit, but pick up the white bit there. Follow it down. 
find your breaking point through there and just let this run around here feather in the throttle otherwise you wind up off the track as I did there onto the red bit which is probably going to be a track limit but it also upsets your car for the rest of the the end of the lap so even if you don't get a track limit it still wrecks the rest of your lap but this is this is one of the great tracks in the game really 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 good really love this one okay so where are we I uh, said we were going to start qualifying 0327 let's just have a little look we got nine only nine people in the room which is a little bit disappointing uh, but we'll start the qualifier and we'll see how we go um, yeah, I was hoping to get a few more people um, public people um, but again again you know it's only it's half past three in the morning at this point I did not expect to be doing lobby races with you guys I was actually thought that I would be out doing um, lobby races in other people's lobbies or daily races or something if I'm honest So I'm privileged that you guys are still racing with me. And again, I've said it before, but I cannot thank you enough for your support, everybody that's racing tonight. And also for all of you that are sharing this on different social media platforms and with friends and family and the like. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Oh. Yeah, Desi, he sounds like a nice guy. I'm going to let this Porsche through. That Porsche is a wicked choice. It's a great car. Unfortunately, I didn't get mine liveried up. It was one of the ones I wanted to get liveried. Didn't get a chance. I'm so far behind with some of the channels that I used to follow. Desi was one of them that I used to follow and I've not caught up with him in the longest time because I've just been so busy building this channel and then working on this stream and stuff and working on this charity event uh, there's a whole load of people RL's channel I need to catch up with Sedgies I need to catch up with Baz's so many channels to catch up with uh, everybody but hopefully once um, this mammoth event is over I will be able to get back to some level of normality. And um, yeah. Ooh. So by way of a little bit of a thumbs up, I'm too late into that one way too late um, are you guys enjoying these little cameos or are they too much of a distraction I wanted to put them in so people could understand why I'm doing this and a little bit about Crohn's and colitis if they are too much of a distraction I can stop running them uh, but I did feel that I wanted to put them in so people could understand a little bit more about why I'm doing this uh, in particular I thought Joe's was particularly uh, poignant whoa gone too deep so Rimac nowhere they're good thank you hey Big Joe thank you for the like oh thank you for that and I was super privileged that Rick Parfit took the time to um, record me a special video as well so uh, I don't know if those guys are going to catch up with us at any point, but um, I really do need to extend a massive thank you to Rick. He's a two times GT champion and BTCC racer. And um, to have him do a personal thank you and good luck message was just fabulous. I played it a couple of times already. It will get played again, no doubt. Marco. I can't quite read that. I'm going too quick through here. Let me just catch up. Uh, good luck for the rest of the night. Well done. Appreciate what you're doing there. 
you're welcome my friend thank you very much see you later if you are disappearing if you are looking again tomorrow see if I'm still alive or whether I've realised the madness of what I'm doing this evening and <laughs> I've given up and disappeared under a rock somewhere thank you ever so much I just cannot believe at this time in the morning we've still got 18 people watching and we've still got people that are racing it's absolutely brilliant I can't believe that I am not throwing this off the track and crashing every 30 seconds right now Gosh, I love this track. It flows, it ebbs, it's just it's just brilliant. This Aston Martin just eats up this track. I'm saying that now, I'm probably going to be so far down the order. But I don't mind, I'm just enjoying it. Oh, I'd stay on the track, just, just about held that one. Right, run to the line. didn't quite get to finish that one whoa love that track love 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 that track not quite sure whether the mediums are going to get us all the way to the end of this one but we'll give it a go so we've got eight runners in this one we've got shumi christy ernie ball big stod i'm going to say whale myself big tool and rimac and Guys, thank you so much for the ones of you that have been following me from the start. Uh, I know that Kushti called me earlier on and said that we were going to, he was going to come right the way through with me as much as he can. Uh, mate, it's like three, half past three in the morning. Are you sure you don't need some sleep? Ah, oh. and please, please, please extend my thanks to Shara. Um... Because she must be looking after the kids and sorting everything out while you're doing this. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. He definitely needs to sleep. But no, please extend my thanks to Shara because I know you've got family. And I know she's going to be covering for you. And I really, really appreciate that. Um, you're... Um, I don't know what I was going to say there. I was going to say something, but it's gone. I'm looking for a word and it's not coming. I see there's a sign of getting old or a sign of being tired. Oh, yes, your company is greatly appreciated. <laughs> As it is for everybody that is racing right now. Oh! Thought that was going to be off the track then oh, i can't see the breaking point stodds moves out of the way oh, i've gone too deep way too deep i need to stay out of the way of the cars on the inside now don't go around don't oh, i've got hooked up on the curb there
back at these guys now. Don't get on the grass. Whoa! I did say it was going to be a case of elbows out. Not all of these guys know how we roll. So where are we? That's too late. That was way too late on the brakes. How are we doing for fuel? I think we're doing all right. Just. No great surprise for the track limit. Oh, big sod's got it wrong. Big slide through there. That enables me just to uh, close up a little bit on Rimac in front. But I have got a track limit penalty that I've got to serve. That is going to cause me some grief. That's going to be served right now. So just come down at fourth gear. Can we stay with Rimac? Remac, one of the big supporters of this charity stream, both in time and donations. And I cannot thank you enough, Remac, for everything that you've done over the last couple of weeks. Uh, not only with the stream, but also just with the videos, with the uh, the bantering with me, the joining in with the silliness. You are a real, real legend on this channel now, my friend, and. I am racing you for fourth place and I am loving it. Absolutely, absolutely loving it. <laughs> loving it. He's listening. He's listening. Oh, he's gone deep. He's gone deep. He's gone round. Oh, I put him off. Commentator's curse strikes again. <laughs> if I can't beat you on track, I'll put you off by talking about you. <laughs> oh, sorry, my friend. I am sorry if I put you off. I really am. Joe Kushti often says this when I'm talking about Kushti. Um, he says, you know, he can be a bit off-putting sometimes. Uh, and I often talk about Kushti because he's one of our better racers. I uh, don't think most of us will mind me saying that. Uh, but he also teaches me an awful lot. He's very, very free with his uh, advice and helping me. And uh, I wouldn't be the racer that I am now without it. I've got lights flashing behind me. Looks like the tyres are going to be okay. Come on. Rimac is flying. He wants that place back. Never gives up. Never gives up. And if I know him, he's going to be right back on my bumper before I know it. So two laps to go, 2.3 laps of fuel. So fuel is tight but good. Tyres, tight but good. Watch for the braking point on this one. Braking just a little bit early, but to get across there. 
and get across this one. Oh, I might have cut that. That could well be a penalty. If that is, that is going to let the guys back in. Just a little bit wide out on that one as well. I don't know how far you can go wide on there. No penalty yet. Did we get away with it? Did we get away with it? Oh, I might be lucky. A little bit slow through there. I got big star. He's chasing me down at the moment. Oh, I got that wrong. I got that really wrong. Really, 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 really wrong. And then that messes you up at the whole of this complex. As you can see, he's flashing his lights. I'm not taking any notice. That's never going to work with me, my friend. You can flash your lights all you like. Concentrate on your driving rather than flashing the lights. I got taught by one of the best intimidation drivers here. And you do not need to flash your lights to intimidate people and get them to make mistakes. Just work on getting behind them and then just push them. Lights are easy to ignore. When you've got a car that's chasing you down right on your back bumper, that's another matter. And you, my friend, are too far away at the moment. I think he probably will catch me. Pushed these eight seconds down the road with Ernie Ball and Shumi. I can't believe it. Massive battle going on up the front. Cracking battle. I wish I was commentating this one. But I'm in a battle of my own at the moment with uh, Big Stod behind. Oh yeah, yeah, come on, get around, get around, get around, get around. Oh no, we're off, we're off, we're off. Just a bit of a slide. Those three guys up front, I think they're all together, aren't they? I, I, I'm sliding again, really sliding all over the place. That's let Big Stod through, I thought he might have done. These tyres are really sliding. Just slid the car around a little bit too much in this race. Half a second now. Oh, it's all going away from me. It's all going away. We've got six, six seconds to Rimac behind, who's just got past Big Tool. Big question is, and we get on the back of no, it's another half second just trying to take as much out of that corner as I could a bit too much all I can do now is intimidate no that's not going to work either unfortunately just a little bit untidy towards the end of that race I did enjoy that though, thoroughly enjoyed that, but unfortunately, oh, and we got spin into the bargain, oh, oh man, that's going to let Rimac through, Rimac don't overtake, under yellows, no, he's overtaken under yellows, he got away with it, he got away with it. I, I must have been ghosted. Oh, that was all right. That was good. That was good. That was good. Ah, oh, I struggled at the end there. Struggled. Oh. Struggled, struggled, struggled. Well, what a race. What a race. Whoa. Wow, what a race. That looked like you were having a blinding race up the front, guys. I want to save the replay on that and have a look at that later on. Uh, so your winner there was Shumi in the Cayman uh, with a 2.057. Uh, big stud that I was having a race with 
all the way through that, I think, in second. I don't know if he got second. Wow. Well done, my friend. Uh, Kusti in third. Uh, only born in fourth. Romac fifth. I got sixth. Big Tool in seventh. And Whale eighth. And those were all of your runners. Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. What a race. What a race that was. And we're still at Maggior because that was a full course. We're now doing centre. So five laps of this one. Five laps. Same again. And um, we'll do the qualifier on this one at um, 03. Uh, 0350. Oh, oh, I'm just going to take a little bit of a break for a minute. Oh, coach. Hello, mate. Oh. Do we want to lose the fuel boring? The fuel. Do we want to lose the fuel saving, guys? Give me a thumbs up if you'd like to lose the fuel saving. And give me a thumbs down if you'd like to keep it. Okay. What about the tie wear, guys? So, tie wear on or tie wear off? I mean, I'm getting to the point now where uh, I'm tired and I'm quite happy just to go with uh, one and one and just straightforward sprint races. Uh, okay, so we're on five laps and we're on times ten. So we'll with that okay we'll save that thank you for the input guys Ooh. i'm getting to that stage now where um reserve powers are kicking in how the rest of you are keeping going i really don't know uh, some of you are putting in some blinding laps, some really close racing. Uh, it's taken all of my concentration just to try and keep it all together. Um, I did say we'd start at 3.50. I'm just waiting for the cars to, or people to pick their cars. And then uh, we will get this one underway. Uh, the st stream still seems to be running without any trouble. Uh, theoretically we can go to nine o'clock tomorrow morning and uh, so i'm thinking about probably taking a short break at eight o'clock when i'll cut the stream and reset it all up again uh, to run for another 12 hours uh, and then we'll run another one towards the end to take us up to the 27 hours uh, we're up to 10 runners so we've got kushti uh, Penelope in the pink car. We've got a lady in the room. Welcome, welcome, Penelope. An A-rated, rated two. Oh, it's good to have a lady in the room. Uh, Shumi in third. A uh, Rimac. Sorry, you've got Kushti in one. Penelope second. Uh, Rimac. Ernie Ball, myself. Big Stard, Mario eight. Whale, Lee and Shumi. Uh, we've got a few more people dropping in at the moment, which is really good. Uh, we're just coming up for 10 to 4. Um, and we've still got another 20 hours to run. Um, I haven't looked at the donations in a while because I'm expecting it to be quiet. I don't really expect the donations to change too much um, at this time of the day. Whether we'll get any more tomorrow or not, I don't know. But we are 18.49 on Just Giving and 238.11 on PayPal. That is amazing really is amazing um i'm gonna be so happy 
when the just giving one goes over 2000 that would be amazing we might even be getting somebody from crohn's and colitis looking in tomorrow possibly that's not a guaranteed but possibly um and um i don't know whether any of the ambassadors will look in i doubt it but yeah i'm just enjoying this and i'm enjoying making more people aware aware even of the um of the disease and um i'm going to change that back to um let me just change the tires yeah making people aware of the disease and um just getting awareness out there more than anything else okay let's go good night mz are you at uh are you at college tomorrow with your studies i don't know if it's college or um uni or whatever over there But um, good night. Sleep well. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Cool. Where on earth do you break for this corner? Where do you break for that one? This is a nice little track. I like this one. over the top this is brilliant this little complex through here just quick smooth and nice and then we need to find a breaking point for this so i'm going to go the 50 meter board that was too late 50 was too late it needs to be sort of between the 50 and the 100 i think i quite found a break reference point there we've only got three minutes so we can probably get three laps in let's see if we can find a uh a breaking point for that corner. Come on, damage, clean yourself up. I need a clean car to go through there. That's it, damage cleaned up. Okay, so through here, through here. So let's try between 100 and the 50. That was a little bit better, but a little bit deep still. Still didn't pick up the apex, so probably 100, I think. Dutchie, good evening. Oh, I've gone on the grass or good morning, I should say. I keep thinking it's evening and it's not. We were well into the morning. That was a hundred. That's better. Still need to break a little bit more. For that corner Dutchy, the stream's going well we've already had one can of red bull but um it's going okay with all of the red bull stuff with the shirts and the car on the windowsill and the red bull drinks i was going to contact red bull and say hey how about dropping in but i thought they got more than enough on their plate at the moment with everything that's going on in the team although they're still winning oh Rimac oh mate you really shouldn't but thank you thank you thank you thank you another 10 from Rimac guys please 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 throw some beers up for Rimac Rimac has donated and donated and donated tonight 
and I cannot thank you enough, but please don't overdo it, my friend. You are a true legend. Rimac has also donated massively on the PayPal and um, Just Giving. And he's just continuing to support this endeavor. And you are an absolute star, my friend. Oh, I do love the donations, but I hope nobody overdoes it. Oh, you guys. Tell you what. Um. Why don't I join a party? I have 10 that I can give out. There's 10 gone in one hit. Gotta be done. Let's uh, refresh the figures while we're there. Wow. Yay, Big Joe's got one. Wow, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rimac. You are a complete, complete saint. You are a legend. Absolutely. Wow. Woo. Right. Are we ready to do this all over again? Rimac, you're, you're blowing me away, my friend. Absolutely blowing me away. Right, four o'clock on the nose. Let's start this one at four o'clock. Ooh. Gentlemen, can I just say that um, the lady in the room is on pole, I think. Well done. All right, here we go. Oof. Here we go, we're getting through these races. I cannot believe that we're still lobby racing at this time in the morning. Right, cold tyres into the first one. So let's just take this a little bit carefully. We've got a car on the inside I need to give some room to. Quite hard to pass around here, that's the only thing. Oh, we got two going at it up front. Is that Christian Shumi, I wonder? Side by side. I've got uh, the car I've just overtaken. Trying to come back through as well. Ernie and Big Stod in front of me. Just got up the inside of Ernie. Let's thread the needle through here. Just give him some room. He's still on the inside. Oh, 
Uh, don't think I caught big stud. I think that was clean. I hope it was clean. Well, we've got Penelope out front, Kushti and Shumi behind. Kushti and Shumi in another of their ding-dong battles. But Penelope is absolutely monstering this one. What can two of our top racers do about it? What can the rest of us do about it? I mean, there's a lot of quick racers in here. What can we do? Shumi is four and a half seconds down the road. Big Stod is breathing down my neck as usual. Penelope is stretching her lead out the front. Final lap. This Aston Martin is brilliant, I love it. Very smooth. To drive. Just got to watch this corner here. 100 metre board. Pick up the apex, get on the power as soon as possible. Wow, Penelope over the line first. We got fourth. I think that was as good as I could expect to get out of that one. But uh, Penelope, well done. Well done, well done, well done. Wow. And Christy and Shumi in a race long battle too. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, so Penelope in the 650S. With a 47.2 was your winner. Uh, Christine and McGann Trophy in second with a 47.4. Shumi in the Hurricane in third with a 47.4 as well. Not a lot between Christine and Shumi racing all the way through there. I got fourth. Really pleased with that. Ernie Ball in fifth. Mario in sixth. Big Stodd in seventh. Rimac Murray in eighth. Whale in ninth. And Lee in tenth. Wow. Your top three. Penelope, Kushti and Shumi. Lads, the lady put us to shame. Ooh, the lady wins. Right, so that was centre. We're now off to East End. And then we'll do West End. I need to turn my TV because it's going to go off. That was a very convenient time for it to do that. So we're going to leave the parameters the same. And we will start this one at uh, qualifier at uh, where are we? Oh, we're 04 now. Whoa, where is the time going? Uh, 04, let's do this one at 0410. We've got a few others in here. We've got um, a big stop. Could have done these all in one. Ooh. 
Is the room hanging? Not that I... Oh, may well be. May well be. Nobody is in the room. Yeah, I'm just picking it up, Kushti. Okay, we're going to need to do that one again then. Let's just come out of that, go back into it. Technical issues, the first of the night. Is that the first sign of gremlins? I hope not. I really do. Um, we were doing east, weren't we? East end. Did it all okay? Um, yeah, that would be fine. We'll create the room. Oh, that's a shame. We had some good races in that one. And unfortunately, I'm hoping not, but we may well have lost them. Still 16 people on the stream at the moment. Um, whilst everybody's getting into the room, uh, I'm just going to take the opportunity to... My name is Russell Martin and I play for Norwich City. It's what you dream of as a young boy really, it's a massive massive club and um, a real big fan base and in and around the city it means a lot to everyone and I've enjoyed every minute of it so far. I was complaining of abdomen pain in 2004-2005. In I used to get an acute pain in my left side of my abdomen quite low down. And I think that was the start of it, really. And I think it's sort of like dormant for quite a while as it does. It comes and goes, it flares, and that really real stress. I was enjoying my job, I love what I do. And so it just sort of it laid there. Um, pretty much the question was, what is it? You know, how, how do you deal with it? And how, how, do you, how do you get it first and foremost? And obviously that's a question that you can't really answer. I've read so many books now and been doing so much research and, you know, no one actually knows why why you get it or what triggers it and at first I was really really concerned that I might not be able to do the job that I love for much longer because of the, the UC but I find when I've eaten certain things even over a couple of days it makes things a lot worse so I tend to stay away from uh, gluten and, and, and sweets and sugar so I tend to juice most of it and it, at this moment in time it's fine it's fine so I can have apples and so I enjoy that and I, I never thought I would but I missed having fruit and veg and stuff the website really helped me at first because there was nowhere really to go. Um, the doctor admitted, the specialist I saw, you know, the guy who I was seeing regularly, admitted he had limited knowledge of the thing and I think most people do because it's not, it's not that common. Hello, my name's Jeff Fordley, I play Kane Dingle in Emmerdale. I'd just like to say we need as much money as we can to fund research for Crohn's and Colitis UK, so please, please give generously. Rimac, good night, my friend, and thank you a billion, billion times for your support for this uh, for this charity fundraiser. Um, you have been truly epic. Um, blown, your generosity has blown me away, and I cannot, cannot, cannot thank you enough, guys. For those of you that are members, please throw up some beers for Rimac, and. Um, Hopefully we'll catch up with you tomorrow. In the meantime, have a really, really, really good evening. But um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, it means so much, so much. It really does mean so much. Oh, I'm so, so glad that we're doing this. I really am. I really, really, really am. It's going to be a killer. <laughs> it's going to be a killer. Uh, I keep looking at the time, thinking where we are and thinking, wow, the time is going past so quickly. But then I look at how long we've got to go and it's like, oh, my word. Um, I'm going to start this one at quarter past four, guys, purely because I'm just taking a little bit of a breather for the minute. It's um, it's hard work streaming and racing at the same time. It's, it's hard. It is hard work. Um, but those of you that um, are new around here, and uh, I think we've still got 15 people watching, I'm doing this for Joanna, my other half, and all of the Crohn's and colitis sufferers out there of all the different types of illness associated with Crohn's and colitis. It's a debilitating illness that a lot of people can't see. 
I'm finding so many people that have either got the illness or they know somebody close to them with the illness. And uh, the money that we are making tonight, or I've been making over the last couple of weeks, will go a long way to helping the charity to uh, research Crohn's and colitis more and to put together information that helps people because when joe got diagnosed with this in 2015 um i didn't know where to go the doctor didn't know too much about the disease hadn't really come across it very much if at all and um i found the crohn's and colitis uk or joe found crohn's and colitis uk and we signed up registered to the website and there was a lot of information up there and it's invaluable for people so it's important to sufferers to keep that going and in particular those people that get freshly diagnosed <coughs> and they just don't know what they're facing they um jeff one of the guys um one of the ambassadors as he said his mother died from crohn's when he was diagnosed the first thing through and through his mind was am i going to die as well now thankfully technology has moved on since uh since then and, and he's okay So I need to keep drinking because my voice is going. Um, now, thankfully, you're still with us, acting in Emmerdale and uh, entertaining millions and millions of people every week. And how many of you knew that Kane Dingle from Emmerdale, the actor, suffers with Crohn's? Yeah, just just amazing how many. Uh, Dutchie. Cannot last longer than five hours, mate. Do you know what, my friend? I don't think I can last much longer than five hours. Um, yeah, we've done more than five hours now, but boy, oh boy, we've got another 19 and a quarter hours to run. Um, quite, quite, quite a long way. Although I didn't think that we would still be doing lobby racing at four o'clock in the morning. I really expected to be off in other people's lobbies or doing daily races by now. Um... Ah, oh, well, well, well. Wow, loving this. It's just so brilliant. It's brilliant, it's brilliant, brilliant. <coughs> I just hope... I just hope that my voice holds out. Uh, I've been talking... I feel like I've been talking non-stop since nine o'clock. I'm just waiting for Tropic Fox to grab a car and then we'll be off. Um... Hopefully, I don't know if he is racing. Um, let's just see if he's racing. If not, I am going to get this one underway. Oh, we got somebody else dropping him. Um, Asterwart. Or oh, is that A. Stewart? I don't even know how to pronounce these names. We've got Connor Jam joining. We've got quite a few people joining. Um, for those of you that are normally racing with me, obviously the respectful racing at this point has gone out the window. Uh, we have no control because we've gone public now. So um, it could be a little bit uh, elbows out. We'll try and keep it respectful, but we could well be elbows out right now. Um, right, we're a little bit over. I'm just waiting for Connor Jam. Uh, it looks like Tropic Fox isn't doing too much. And I don't know what's happening, but we've got loads of people coming in. We've got Connor Jam and Jay now coming in. So um, we'll just see what these guys are doing. Uh, my hands are absolutely roasting i'm gonna to have to take my gloves off i think again in a moment uh, but in the room we've got kushti shumi only bull i'm in here big stod is in barry d big big ed mario eight <coughs> connor jam sideways boy lee and tropic fox so i don't think tropic fox is racing um i'm not seeing anything um so i think what we'll do is we're just going to get this qualifying underway and we'll go with the people that we've got. Uh, good luck, everybody. Full Boost Racing, welcome to the chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
incidentally guys uh, we got 14 people on the uh, on the stream at the moment um, if you do want to get my attention please put at PlayStation racer at the beginning of your message and um, that will help me to um, know that you're you're wanting my attention and it will jump off the screen because it comes up with a big orange box around my name uh, if you could do that that would be most appreciated again another track that well, as you can see I'm not used to this one at all Where does the track go over the top there? Didn't even know. I don't think I've ever run this track. I must have run it once or twice in like the uh, the circuit experiences. Let's just get Kushti some room. So we come down the bottom here. Obviously this is parts of the other one. So this corner I know. stay over to the left hopefully we are oh this is different oh no it isn't yes it is no it isn't so this is this little twisty bit oh you've got to get it slowed down big time for that corner <coughs> then we go over the top round to the left hard on the brakes for this one Accelerate off the apex down the hill. Okay. This is a real test on how quickly you can learn a track, you know. Full boost, yeah, GR fours. I'm keeping it relatively easy tonight. I could get the GR threes, twos, ones out, whatever. But I decided to stick with the GR4s purely because I'm going to be getting tired and they're a little bit more forgiving. Why am I indicating my hazard lights again on? Every time I start a race, I seem to get my hazard lights on and I can't quite work out why. Maybe somebody just thinks I'm a hazard on the track. Full boost using capitals or too many symbols. Might have to have a look in a moment. Shumi has set the fastest lap. Forty-six nine. I'm a full second off the pace. Got that wrong going over the top there. A little bit wide through there. Right, let's um, just bring this one round somewhere where I can park up. And let's just. Um, Just see why full boost is being deleted. Uh, okay. Um,
basically he's got all caps Whoa. yeah shimmy's come back to see me <laughs> all right where are we and he bought it look at them all off the road waiting i don't know why they're waiting i really don't all right let's get across the line oh i didn't realize i was quite so close to the line i was probably holding everything up there oh no we've got some 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 others are racing they're still continuing i get so used to everybody being in the chat and listening on the stream that um i forget that not everybody is listening to me so uh, sometimes i just have to put uh, a note out So Barry was a DNF on that one. I think that was just quality. Oh, you just used to being called boosted. Okay. No worries. Yeah, unfortunately, the um, stream elements is set up to if you have too many symbols or too many um, caps, it uh, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. Right. OK, I might as well start the race. Although we've got somebody joining, um, they are not going to be able to do too many. Hey, boost, it is in. Oh, we got um, we lost Penelope, unfortunately, which is a real shame. Um but we got a what two A pluses in here now, so um, that should give uh, Christian Shumi some extra headaches. But otherwise, good luck everybody. Uh, we're on a track that I don't know very well, so I don't quite know how this one's going to go. Um, we shall see. We shall see. Well, I've never said this stream but i've got the camera this side the screen game screen here and the chat is over on the right hand side and that's why very often i keep looking over on the right hand side um i'm going to go traction control off possibly a bad idea i'm going to go with the radar on i think we should be okay with fuel and everything else but good luck everybody do you know what? this aston martin's really quick off the line Oh, I got caught out there by that uh, car braking really early. I don't know if that's going to give me a penalty. I felt like that was all four wheels off the track. Oh, I got a tap on the way through there. Don't know if I turned in on him. Need to keep an eye on that radar more. Keep an eye on the radar in and out of corners. Got a car right behind me at the moment. I'm trying to remember where the track goes. doing on fuel I think we should be good we turned fuel off didn't we yeah so it should fuel be fine I've got a bit of a slide through there way too deep into that one Mario going defensive, I think. 
supports me around the outside. It's going to put me just out onto that little rotty bit on the outside of the corner. I'm going to need to tuck in behind him. Oh, Cushy off badly. I hope that's not another wheel issue. That seemed very unusual to go off at that sort of angle. Just chasing down Mario at the moment. Can we get a third place? Mario going defensive again. I'm going to try and just cut up the inside this time. I've gone a little bit deep, a little bit too deep. He's on the inside. He's still on the inside. I need to give him some room and that's going to put me off the track. I'm trying to give him room and I've binned it. I've binned it. I was trying to just trying to give him a little bit of room and that didn't work dirty tyres now oh that was a shame we tried we failed that is the Mitchell Morgan way <laughs> damn binned it Too much information there, Christy. Last slap on this one. Oh, we let ourselves down there a little bit. Oh, we let ourselves down. But there we go. Uh, just got to bear in mind that um, some of the people here, in particular Christy, we have been racing since nine o'clock yesterday evening. So that's seven and a half hours of racing. So I think we're coming up to the point. How long do Le Mans races in the 24-hour Le Mans? How long do they race for? Because uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we are into their territory at the moment. Uh, so your winner there was Shumi in the TT Audi TT Cup with a 46.7. Nice win. Ernie Ball in second in the McLaren with a 46.7. Also, really tight time there and only 2.7 seconds behind. Uh, Connor Jam in third in the Cayman with a 46.9. So really fast times. Uh, Big Stodd got the fastest lap there with a 45.3 in the McGann. Then we've got Mario 8 in fifth. Lee in sixth with a second three-second penalty. Uh, I got seventh after a spin. And Cushy was a DNF after crashing out quite badly in that particular one. Wow. Woo. It's, uh, this is tough when you've been racing. For this many hours, it gets tough to keep the um, to keep the the, the the mental side to keep the the concentration going. It's just crazy. Did we just we didn't just do West End, did we? We got West End to do. Yeah, West End to do. Oh, losing the plot again. Uh, we got custom weather. Do 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 do. Oh, wow. Well, what do you know? Absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. So we do um, 04. Um, we'll go 434 because I am afraid that I do also need to um, visit the little boys room. Oh. So Everest 30, I uh, that three second penalty was horrendous from me. I tried drinking from the can without realising what part of the track he was on. Oh, I've done the same as that. I've done that many, many, many times. Um, right, just while I pay a visit, I am going to treat you to another little video. Um, I don't know who I'm going to give you this one um, this time. Oh, who should we go for? Um... That's a bit long. We'll go for... Uh, we'll, we'll just...
My name is Jeff Fordley. I'm one of the ambassadors for Crohn's and Colitis UK. We are uh, here today at Emmerdale, which is my workplace, where I play the character of Kane Dingle. This is uh, the bull pack, as you can see, and um, you can't see all the lights above us, but we're in the studio, and um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I was diagnosed with Crohn's in, I think it was, it was 1996, but I think it was about March 1996, to be precise. In my final year at drama school, I was doing Wuthering Heights. I wasn't playing Heathcliff, because that's what everybody thought that my, um, m m all the people from my year were like, yeah, he's gonna, that's good, that's good. I was playing Joseph, the old farmhand, who was about 80 years old. So I'm kind of glad I missed that play, because I actually missed the play, um, because of uh, my illness. I had a, uh, went to the hospital in Manchester. I'd been vomiting a lot, I had a lot of stomach ache. I looked really pale, I'd lost an awful lot of weight. They um, explained that I had Crohn's disease. Um, which instantly frightened me because um, my mother, when I was nine years old, had died because she'd had uh, Crohn's. Uh, she had Crohn's disease. Um, so I just thought, oh, does that mean I'm going to die too? You know, um, obviously not the case. Uh, Technology has moved on so much more since 1979. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was quite a frightening time, um, and I had to have an operation where they took part of my small bowel. Uh, I packed my large bowel out and was left with a big um, scar, which is quite impressive. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that, was the, that was the beginning of it for me. I'm Carrie okay. Grant and I work mainly on television as a TV presenter and also as a vocal coach. I was diagnosed with Crohn's when I was 20, but I had been ill from the age of 18. So I'd been ill for two years. And I think that's the thing that's really hard for people with Crohn's and colitis is that they can go for so long undiagnosed and for so long really being misunderstood. The hard thing about having Crohn's disease is that you don't know how you're going to feel from one day to the next. And that's, you can't plan, you can't say, oh, I've got Thursday off, I think I'll choose to be ill on Thursday. You know, I could wake up on Wednesday when I'm doing witness and be really ill. And the only thing that I can do is I can't cancel work in those situations, so I have to somehow fight through. I'm Ali Jawad, um, I'm a full-time athlete, uh, Paralympic powerlifter, and I'm also a student here at UEL. The night before I competed in my first Paralympics, I uh, got very sick and uh, nobody knew what it was. Um, it took about eight months to diagnose, I think, afterwards. So I got diagnosed in 2009. So it took, it took a long time to diagnose. First, I thought it was gallstones. So I thought, okay, it's only gallstones, I can live with that. Just, you know, just operate on them, whatever. Or uh, then they found that it weren't gallstones. And then they started testing me for cancers. So it got quite serious. And then... All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Just need you to pay a, a little visit. And uh, we've got uh, Mario 8 is just joining, and we've got um, Plunk Drunk. Um. I don't think I'm going to be able to start this one with uh, Mario. Ah, there we go. Mario was initialising, is now in. Um. So I've just got uh, drunk. We're waiting for to grab a car, but I will get this one underway. And it'll have to join the next one because I do want to get going. Oh. So in this one, we've got Christy, Boosted, RL9010, Shumi, Ernie Ball, myself, Dutchy. Big Stud, Mario, Connor Jam, Plunk Drunk, Lee. We've got 12 or 16 runners. Let's get this one underway. Good luck, everybody. I don't know this track. So this is going to be interesting again. I'm going to have to learn this one under qualifying conditions. I don't make my life very, very easy, do I? But there we go. Um, so again, you just saw another couple of reasons as to why I am doing this live stream. Uh, some of the people that are affected by Crohn's and colitis. Um, I've got several of those videos. I think we've been through most of them now. So we will be going back over a few others. Um, but you can just see here some of the things, the stories that people are saying. 
how it affects them and how debilitating and horrible this disease is. Oh yes, this corner always catches me out here. Invariably I come over the top there hard on the brakes and then it skews off to the uh, one side or the other. Let's see if we can keep this best under control better. Go traction control off and just see how we can get on with that this evening. Whoa, straight into the wall as soon as I do that. Let's just get that um, damage cleaned up before we start the run, hopefully. Got a car behind me. Come on, clean up the damage, please, before we get around. Oh, we've got miles to go yet. So I hope you guys are enjoying the stream and also the racing. Thank you ever so much for continuing to support me. If you do want to donate to the, the uh, Crohn's and Colitis charity, uh, there's a message pinned at the top with uh, links to the donation page. I've got two, one on Just Giving and one on um, PayPal. They're also included in the description of the video. And anything that you are able to donate would be very, very greatly received. And Joanna and I will be very, very thankful for your generous support, as will everybody I have no doubt at Crohn's and Colitis UK and it which will enable them to continue their good work in researching this horrible disease and more so helping people to come to terms with managing the disease because there is no cure and it is something that people really do need help with just to learn to live with it to get over the embarrassment to get over the conditions the pain and I will pull up Joanna's video again very very soon and that is a it's a hard video for me to watch the one that Joe put together because she did it uh, mid flare-up uh, which is getting quite a few flare-ups lately and um, oh I'm on the grass that's not good. Thought that was going to be a penalty. That's not going to help me. Yeah, she's normally a very bubbly, lively person, very positive. And uh, in that video, you just see a completely different side to um, Jo and how the disease affects her uh, when she's um, mid flare up. We showed it earlier on and the hearts that were going up on the stream were just, well they were very touching and I for one very much appreciated them and uh, I know that Jo will uh, when she looks back on this we got such a long, 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 long way to go yet. Oh no, half a second again. That's going to ruin this lap. Let's just uh, park this one for the moment because that's, that's killed that. That is not going to play ball at all. So um, let's just do a refresh on the old figures. So just giving, looks like it's still stuck at 18.49. Uh, the PayPal, 238.11. So we are over the 2000. It would be lovely to get the just giving one over 2000. So uh, we've only got 14 people watching at the moment, but it is the very early hours of the morning here in the UK, 4.42. Um, but if you haven't 
donated and you could see a wage of just a few pounds a few pounds then that would be absolutely magic i don't know why but my cars keep on putting the hazard lights on that must be me catching a button i think right let's um oh just as i went off the line there just want to bring this across the line uh larson good evening good evening good morning i don't know where you are i don't know where i am right now it's morning here i'm still thinking it's evening so i normally stream in the evening and i'm still in like my normal three hour stream mode if i'm honest i doesn't feel like we've been streaming for what over seven hours now i think it is six hours seven hours <coughs> it says uh, amazing what you're doing best wishes with the stream thank you ever so much um i am remembering to blink and i'm feeling okay at the moment um but thank you ever so much for dropping in if you haven't already guys please smack the like button i don't know how many likes how many likes are we up to now if anybody's able to, to have a look um be very interesting to know i'm just going to do a quick check and see if i've got any friend requests i haven't um lots of anticipation at the moment on things but i shouldn't really at this time in the morning uh anticipate wow 72 likes at the moment that's amazing truly truly amazing shumi thank you for that 72 likes Woo! brilliant 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 and thank you to everybody that has continued to race with me this evening and that continues to drop in from time to time it's absolutely amazing let's get this one underway uh it's a track i don't know so i apologize if i bump anybody um well oh this is just oh i can't believe it um 13 people watching at the moment which is still far more than i thought at this time in the morning Uh, Larson, I work as a CBT therapist and I've worked with people with Crohn's. Awful thing to live with. It absolutely is, my friend. <laughs> it's not fun. There's somebody else in the room who knows what it's all about. Right, let's see what we can do in this one. Just breaking a little bit earlier with cold tyres. just caught the back of um, the Ferrari there I think we're in front at the moment this is going to be a bit hairy into this one a lot of people going for the corner a little bit oh we got uh, a nice little punt off there This is the problem with racing with a public lobby. I don't think I'm going to be able to get back into this one. We've got cars all over the place. Larson, it'd be great to have you along, mate. Whenever you can join us, join us. I'm going to be streaming until midnight tomorrow, UK time. So plenty of time for you to come and join us. And you will be more than welcome. It's going awfully dark up here. You know what? 
there are times where I think I'm actually starting to learn to race and live stream at the same time. I'm not billing it every 30 seconds. Well, I assume he's way out in front at the moment. Oh, I might have cut that one. I'm on the gravel too. Ah, oh, commentate this curse look. I'm starting to get the hang of this lark. Driving and commentating and streaming all at the same time. And then I go and bin it. <laughs> that is the Murray Walker in me. I'm going to have to work to get on the back of these guys up front again now. We're running out of laps too, so it's just throw everything at this one. One more lap after this. Short little sprint this one. Needed to get a good one off that, good run off that corner. I think the yellow one was going into that wall anyway, so I just uh, just giving him a bit of room, but we didn't touch. I think that was all good. Oh, big stud, just easing boosted out onto the grass there a little bit. Just got down the inside of boosted there, but couldn't quite hold it. It's got a better run off the corner. Where are we? Final lap. Got the yellow car right behind me. Well, we got seventh. We got seventh. Ooh. Last than 12 a.m. tomorrow. Wow, thank you. That'd be great. We'll all, uh, also donate once I've had a bit more sleep. No worries, my friend. I uh, hope the next few hours go well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, we got, uh, what have we got? We've got another 19 hours to do. 19 hours to go. So um, plenty, plenty of action to go at the moment that's it one of the things i'm going to do let me just think that that microphone is okay let me just double check no, it doesn't want to find it yet i think we're okay with that for the moment Probably just check that microphone in a moment. Oh, let's just um, pop that over here so I could see what I'm doing in a moment. So I managed to raise uh, one position, got a seventh place in that one. Let's um, have a look at the result. Shumi was your winner then. Shumi and Christy, yeah, again up the front. Shumi was the winner, 56-0, And Christy with a 56.056. So again, those two right with it on the best laps. But Shumi first, Christy second, RL9010 in third uh, with a 56.7. Only Ball in fourth, Big Stod in ninth, Boosted in sixth, I got seventh, Duchy in eighth, Lee in ninth, Mario eight in tenth, Connor Jam in 11th and Punk Drunk in 12th. So your top three there, Shumi, Kushti and RL9010. Wow. Boy, oh boy, we are flying through these tonight. Uh, we're still at Majeure, I think. So that was uh, West End. We've now got East and then we've got West. So 
So quite a few tracks here, quite a few tracks. Uh, so we'll set this one up and I just want to try and just see if um, I want to make sure that this OK, it looks like that is charging, which is good. I've not actually had these microphones running this long before, so I'm actually draining the batteries and it's trying to charge them at the same time. Um, uh, the stream is still running from what I can see on my phone, which is good. I'm going to need to plug my phone in because my phone is now running up battery. So let's just do that now. Just pop that down, gorgeous down there. Oh, 73 likes now. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Absolutely amazing. I was just taking a little bit of a breather for the moment. Um, just trying to pace myself at the moment. The um, We were going through these races one after the other, one after the other really quickly because there's a lot of races that we can get through. I don't think we're going to get through them all during this live stream. Um, but just uh, just pacing it at the moment. Pacing at the moment. And in a moment, I am going to put up the um, videos from Joanna again. Uh, we'll get this race out of the way. And then um, I will probably play Joanna's video. Ooh. Um, I'm just seeing in the chat here, uh, Boosted has said, you make a mistake, you pull over and wait. That's gen general etiquette within Gran Turismo 7. Uh, RL 1910 has said, so we're upholding house rules now. It's difficult for me to uphold house rules when we're on a public lobby. Because I could turn around to Christy, Shumi, Ernie Ball, um, RL 9010 and myself and say, yeah. House rules. You bump somebody, you get the place back. I can't enforce that with Connor Jam, with Lee, with some of these other people that are not used to running with us. Um, it is in the description of the video. But it's very difficult to enforce. So, guys, I think we've got to take this one with a little bit of a pinch of salt, I'm afraid. And uh, there is going to be some door banging. There is going to be a little bit bargy bargy. I got knocked off big time in that last one. Um, I don't know who by, I don't care, uh, but I got knocked off big time, but it's, it's just the way that it is. You know, whoever, whoever bumped me off didn't stop. Um, oh, I'm going to have to race without my gloves on again. I'm getting, my hands getting so hot. Um, a minute. I'll give my hands a little bit of a break. Uh, but yeah, very, very, very difficult to, um, police things when you've got a public lobby it'll be different tomorrow night when i close off we'll go back at nine o'clock we'll go back to friends only and um then we will be enforcing again yeah i don't know if everest is is listening to the stream uh, but if you are, one of our house rules is if you do bump somebody off and you, you spoil a race, what we do is we just back off. We give the place back by way of an apology. And then we normally just explain ourselves in the chat as to um, you know, what happened. Very often it is just a, a, a mistake. Uh, it's just the rules that a lot of the people in here are used to running. So Kushti is, uh, RL9010 is, Shumi, Ernie Ball, uh, a lot of my regulars are aware of that um whoo, right uh i'm just waiting on lee and rl 9010 um rl are you are you racing this one i hope so i hope so yes he is yeah good good, good. right just waiting on lee right let's um uh, let's go with this one we we'll start the qualifying Racing without gloves on this one. We've got nine in the room at the moment in the lobby racing. We've still got 15 people watching, which is smashing. 
Talking about smashing, please smack that like button if you haven't already. That would be great. And let's go for another one. We are really getting through the races tonight. Oh, I need to change my tyres yet again. Unfortunately, I can't come out and change them in the actual car because I kill the lobby. Uh, Connor, I would change your tyres if I was you, mate. <coughs> so this is another track that I'm learning on the go, but it is parts of what we've just run. So hopefully it will be relatively easy to pick up. This is only the outlap, so we can just explore at the moment. Uh, let's just let these guys go and just find a little bit of space. This is only the, the outlap. So we've got um, four minutes, just under. But plenty of time to get one or two flying laps in. Really, we should get a few of these um, races in the randomizer on these tracks quite enjoying is I've forgotten about the Maggiore tracks they're actually really good they really flow nicely and I don't think we've got many of them in the randomizer so I ought to look at that right here we go down at this corner hazard lights on again what is it with this car either I'm flicking the button when I don't expect to or the car is rendering with the um, hazard lights on I can't quite quite work out which it is it's probably gonna be me but um, whoa got a bit deep through there that's gonna upset that corner and it's gonna end upset this one got my line a little bit wrong on the way in whoa oh, I was looking at the chat I was looking at the chat we could be starting this one at the back of the grid those of you that are wondering about what's going on in the chat um, I stream Monday to Friday from nine o'clock UK time in the evening through to whenever often around about midnight and what we do is we label it up as um, respectful racing and we've got a bunch of guys very respectful racers that race hard but fair of all different categories a, A plus, B's, C's, D's. And one of the hard rules that we have is if you bump somebody, if you knock them off, ruin the race, whatever, you just back out as soon as you can, when it's safe, you back out, get the place back, and then you just race with that individual. It's just a way of apologizing for what you did. And also if you've wrecked somebody's race, and I'm gonna get out of the way of this car that's coming through, um, yeah, if you've their race, you just back out and then you race with that individual so they're not running around pretty, pretty no mates. And then in the chat, we usually just say, you know, sorry, this happened, that happened, whatever. And everybody's happy. 
everybody knows what's happened they know it was an accident and uh, that's, that's just a rule that we have when we are racing as friends online and that's basically what that chat is all about those rules are actually in the description for this video but they're very hard as I said to enforce when you've got a public lobby and people aren't looking at the YouTube stream and they're only seeing it in the game so that's why I'm letting that go at the moment quite get that right in this race that little complex Wow. So sixth out of ninth. Well done, Shumi only ball up the top. And Kushti's there as well. Boosty's not far behind. Well done to you all. <laughs> I think Boosty thought he got P3 and he's just been bumped down to by Kushti, but uh this is interesting, our two A-plus racers in third and fourth. And uh, we've got an A and a B up ahead. Um, although I thought Ernie Ball was, a, was an A. Um, right, let's, uh, let's get this one underway and see what we can do. Um, oh, oh, oh. Oh, we've got a new channel member, MMGT. Thank you for joining as a new channel member. And we've got Big Joe. Thank you for the three months. SDS, thank you for the two months. Uh, and DT, welcome. And Demetrius Wilson, welcome. Uh, lots of new channel members offer the gifted. Can't go through them all. But welcome, 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 welcome to you all. Here we go. Loving this Aston Martin tonight. It's going really, really well. Let's see if we can go for a podium this one. What do we think? Okay, cold tyres into the first one. A couple of tie guys just uh, weaving to warm up their tyres. It's going to take it a little bit easy just for the first few corners. Got a car on the outside of me at the moment. But we got the inside line there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can't quite find a way past 9010. Oh, big slide from 9010 out of that corner. Still managed to get the power down nicely, though. Might have got a penalty for that. 
I think I was a little bit far, too far over the kerb. Still no way past our L9010. He's still on the inside. Just got to give him room. Oh, I think we got that done. That was a bit of a cheeky move. He's still coming back at me. I've got to give him room on the inside. I've still got to give him room. He's still there. This is side by side. How on earth can you go through there side by side? Oh, we got Mario coming in really hot. I'm getting boxed in here, guys. <laughs> I've got nowhere to go. Where's that braking zone? Let's just brake a little bit early, catch this apex, sweep across here and just see if that's going to open up anything for me. Slightly different line through there. So slightly compromised through there, but uh, we got Mario and 9010 having a right old battle. Mario's still on the inside of me, he's still there. Ninety ten just getting away from the moment. Oh, I touch Mar touch 9010, let's just give that place back. That's going to let Mario through, but I did touch... RL9010 going into that corner. So we just gave that back to let him through. So we've got it all to do again now. RL9010 going super defensive, but oh, they got into the back of Ernie there. Were tempers frayed there? I'm not quite Christy and I both jinked at the same time there. It's on the inside of me, so I'm going to have to give him some room. Christy's oh, on the grass. Rare mistake. The pupil gets past the teacher. We now find ourselves with one lap to go, staring at a podium again. Now the podium isn't mine yet, we've got to see if we can do anything about these two guys up front. Two very quick guys. Oh, I hope that's not a penalty. That's off the track. Ernie Ball telling me to go, go, go. I am go, 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 going. Or maybe he's meaning go, go, go away and leave me alone. I'm not quite sure. Oh, these two really going for it in front. I thought maybe if they were having a battle that might help me, but they are really going for it. Very respectful. No mistakes as yet from either of those two guys.
It's going to be close, but not close enough. <laughs> well done, guys. Wow, what a battle up front. What a battle up front. What a battle up front. Shumi out front, but Boosted and Ernie Ball had an absolute blinding battle in that one. Absolutely blinding battle. Unfortunately, Kushti got on the grass. I was enjoying the battle with Kushti, uh, but he got on the grass. It went round, and that gifted me the position. But that was brilliant. Wow. Yeah, Kushti went in heavy into the wall. He got on the grass and he just got a swapper on. And that was it, game over. It's a shame, So I was running with him really close racing and thoroughly enjoying that one. Uh, this Aston Martin is a good car. Really good car, good car. Where are we? Water pass five. Wow, 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 wow. Christy says it all started long before you were close behind. <laughs> oh. Tell me more, my friend. Tell me more. Tell me more. All right. Where are we? I went wide while racing Boosted. We were having an epic battle. Uh, boosted, I drifted wide and pushed him in the way. Oh, oh. Okay, so Shumi was your winner there. Again, Shumi's on fire tonight. 124.4. Uh, boosted in second with a 124.8. Ernie Ball with a fine third with a 125.4. I got a fourth. Couldn't quite convert that. The battle between Boosted and Ernie was amazing to watch. Uh, so I had to settle for fourth. We got RL90 10 in fifth. Lee in sixth. Connor Jam in seventh. And Kushti in eighth. Mario eight with a DNF in ninth. So your top three there. Shumi, Boosted and Ernie Ball. Congratulations. All three of you. Oh, wow. Woo. Shumi wins again. Wow, wow, wow. What what racing tonight? Brilliant racing, brilliant racing. So that was Maggiore East. I think we've got the last of the Maggiore races now, which is going to be West. Um, again, another track that I'm going to have to get used to uh, and to get to grips with it. But I am enjoying Maggio. It's, um, it's certainly fun. Uh, I'm going to go qualifier at... Um, 05. How many people we got watching? 16 people watching at the moment. Uh, so we got 05. I'm going to start this one at 0520. And I'm just going to have a little message from my other half who recorded this for me and didn't want me to show it, but uh, she's given me permission to show it. Uh, she recorded this while mid flare up. And she's normally a very bubbly, positive individual. And you can see a different side to her. But uh, I'll see you again in just a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. Hi, everybody. My name's Joanna. I'm Mitchell's other half and I have Crohn's. I was diagnosed in 2015 after having a life threatening operation. If it wasn't for my Labrador Milo, I don't think I'd be here. He was the one who kept nudging me and he knew I was very, very poorly, extremely poorly. Went to the doctors the next day after screaming and shouting to get an appointment. He closed his book and said, let's start from scratch. Felt around in my tummy and then felt a fullness and then was fast tracked down the cancer route and to cut a long story short ended up with a life saving operation and then ended up with Crohn's. Nowadays I have good days and bad days, the fatigue, stomach ache still, 
eating things is very, very hard. It does affect my day-to-day -day living. I can't deny that. The fatigue is a killer and uh, not eating one thing to the next day, not knowing what I can and can't eat. Um, I just make the best of it. So every penny that is donated tonight is one step nearer to everyone getting a cure and stopping people from countless toilet breaks, rushing off to the toilet, the fatigue, the stomach cramps, pain, joint pain, fistulas, piles that bleed is would be great not to have them on a daily basis. So thanks everybody. Bye. So just another little reminder of uh, why we're doing this tonight. Um, Joanna suffers with Crohn's really badly and she has um, she has good days and bad days and uh, we're just really thankful for Milo that she mentioned there for um, being a pain in the neck that night that um, caused us to uh, to go to the doctors and um, yeah found what the issue was um, Um, so we've got uh, Mario, we're going to be move on, moving on in the next one. Moving on after this one. I guess this is not a track he likes. Oh uh, yeah, so we're extremely grateful to Milo. We lost Milo three years ago. Um, but uh, really dear to our hearts. And um, yeah, there was a lady in the hospital where Joe was and she was admitted with a similar problem with this mass in her gut and hers exploded. It burst while she was on the ward and they couldn't even get the poor lady to the operating theater, they, they lost her. So we, uh, it really hit home just how lucky we are to have Joe with us. Uh, because if it had burst at home, there's no way we'd have got her to the hospital in time. Just no way. Um, oh. Mario, we will be moving on in just a moment. Basically, what I'm doing, I'm going through all of the tracks in the game over this live stream. Um, that is the plan. So we're just stepping through them. We did jump over to um, Red Bull and uh, Colorado Springs. Uh, we did those two out of orders, but I've gone back to doing them in order for the moment. Um, I think... Um, Boosted, you're a good man, and you do well for her, mate, or credit to you. No, mate, I'm just I'm just doing what little I can. I am just doing what little I can. Uh, when you live with somebody with Crohn's, it's just the whole family gets involved. Your, the whole family... The, the diet changes, the planning of going out changes. It affects everybody, not just the person that is ill. Um, it's a bit like when you get somebody with a physical disability and everybody has to get involved when you're going out. Um, Boosty, are you, are you racing or are you sitting this one out? I can't remember. Oh, he's going to sit this one out. Okay, let's get this one underway. Um, yeah, it almost becomes like a military operation when you want to go out. And the amount of times we're at the door and I'm ready to go and Joe's like, oh, I need to go to the loo. And she just disappears for 10 minutes or, you know, we, we're going down the motorway and it's like, I need the loo and you've just got to sort of find one. It's just so difficult. Just so, 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 so difficult. And I've done it again, haven't I? Let me change these tyres. A lot of you are wondering why I don't change those in the game. I can't because if I come out, I kill the room. The next time I come out and kill the room, uh, I ought to really remember to do that. But I hope that this stream is still running at the moment. Um, nobody shouted at me. It looks like we're still good.
quite a technical track with this one, I agree, but I do like it. It's very flowing. And uh, when you do get used to it, it's very, very, very good. This is a difficult corner, this large sort of elongated compound curve. It's not quite a compound curve, but um, I treat it like one. Whoa, nearly lost it there. We are on the grass now, thought we were. I was trying to get a good run down at this first corner. Didn't happen. Just rotated around. Ah, oh, it's on the grass. I've gone too deep. Thought I did. That's not going to help. somebody mentioned earlier on that we've got the manufacturers tomorrow as well anybody doing the, anybody doing the manufacturers races I actually thought at this time it would be dead quiet and I might actually be practicing for those <laughs> Let's just let Kushti through. I'm all over the place in this one. I'm on the grass again. What is it with me in the grass at the moment? What is with Christian in the grass? He's on the grass too. What's up with a pair of us? Thanks, Christy. He's on the grass again. trying to hook up a lap here and I'm on the grass and I'm in the wall can I get one more lap in I wonder let's just let the Cayman through because I've messed up my lap I don't want to mess up his got damage on the front which I need to clean up before we cross the line, ideally. I don't think I'm going to get another... Am I going to get another lap in? Yes. Right, let's make this one count, Mitchell. I've gone too deep. Pushing too hard. my hazard lights on yet again what is going on with this car does anybody know why my car keep putting hazard lights on I'm sure I'm not pushing the button unless I've got an incorrectly mapped button of course I need to get that little corner sorted out, otherwise I'm going to wreck my lap.
Hmm. Yeah, it just seems really weird. Right. Okay, I think we should be ready to rumble with this one. So we've got Kushti, Ernie Ball, RL9010, Peroni, Mario, Lee, Connor Jam, and myself. Uh, Tony Bickman, Mitch, my meds are kicking in, so need to go now. Carry on the great job you're doing, and I'll see you later, my friend. Good morning, all. Keep looking after Mitch. Thank you, my friend. Thanks for dropping in, Tony. I really appreciate it. And it's daylight in the Netherlands right now, Ernie Ball is telling us. Uh, I don't know what it's doing over here. Still pitch black. <laughs> so where are we? Oh, half past five in the morning. Woo! Do you know, if we'd done a 12-hour stream, we'd be nearly done now. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. I'm going to have a look and make sure my hazard lights aren't on. They're not on at the moment. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I can't believe after all these hours I'm still racing. Right, cold, cold tyres into this one. To start with. So we'll just take it a little bit easy. Tucked up behind Lee at the moment. Hard to see the the uh, track points going through there tucked up right behind the Ferrari oh Connor Jam got back through Can I get a toe off Peroni? Well, Peroni broke early. I broke really late. I think there was a few cars collecting each other through there. Just having to give these cars all around me a little bit of space. Let's just try and tuck in behind Mario. I've also got the Cayman on the outside. Down the hill. He's still there. Just got to give him space. We should have the inside through here, but again, I've got to give him space on the outside. I think we did. I think we did. Oh, that was a bit iffy. Looking for a breaking point there. Where are we? Fourth. 
chasing down RL9010. Cushy out front, Ernie Ball second. Okay, lap five. We're three seconds down the road. Just pushing it a little bit too hard through there. Still three seconds ahead. Three of the top racers in this room up ahead, so this is never going to be easy. But we'll see how we can do. Oh, don't go on the grass. Almost put it on the grass there. I'm really pushing this as hard as I can. RL still three and a half seconds ahead and moving away. And I've got Mario chasing me down behind who is catching so I'm not catching the guy in front the guy in behind is catching me so that's not the way round that we want it not what we want right now Deep, leading only ball, leading RL, leading me. But there's a battle and a half going on behind with one lap to go, and those guys behind are closer than you think. Much closer than you think. So we really need to keep this all tidy now. No mistakes, including keeping it off the grass. RL in front, four seconds away now. So this is all about really bringing this home for fourth. We're not going to hit the podium unless something miraculous happens up front. Oh, I've gone too deep. I've gone too deep. Not in the gravel, please. Not in the gravel. That's let Lee get right on my back bumper. Mega battle going on with Mario and Lee behind. Mega battle. I think fourth was about as good as I could get there. Christy, Ernie Ball and RL just way too good for me. Way too good for me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Just trying to keep drinking to keep my voice going. Uh, so where do we do? Uh, Christina Master with a 128.4. Nice win with the fastest lap. Ernie Ball in second with a 128.7. Uh, Arrow 90.10 in third with a 130.2. Uh, I got fourth. Mario 8 in fifth. Lee in 6th, Peroni in 7th and Connor Jam in 8th. 
So your one, two, three is Christy, Ernie Ball and RL9010. Oh, congratulations to the three of you. Uh, for the moment, I just don't seem to be able to mix it with uh, the top runners. They're just a little bit too quick for me. Right. Uh, we did the, we did the um, Red Bull ring, but we didn't do the short circuit, which is one that I am not overly used to. But we'll give that one a try. Um, just five laps of this one. Um, we'll see how this one goes. Oh, ah, worn out. Completely, completely worn out. Well, oh, that weather looks a bit interesting. That weather looks very interesting. That weather looks, yes, that weather looks, there's nothing else to say other than that weather looks. Okay, so we'll go um, qualifier at 05, um, where'd you go, 05.43. That rain is coming down. The problem is, is when you get like this, is it going to continue to be raining into the quali? Is it going to be continuing raining into the race? The amount of times that I've taken a gamble and got it wrong, it's so difficult to know what's going on. But as you can see there, there is plenty of rain on the radar. Uh, the pink blotches are as heavy as it gets. Uh, so that could well be even be full wet tyres for this particular one. Um, our monitors and uh, yeah we'll have to wait and see what's happening with this one this could be very 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 interesting Ooh. boy 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 so we're only down to six runners now Still more than I thought we were going to have at this point in the proceedings. I really thought I was going to be uh, just one or two of us at this point. So just got a couple of minutes and then we're going to go racing. I am taking just a short break for the moment. Just to relax a little bit. And, uh, Get a few yawns out of the way. The old um, fatigue is starting to set in, but it can't set in yet because we've still got another 18 hours, I think that is. Really? Boy, oh boy. That is a long old time. That is a long old time. So we're coming up for a quarter to six in the UK. Uh, we have been streaming since nine o'clock in aid of Crohn's and Colitis UK. Uh, we've had some nice donations already, which uh, I would like to extend my thanks to everybody for. And also I'd like to extend my thanks to everybody that has been racing with me this evening and supporting this mammoth, mammoth live stream. Um, Doesn't look like uh, many people are finding us in the um, in the lobbies at the moment. It may well be that we're at that point where it's very, very quiet out there. And uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to see how things go in the morning. Um, but we're going to get to... Oh, I was just about to get this one underway and we've just got a new individual that's jumped in. A Frenchman. Um, side competition. So we'll just wait for that individual to grab a car and then we will start the quality pretty much straight away uh, I'm on Inters 
the weather still looking pretty bad out there whether the inters are the right move or not i'm not quite sure but it certainly looks wet out there at the precise moment in time um i do say the qualifier would be at 05 43 uh i'm not quite sure what uh, okay side competition has just grabbed a car so let's uh let's get into the qualifying and see how things go it's still raining quite hard and we've got a few people on um, full wet which I think is probably the way to go who is silly enough to go on inters whoa well that threw me That completely threw me. I didn't even realise the track went there. <laughs> uh, this is a track I am clearly not used to. Rain or no rain, that was my error. Whoa. I think this could well be all wet. I think this could be full wet territory. Just trying to get it slowed down and turned in, it is difficult. when it rains here does it rain okay this is a new corner that I don't think I've ever seen I must have done at some point I don't remember it Looking at the rain gauge, it's definitely wet tyres. Yeah, definitely wet. But we haven't got enough time to uh, to come in and put a set of wets on and go out again. It's going around. I'm just going to park it up. I think for the moment. Let's just vacate back to the um, to the pits, and we'll enjoy watching a few of the other runners. So we got uh, Mario. Just getting the back end out. I definitely think it needs to be wet, wet tyres. Um, so, so on board with Kush. Do we on board with Kushti or Mario? I'm not quite sure who we're on board with. Probably Mario, I think. Uh, RL9010 in the Alpha. Going strong. I think most of these guys are on the wet tyres. SL competition in the VW Shiroko. Lights blazing. Sliding around. You can see the spray coming off these cars. Quite a few of them still pushing on pretty quickly though. 
going very very well oh Kushti's gone round just on the uh, on that tight right hander Ernie Ball to the big oh Ernie just losing it that's going to go around oh into the back barrier as well it's going to be back damage so what do we think tyre wise for the race who knows I mean is it going to stay wet or do we think it'll be dry I haven't got a clue I really really don't know let's put some um, info on I'm just going to open the door because Coda wants to get out Bear me a second might want to go down for a drink oh it's a nice breeze coming in to the room uh, let's just put some uh, race information on uh, so uh, Ernie's struggling a little bit he's on intermediate tyres It definitely seems to be that uh, wets are the tyres to be on. Uh, I was struggling with those intermediates. The thing is, sometimes when you've got cars that are running on the track, you tend to get a, not a dry line, but a drier line, and the intermediates can be often be the tyre to be on. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, looking at that rain gauge, very much wet at the moment Ooh, I do like the white wheels on that car Ernie good choice I tend to go with black wheels I think but uh, yeah nice wheels and I've got silver ones on the uh, on the Aston Martin so the weather still looks to be pretty yucky out there the big question is what tyres do we go with I am going to change to the heavy wet tyres because I think it's going to need them I'm just going to give the guys just a moment or two to sort their own tyres out Hopefully everybody has sorted themselves out. So we will get this one underway. Good luck everybody. And let's see what this weather's gonna do. Let's see what this weather is gonna have in store for us. A nice little five lap sprint. We've got Aero 9010 up front, then Mario. Uh, then we've got Kushti, side competition, Ernie Ball, Lee and me. I did expect to be last. Rain is still coming down pretty heavy. Oh, even on the wet tyres coming out of that corner. Slippery. That's the only word for it. Slippery. Once again, I forgot all about this corner. Oh, oh put a wheel on the kerbs when you're going around. side competition getting a little bit uh, wayward there as did I just under acceleration thought I might have got a run on Ernie Ball and Cy but alas that was not going to happen
Oh, it's going around again. Just need to be more gentle with the acceleration. Imagine it's got an egg underneath it, underneath the accelerator. Even doing that, the back end still going around. As that throttle kicks in. Just taking it easy through here. Just took a little look down the inside of Lee. Only ball right tight behind me again. He's looking to follow me through. Braking nice and early to get through there. Might be a penalty. I did get two wheels up onto the kerb. Kushti's picked up a penalty. Thankfully, I think I might have got away with it. I don't quite know how, but... Um, see what RL has got this well sussed out front going really nicely Mario doing okay as well rain still coming down just taking it easy braking early watching the gears watching the acceleration Christy hunting me down. Oh yeah, yeah, no, don't go around, don't go around. That's gone, that's gone, that's gone, I've lost it. Ah, uh, Christy lost it too, both of us lost it together. Christy gathered it up quicker than I did. Really hard conditions. Oh, wicked move, Christy. Wicked. I like that. I like that a lot. The master at which the people yet again wicked move i enjoyed that that was a nice 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 move a really nice move oh in very difficult conditions uh, we did manage to raise that up one position um alas not enough uh did spin it but i tell you what rl9010 owned that look at that a three second win over mario in second so Arrow 9010 with a 102.3. Mario with a 102.4. So very, very close. Ernie Ball with a 103.9 in third. Lee in fourth. Kushti in fifth. With the fastest lap of 1 minute 0.237.
couldn't quite get it under that, which would have been nice. Uh, but definitely our fastest lap and a really good time. Uh, massively good time. Two seconds ahead of the rest. Uh, I got sixth. And unfortunately, SL competition was a DNF on that particular one. Uh, Mario is disappearing. Uh, good night, my friend. Thank you ever so much for racing with us this evening. Um, oh, right. Um, OK, not quite sure why it did that. Um, what have we got? We've got eight out of 16 runners at the moment. We can carry on doing these um, tracks. The next one that we're up to is uh, Deep Forest. Um, or we can head off and do a few other bits and pieces if we want to. Um, I'm just going to change the event settings just to see what people want to do. Um, but at the moment, we've still got you know, 9 of 16. That's a good number of races. Um, in this lobby and what I was going to do was want to get down to two or three was when I was going to you know disappear and do other things uh, but whilst we've got people still in the room why don't we go through so we got um, Danny Positive is now joined us um, Sleepyhead is in the room Kushti RL9010 De Smith Ernie Ball Ernie and Christy, I think, have been with me all night. Um, RL9010 has been dropping in and out as well. Uh, but Soggy Sombrero and Lee also with us. Christy, I'm with you on that one. No rain. Too much consultation at this, at this level. We are, both of us, completely shattered. Um... Ernie, you've been with us since the beginning, haven't you? Who else has been with us since the beginning? Myself, Kushti, Ernie. Anybody else been with us from the beginning? Uh, Miss Ernie is home from work. Back in a moment. Going to skip this one. Not a problem, Ernie. Uh, yeah, so... I think the three of us... I think RL 9010 joined a little bit later. Um... We've been going since um, since nine o'clock UK, UK time. So that's now nine hours, just on nine hours of solid racing. Uh, Ernie Ball's been with us since the beginning. Yeah, three, three of us since the very, very beginning. Um, well done, guys. Well done. Well done. Well done. And thank you to your partners for allowing you to race. It's very, very much appreciated. It's all in good cause. It's all in... Um, in aid of Corona Colitis UK. And we've been running a few videos through this evening. We'll continue to roll those videos um, just from some of the ambassadors and also uh, one from uh, Joe, my other half, who suffers with Crohn's. And we've made some good money this evening. Uh, well, leading up to this evening, actually, because a lot of this money was donated earlier. Uh, but we have gone over the £2,000 mark now. Uh, two ways of donating. One is just giving. The other one is PayPal. Any donations will be greatly received. And um, yeah, hitting the 2000 has been absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, 9010 has been watching since the beginning. Wow, so you've been with me as well. So four of us. That's amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh. That is that's that is brilliant. Four of you have been involved in supporting this crazy idea of mine to do this over 27 hours. Um, for those of you wondering why it's 27 hours, it's because I normally start my live streams at nine o'clock in the evening and go through to around about midnight. So nine o'clock in the evening till nine o'clock in the evening is 24 hours and then three additional hours to take us up to midnight to 27 hours. Um, I must have been 
mad to even consider it. But if you're going to put yourself out there to try and make some decent donations for a charity and also to gain awareness, you've got to try difficult things. And believe me, this for me is a difficult thing. Trying to stay awake and stream and host and keep talking and entertaining and racing. That's not easy. Believe me, it's not easy. I'm enjoying it, but it's not easy. But then living with Crohn's is not easy. It is far from it. Far from it. Oof, right, so we've got just under a minute before we get this one underway. Uh, into the qualifying. We're not getting any additional people in at the moment. Uh, but then... I'm not normally playing at six o'clock in the morning, so I don't know what to expect. I don't know whether there are many people that are online at this time in the morning. Um, in particular, we're on the European servers. So who knows? Although I'm pleased to say that we've got uh, what, four Americans in, RL9010, uh, De Smith, uh, Sleepyhead and Soggy Sombrero. And forgive me, I don't know the um, flag for Kevin King. I'd love to know what flag that is. Uh, Kushti and myself are UK and is as is Lee. And I think uh, Danny Positive, I think, is that Spain? Or oh, I used to know my flags, not so much now. Uh, but Kevin's has got me well stumped. That is not a flag that I know. Not a flag that I know. Right, uh, we're on 1605. Let's get this one underway. Got my gloves off at the moment at the moment because my hands were getting really sweaty and hurting a little bit. Uh, my arms are killing me right now from the force feedback on this wheel. Uh, the wheel still touch wood. Fine. The camera seems to be running okay, which is good. Oh. Let's um, let's not run on those tyres. Um, although I don't know what the weather's doing. Uh, the weather looks okay. Just looks a bit grotty out there. Ooh. Where are we? Into Quali. I do like this track, one of my favourites in the game. Although I usually do this with the GR2 or the GR3, not often with the GR4s. So this is going to be a bit of a learning experience. <coughs> Excuse me. go too wide on that corner and then I want to take Kushti's line that was teaching me on this uh, hairpin at the top so we stay over to the right hand side we go deep and then that enables you to cut back and then carry theoretically more speed down down the straight so trying to get on the power really super early Felt good. I don't know if it is good. We'll find out in a minute at the end of this next lap. Here we go. Gone a little bit deep in there. That would cost me a few tenths of a second see where a lot of the guys are using the uh, grass through that little corner there
over the top. Just catch the inside of this. Be careful not to cut that corner too much. Same with this one. Be careful you don't go too wide. Need to try and keep a wheel on the red and white kerb there. Oh, we got a track limit. No. I thought I'd uh, thought I was okay there. Alas. That's going to hurt now because I'm not sure whether I'm going to get another flying lap in. And we've gone awfully deep there. Missed my breaking point. The trouble with this penalty system now, I can't serve the penalty. So I've lost this lap. I've lost the out lap and I'm going to lose the next lap. So that is me done for quali. Um, at that point I might as well just retire and just have a chill for a moment or two um, because it's just going to wreck all three laps the one thing on this when you, you just got a five minute qualifier you do not want to get a penalty otherwise you are completely done for completely done for uh, so let's just spectate and uh, we won't spectate me We'll exit out of there and we'll go spectate. That's better. And we'll just watch uh, watch these run. So Christie's in the Genesis. He's currently being chased down by uh, Sleepyhead, who's in the Aston Martin. I'm not quite sure what um, Kevin behind is in. Looks like a possibly a Porsche, looking at those headlights. A little bit difficult to tell from this distance. We should see in a moment. As they close up. No, we still can't see him. Uh, Soggy Sombrero is in a Mercedes. Being chased by De Smith in the Aston Martin. The Martini liveried Aston Martin. Whoa, Soggy Sombrero getting it really, really out of, uh, out of order through there. RL 9010 in the Renault Megane, I believe. Kevin King in the Porsche, the yellow one, going slowly at the moment. That may well be that the uh, qualifying is over. You've got Kushti and uh, Sleepyhead running together. Kevin just behind. Uh, Lee in the Ferrari. And I am in the pits at the moment. So De Smith in that uh, very nice martini livery or play on the classic martini livery with the white and black on the four corners oh excuse me may well get a few yawns <laughs> coming in um i haven't really slept since whoa, six o'clock yesterday morning right so nine of us in this one to smith kushti Danny Positive, Soggy Sombrero, RL9010, King Kevin King, uh, Sleepyhead Lee Me, and we got uh, Keeg Boot Keeg Bots, uh, who is awaiting, unfortunately missed the uh, race start. Oh, sorry, the qualifier for that one. Uh, Kushti, stay awake, stay awake. Yes, I will, my sir. I will, I will, I will. I will do as I'm told. I will, I will, I will. Um, right. Let's go. See, Kushti, I don't know how you're staying awake, my friend. Both of us, I think we want to have easy days in the office like yesterday. Uh, Kushti was manic. I was manic. And now we're both doing this. And uh, Kushti, bless his heart, has pledged to stay with me all the way through. And so far, RL 9010 and Ernie Ball have been with me since the very beginning. You guys are crazy. 
You're as mad as I am, but I love you for it and I really appreciate it. So here we go, just nine races in this one. We have got a public lobby, uh, but I don't know how many people are out there. Hey Bones, welcome back my friend. Morning, morning, morning. We are still going. Don't ask me how, because I have not got the foggiest idea how we're still going, but we are still going. Four of us have been in this since the beginning. The three of us racing, and RL 9010 has been watching and now racing. But RL's been with us from the beginning too. Ernie Ball, Christian and myself racing. So, um... I did ask a question earlier on, I don't know what the answer was, I didn't see it come up, but um, I think the guys that run the Le Mans 24 hour, even they don't race for as long as some of us have been racing. Oh, I just got into the back of RL90 there, oh, I pushed him wide. Let me give him a bump draft to try and help him along, because I could well have given him a... Thankfully, I don't think he did get a... Um, a penalty. Let's not bump draft him anymore into this corner. Thankfully that didn't uh, cause him any problems. All a bit bunched up at the moment. Early part of this race. Whoa! There's a really quick car on the inside of me. Oh, Kevin gave the old uh, Mercedes a bit of a bump through there. Ah. Oh hard on the gears and the brakes there to not run in the back of sleepy head that took all of my skill to not bump him through there he's got a bit wide though there he's still there he's still there let's get down the inside hard on the brakes oh we got lee coming through now He's up the inside. Ah. I've got a better run out the corner than Lee. We'll get up the inside. Oh! That was a bit of an aggressive bump. I also don't think he knew that I was on the inside there. But he's binned it. Ah! RL's done the switcheroo on me, but I've got the inside here. He's going around the outside. Oh my gosh, how on earth did he make that work? What a move from RL through there. I enjoyed that. Why am I enjoying all these moves where people are overtaking me? I shouldn't be enjoying those, but I certainly do. Oh! I got a uh, bump from behind, sorry RL, I got, uh, got a shove into that corner, let's just go with a bump draft, move us forward a bit, oh. That's going to be a penalty for me. 
the yellow car went in there really hot yeah I thought it was not a lot I could do with that when you get pushed across the track that's a shame I was having a good old battle with RL there the uh, penalty's really going to hurt on this track still got that car on the outside need to give him some room through here he's just dropped back a little bit now but he will know that I've got a penalty so he's going to get that place back and then some Oh, RL really deep into that corner. I thought that might be a penalty. I've got to serve mine now. That's going to let the Mercedes through. The Porsche probably too as well. So we'll come underneath the Porsche. Get a tow off the Mercedes. Can we get up the inside of the Mercedes? I think we can. Right, RL. We've got to work together, my friend. Ah, oh, but not here, not here, not here. I think RL's letting me through because he knows he's got the penalty. He's still there. Pushedy way out in front with De Smith and Danny. We're in fourth. We're second and third just in front of us. But this is the final lap. Oh! Somebody got it wrong going through that last corner. I saw them just spur off to the right hand side. Something bad's got to happen with the two up front for me to catch them. Just covering off the inside line there. Looks like it's going to be battle between De Smith and Danny Positive for the line. I think De Smith is going to get it. Cushy way out in front. Whoa, what a race. That was fantastic with those two in front. Cushy way out in front with nearly four seconds lead. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, De Smith had a penalty. I think somebody had a penalty at the end there. Oh, welcome Nathan Clark, who's just subscribed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, so, Cushy in the Genesis 70 uh, with a 133.3 was our winner nearly four seconds ahead of Danny Positive who managed to snatch second place on the line um, from uh, De Smith who got a one second penalty in third I managed to get fourth couldn't quite close down those two guys up front uh, Soggy Sombrero in fifth IRL 90.10 in sixth Kevin King in seventh and Sleepyhead in eighth Lee a DNF in that particular race but your top three Pushti, Danny Positive and De Smith what a good race that was we're getting some cracking races tonight I tell you some brilliant races well 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 are we going to continue our way through all of these races at the moment we've done Northern Isle we've done Broadbane we've done Dragon Trail High Speed Ring Blooming Bay Sukuba Daytona, Maggiore, all of them. Red Bull Ring, both. Deep Forest Raceway. We're now on to Tokyo. 
Tokyo is south clockwise, east clockwise, central clockwise. And then we've got the counterclockwise, which we're not doing. So we've just got the three here to run. Whew. Carmen, good morning. Nice to see you racing. I go to sleep. Nighty night, Miss Ernie Ball. Good night, Carmen. Thank you ever so much for letting Ernie race with us this evening. Uh, it's been absolutely brilliant. And uh, oh, she had a night shift. Will you sleep well? And hopefully we'll see you. Maybe come in and say hello tomorrow. Maybe jump into Ernie's rig and do some racing. That would be good. Uh, <laughs> um, whoa. Yeah, Kushti, I think I need a couple of the crew to take over so I can nap too. Alas, that's not something that I am going to be able to do. Right, where are we? Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wow. Where are we? 8 out of 16, we're still half. Still half full. Uh, we could drop out and have a look at a few other lobbies if we want to, or we can stick with this. I think we stick with this one at the moment. Uh, Everest, all the best to you lot. We'll catch a couple of streams when I can from now. Class guy, Mitch. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you for dropping in and uh, look forward to seeing you again very, very soon, I hope. Uh, RO9010 10 says be right back. Uh, I'm just going to have a little bit of a keep awake juice. Oh, Kusti is happy here. Not sure about Tokyo though. I always struggle with Tokyo in those walls, I have to say. Especially when you're tired. And we have been running now. But over nine, getting on for nine and a half hours, some of us have been racing for. That is an insane amount of time. Um, not had any breaks. It's just been really, really, really manic. I've uh, got 15 people watching. I'm not going to worry too much about the um, ambassador videos right now. I'll do that when we've got a few more people watching. So I think most of you have seen them. And uh, but I am going to have a custard cream. Haven't broken out the wagon wheels yet. Hmm. Just taking a well earned breather. I cannot thank you all enough for supporting me this evening in this um, crazy 27 hour live stream. Uh, it looks like the um, live stream is still running, which is good. I'm watching for when it uh, stops running and then I'll need to reset everything. But just taking a breather for the moment. It's quite surprising how tough and fatiguing it is to race and host a live stream and talk incessantly non-stop for this amount of time uh, and just keep going but when you've got Crohn's fatigue is one of the things that gets you down more than anything else sometimes Joe will get up in the morning tired sometimes she'll get up full of beans she go to work and she comes home completely shattered there's some nights that she'll come home from work and she just goes straight to bed because she is so fatigued Crohn's really really takes it out of you so much so much and uh, yeah it's just something that we learn to live with and um, it's amazing how many people are living with Crohn's don't know they're living with Crohn's and, and colitis 
and um, it's amazing how many people are getting diagnosed with Crohn's ankylitis. Uh, more and more people I am finding, uh, especially since I started to do this channel and started to talk about the Crohn's and Colitis charity and doing this live stream this evening, so many people have uh, mentioned to me that they know somebody or they are in some way either directly or indirectly affected. And um, just... It's just amazing how many people are affected by this these days. Um, right, we'll... Uh, where are we? We'll start the quality on this one at um, 06.30 if I can get that done before the clock ticks over. That would be a nice time to start, wouldn't it? Um, it'd be nice to get a few more people in. Uh, I take B12 injections monthly. Helps, helps with the fatigue. Um... Yeah, I th the thing with Crohn's, I, I mean, Joe's on all sorts of tablets. She's on um, immune suppressants. She's on multivitamins. She's on a whole cocktail of stuff. And I dare say that B12 is in there as well um, in high dosages. Uh, but Crohn's, it just completely takes it out of you in a way that you have to see to understand i have got a video i don't know if you've seen it bones um joe did me a video uh when she's going through one of her um um i want to say episodes it's not episode is the wrong word um i can't think of the word now i'm getting tired um yeah, when, when she's being affected by Crohn's, which is all the time, but when she's particularly affected, she's so tired. Uh, Bones has Crohn's and colitis as well. No way, my friend. Ah, flare up. Thank you. That's the word I wanted. Flare up. Um, so you're taking B12 injections for that. Uh, thankfully, she's not on injections. Um, but she does take a cocktail of drugs. Uh, but yeah, uh, you'll know then the fatigue really does get to you. It's amazing how many people we were, I, I think you were on the, the stream um, a week or two ago. There were 16 of us racing. And I think four people in the stream were either directly or indirectly um, affected by Crohn's. Which was just crazy. Crazy to even think that. Um, there we go. This is why we're doing this. To make people aware of Crohn's and colitis and what it's all about. Uh, we've got the ambassador videos that people have been watching this evening. The ambassador videos are from people that suffer with Crohn's. They're talking about their early experiences. They are talking about um, how they're coping. How Crohn's and Colitis UK are helping them. And I've been running a number of those videos this evening and I will continue to run a few of those uh, through tomorrow as hopefully more people are finding us during the day. I've also got the Hugh Hattrick interview that you have with me to show. Probably going to do that. Um, I'm not quite sure when, probably about... Um, Maybe about half past seven tomorrow morning uh, where I get some breakfast, maybe have a quick shower, take the dog for a walk, see how much I can pack into half an hour uh, just before Joe goes to work. And um, that's pretty much going to be my only real break on the stream. Otherwise, I am going to try and go all the way. Uh, but it's not fair to leave... Um, Joe and Lauren to deal with uh, the dog and everything else in the morning while they're getting ready to go to work so um, otherwise I am going to be doing this non-stop and there are going to be times where I am going to need to rest my voice so yeah you won't have my dulcet tones all 27 hours 
Although I have been talking for over nine hours now. Just over nine and a half hours. Good job I'm a, a little jibber jabbery. Jibber jabber all night long. I have jibber jabbered all night long. What am I talking about? Oh, just caught the wall there. This is just a qualifying at the moment. Uh, my tyres, yep, I did change the tyres. I was on intermediates. I'm having to check my tyres all the time at the moment. I'm having to check my hazard lights too. So where are we? We're in fifth. We're in fifth at the moment. I'll take that. So just trying to push on a little bit more. See if we can just climb up a little bit more. I'm not great around Tokyo, I have to say. It's not one of my better tracks. But let's see if we can get a decent time in. Oh, just kissed the wall there. What are we looking for? A 141 from SL competition. That's a stonking time. I think we've found a track that SL is good at. I assume that is SL and not SI. Could actually be SI. Maybe I'll just refer to them as competition. Don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. Oh, we just kissed the wall again. Down into the chicane now. 50 meter board, just at the beginning of that line. Just get it over that curb, over that curb. On the power. Where's that checkered flag? There it is. Oh, we're still going. We've got another lap. It's in sixth. Can we push it a little bit more? This is the final lap now. Caught the wall there. I know a lot of people are very, very good around this track. It's not one that I'm very, very good at. But let's just see if we can close that gap up anymore. But my best is a 144.2 and competitions is a 141.9. Nines and way off the pace. I have an excuse. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, the marshals are all screaming at me. You're not tired. Get on with it. This is for crones. You don't know what tired is. Oh, yeah, getting cushioned as a ghost. Perfect. So I'm expecting you to be up there in first place then, Bones. <laughs> All right, so, wow, look at those times. Way off the pace. We are way, way, way down the order. Way down the order. But that doesn't matter. That really doesn't matter. Because I'm just enjoying myself. I'm enjoying racing. Coda's fast asleep next to me in his bed on the floor down here. Uh, try not to talk too loudly. So I've got uh, Lauren next to me and Joe's in the other room.
and uh, yay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hopefully the stream is still running, it looks like it is. Yep. Good luck everybody. I'm just wondering whether we should head out into the big wide world and see if there are any lobbies with um, a few more races in and we gate crash some of them. I don't know what you guys feel about that. Or whether we're just happy to run in our little group. just got into the back of Ernie a little bit there Let's just let him go through But I tell you what, the tighter you get, the more you have to concentrate. That's a bit deep. Ernie is going to punish me for any mistake I make right now. And there's one, a big one. up the inside got to give him some room still there still there still there right keep an eye on the radar this is going to be difficult through here two of us side by side I've got the inside for this one but I've got to stay over to the left because he's still there he's still there there he is he's still there just got to keep in room, stay to the left of this white line. At least we've got a white line. He's still up the inside of me. So I'm trying to try and stay on the left hand side of the track. Boy, oh boy, that was tough going through there side by side. The only reason I could do that is I knew Ernie is super, super clean and that we would be able to go through there side by side. He's right with me again, so we're going to have another repetition of that. I've gone in too deep, I'm into the wall. That's going to give him the place. So we're going to have to let him through now. I'm going to just try and stay with him. We've got the Porsche as well behind. Uh, I've got to chase down Ernie now. He was just waiting for me to make a mistake. He knew it was coming. He's raced with me long enough to know that that mistake was there. <laughs> he knows I've got to run on him. Are we going to get some more side-by-side -side action? Well, we are. The Porsche's up the inside.
Oh, I've got to stay over the white line again. Stay out of the way of the Porsche. Looked like the Porsche backed out of me on me there. God, this is manic. This is completely insane. Christie's out front, but he is missing the most amazing race. He might be leading it, but this is where it's all happening. We got to run on Ernie. We're going to be side by side again. Whoa, that Porsche went in there big time heavy. Ernie really pushing me beyond my limits. He's pushing me and then some. He's up the outside again. Those of you that don't follow us, uh, Ernie is a better racer than me and I am doing everything I can to try and stay with him. Uh, you can see how he's all over me. I've left the door open again and he's going to put the put a wheel up the inside uh, I've got to give him room again it's just staying out to the right hand side this time catching the wall on that occasion he's still there he's still there he touched him behind me He's still there, you know. There's no way through here. Oh, Danny makes a beautiful move on competition. If he can make that stick, that would be awesome. That was a wicked move. Oh, and he's right up my backside again. Oh, my word. Just got to give him room on the inside look how tight he's keeping that to get past me no I think he's done it gone a little bit deep into there where are we I'm gonna miss out on third again <laughs> he's waggling <laughs> he's just rubbing my nose in it we got a good run oh just into the wall a little bit there couldn't quite hold it that's letting the Porsche through and the Porsche's got through you cannot go through this chicane side by side we got to run on the Porsche, but it's too late. Oh, he caught the wall. He's caught the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's going to beat me on the line. Oh, how close was that? Oh, Kevin. Well done. Well done, my friend. Oh, boy, that one was tough. That was a tough race. Battling with Ernie all the way through there. Fantastic race. I loved that one. Oh, King Weirdo, the stream is going brilliantly. Um, I don't know how many hours we're in, but we are well into the right into the stream. We've got some amazing racing still going on. You just saw that a full race long battle with Ernie. He got the better of me in the end. I did manage to raise my position by two, which is brilliant. Uh, but Ernie, the better racer on the day. And uh, I had uh, Kingpin picked me as well uh, right at the end. 
Uh, so your result there, Kush D in the V8 Vantage out front with a 140.8 is your winner. Uh, competition in second in the Citroen with a 141.5. Ernie Ball in third with a 141 dead. Uh, Kevin King just pipped me to fourth. I got fifth. Bones in sixth and Danny Positive in seventh. Wow. Boy, oh boy. So that is Tokyo Expressway South. We then got east clockwise with the long drag. Oh. Uh, Fortune King Weirdo's got homework to do. Uh, education comes first, my friend. Education comes first. Kushti, can we do something other than Tokyo? Yeah, go on then. Uh, can you back out, guys? Chubbies is so many Tokyos. What do you fancy doing, Kushti? Throw one out. Throw, throw, throw something out at me, will you? What do we fancy doing? I'm happy to jump around a little bit. Preferably a track that we haven't done. So that doesn't mean Dragon Trail Seaside. <laughs> uh, so let's just load, load the settings. And uh, Sardegna B. That sounds like a good, good shout. Uh, Sardegna B. That's a good, good, good shout. I like that one. Just make sure the settings are all good. They are. I'm going to create the room. Uh, Bones, right bed for me. Keep up the great work. We will, my sir. My, my, we will, my friend. Blah. Come on, Mitchell, get your words out. Get your words out. Right, where are we with the... Um, I'm still on intermediate tyres. Oh, my word. Uh, what have we got as far as uh, tyre wear is concerned? We're still on 10 for tyre wear. So tyre wear could come into play in this one. It really, really could. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I need I, ju I need just a, a break. Just to relax for the moment. because um, And I've got a stonking headache coming. So we're going to go 55. I will be back in just a second. Don't go anywhere. Ooh. I had a feeling with all this talking and racing, I was going to get a headache. And uh, staring at the screen, screen for this long. But... Uh, not looking for any sympathy because people with Crohn's, they suffer with a lot worse than a headache. A lot worse stuff than a headache. <clears throat> people still watching uh, there's only four of us in the room um, any balls off for some breakfast Christy at Price you look knackered I'm feeling it my friend I tell you I don't know how you're feeling um, I really thought by now you'd have ducked out and gone and got some sleep if I'm perfectly honest I mean you've been going as much as I have the only difference is I can't see you <laughs> Um. Hey, my gather's back. Um, the first few hours were fine. Um, we're doing okay. We are just coming up for ten hours. Yeah, ten hours. We're coming up to. Um, so we still got seventeen to go. Um. Oh man, I can. I tell you, I'm downwind. <laughs> I've already changed my shirt. Started off with uh, Red Bull. We're on to Mercedes now. Um, so yeah, I changed my shirt. 
because I was ringing. And um, this is hard work. This is hard work to race, race after race after race. The turnover of races that we've doing tonight is way beyond what I had even dreamed of doing. Uh, throw that, what? Throw the old Mercedes rag away. I'm surprised you're saying that. We're talking about the Mercedes top. I thought you'd quite like the Mercedes top. We've got um, Lewis sitting on the windowsill there. I thought you'd be up for that. I'll get the Red Bull one out. The difference is I know exactly which one he's talking about. <laughs> uh, Kushti, for those of you who don't know, is a staunch Mercedes fan. And uh, I am a Red Bull fan. So we have this friendly rivalry. <laughs> oh dear oh we could even in this late we could still laugh oh dear it's good let me just uh let me do a refresh i'm just taking a break for a moment on the old uh, figures i don't expect it's moved uh we've got very few people watching at the moment and uh we're racing more than anything else putting in the numbers we've already done two thousand pounds which is 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 just amazing truly truly amazing um so 238.11 on paypal and 18.49 on just giving i'd love to get just giving to two grand hopefully 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 that'll happen at some point uh during uh during the day uh, it would be fantastic if that could happen oh we've got a few more people jumping in Whew. Uh, so we've got Wilbur and uh, Latibo. Oh, you guys are really te 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 testing me with the names. Uh, so we've got uh, Christy Zinn, uh, Matim, uh, Keybots, myself, Kingpin, Danny Positive, Latibo and RL9010 and Wilbur. Uh, so we've lost Ernie Ball for the moment. So he's just gone off to get some breakfast. Uh, but christy has been with me all night racing. I know 90 has been with us, involved with the stream all night since uh, 9 o'clock UK time yesterday evening. And only Ball has been racing with us all night until just a few moments ago. But we're back up to, look at this, 10 races. We've got 10 races. Absolutely brilliant. We've got 13 people on the stream now is... Are things starting to wake up? Got a few Americans, Australian. Whoa. What, what a ride. What a ride. So I did say we were going to start this one um, by now. I'm just waiting to see what um rl wilbur and savage snack are doing i'm hoping they're just grabbing their cars and then we'll get this one underway where are we that's wilbur oh wilbur have you not got a, a gl4 car you must have a gl4 car Go and buy one. There must be. A straight GR force. Mind you, he's an E-rated racer, so probably new to the game. Um. Problem is, Wilbur is... Oh, 520 credits. Oh, um... So we will go running in a moment, guys. Um,
Cubs, I don't know whether he's uh, listening. Um, but we'll get this one underway, guys. Oh. Oh. At will, but oh, come on. I'm just saying to, uh, I'm not sure if he's listening. Um, uh, right, let's get this one underway. Oh, we've got another one coming in. Uh, Keybots has just come in. Let's uh, get this one underway now. Uh, but uh, uh, Wilbur's left the room. Right, here we go, guys. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Just turned seven o'clock in the UK. So Degna A is one of my favourite tracks. I'm not overly familiar with Sardegna B, so uh, just need to get to grips with this one. Yeah, eight, ten hours done. About half an hour, I will be taking a break for a little while. Uh, I'll be putting Hugh Patrick's video on where he was interviewing me for, uh, that'll be on for about half an hour. Just while I've got a few little things to do, get something to eat, some breakfast and uh, just get uh, Joe off to work, walk the dog, as uh, so that's going to be my only planned proper break in this whole 27 hours. I'm probably going to need to reset the stream as well, uh, because I think that um, YouTube will bump me out at 12 hours I understand so uh, we'll completely reset up the stream uh, after that so probably around about eight o'clock that will happen and then we'll be running through the day So I'm uh, going to grind for G4 Vetter so we, uh, so one of the best grinding tracks my friend if you've got a car that will do it is Sardegna Road Track A to go into World Circuits and um, 
if you've got a car that will run it the uh, World Touring Car 700 is a good one for grinding or go into the world circuits and do the circuit experiences and then what I would suggest if you're obviously new to the game which I suspect you are is um, get into the menu books as quickly as you can because you're going to earn a lot of cars doing the menu books and my advice to you would be to do the menu books but don't buy I know I've just told you to go and buy a car but you don't really want to buy a car until you've done the menu books because you will buy a lot of cars that you will win. No worries. Aid is going to join us after his lunch break later on. Oh, I've gone too deep. Right, let's just let the uh, car through. Thank you, Aid. I do intend to and I've got some good company I've had um, around 9010 with us all night Ernie Ball's been with us all night as has Christy so uh, we've all been keeping each other going uh, we'll be taking a short half hour break shortly and um, then back into it during the day morning woke up feeling tired and then remembered you how you're feeling I'm feeling all right actually I'm feeling a lot lot better than I thought I would I still think I don't know about the other guys um, that have been running all night uh, I just feel like I'm running on adrenaline um, seeing that figure coming up through the night um, inching up has just been brilliant uh, no he's not won every race and he's probably as knackered as me uh, I think we've both completely shattered. Uh, but there's been some really good people in the room overnight. Uh, we've had a few um, A-plus racers in. Uh, a lady called Penelope dropped in for a race before it hung and she kicked our backsides. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah. I mean, Christy's won a few. He's um, spun a few. Uh, Shumi's been up there. Um... Yeah, there's been a number of people that have been winning tonight. It's been really good. It's been really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but the main thing is just awareness for Crohn's and Colitis UK and just getting that little figure up. If we can get it, I'd love to see the Just Giving get up to 2,000, but we're already over the 2,000 pound, which is double what I'd hoped to achieve. So uh, just, just loving it. Just loving it really cool and we could have all sorts of people popping in tomorrow uh, we might have somebody from Crohn's and Colitis looking in uh, I'm not 100% sure but might have my boss was checked in with us earlier on it's just brilliant I just love it
Oh, that's gravel. That's round. Whoa, big old spin there. Let's just see if I can catch up with these guys. just close up on these cars up front it's always hard when you're you're off the back and you're trying to catch up because the other guys are driving really quickly and you've got to drive doubly quick to catch up I'm in the gravel again. Twice I've done that. Right, we have got one heck of a race going on up front. So we're going to do what we often do when we've got a good race going on up front and we've crashed it out, as we have just done. We're going to go and watch them. So what have we got? We got a three car race at the front here. Uh, we're on board with uh, Matim or Matim. Uh, Keybots in front and then Kushti out front at the moment. So Aid, you're getting your wish. Kushti's out the front. But Mitchell Morgan is commentating. So anything can happen. As we're going into this first corner, the tight left hand up. Kushti leading out. Keybots. And uh, mate team just closing up a little bit. Uh, Danny Positive is not far off the back of this little group as well. And then we've got uh, Kevin King just a little bit back in uh, the yellow Porsche. RL 9010 pushing. And we've got to move up the front here. Mate team on the inside of King Keybots. I think he either saved that or got that move done. I'm not quite sure which order they were in at some point. Uh, Kuva, not a problem, mate. Of course you can join the next race. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be taking a break at the end of this one. Or I'll probably take a break at the end. We'll probably do one more short race and then... Um, I'll be taking a short break for half an hour, but you are more than welcome to join us. So we're just on board with Danny Positive at the moment, chasing down Keybots and mating. Uh, Kushti just stretching his legs out the front at the moment. And we've got Kevin King right on the back of this lot as well. RL 9010 not too far away. Uh, later Bo just struggling a little bit at the moment but this is the battle oh mate him in the gravel that's lost one of the cars I'm not sure, sure whether that was self-inflicted or whether it was helped into the gravel but you'll notice the tyres are starting to go here and we've got our 9010 with a beautiful move on Kevin although Kevin's got the inside here RL just just no not quite managing to keep it i thought rl was going to keep that one looks like mate is right back into this one as well oh boy oh boy look at this all these cars together this is as close as you like oh kevin just getting a little bit loose on the exit three wide into here is never going to work guys RL just managing to open the door there a little bit. Firm but fair, I'd say. 
but mate him knows what's needed now the RL you better be ready because mate him's coming to get you oh, I'll tell you what Kevin is moving in this Porsche again three wide into this one's never going to work the Porsche just backing out a little bit mate him looking down the inside going defensive on the Porsche but RL 9010's gone a bit deep That's going to let both matey man and the Porsche through. But I know RL90 and he's not going to give up. So, going really well. Oh, matey him in the gravel. RL just taking to the right hand side there to avoid him. Kevin King on the outside. RL90 has got a nice run up the inside. Can he cover the inside? Nice and respectful. RL keeping it nice and tight. Giving Kevin room on the outside. Kevin needs to do the same now. But RL, oh, dropped back a bit. And a little bit squirrely on the way in there. That's like made him through. I'm not quite sure what happened. RL, a little bit all over the place at the moment. I don't know whether this is tyres. It could be tyres. Penalty served. Kushti's come across the line to win this one. And up front. Quite the battle. Quite the battle. Kevin King's tyres completely gone. Completely gone. A lot of the tyres in really bad shape. Kickbox is gone too. Kushti's gone on that offside front. So a lot of tyre wear the guy is managing to bring them home uh, but quite 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 the race where are we where are we where are we so your result for that one kushti in first place with a 125.8 uh kickbots also with a 125.8 in second uh danny positive with a 124.5 in third uh mate him in fourth Kevin King with the fastest lap of 123.8 in 5th. IRL 90.10 in 6th. Uh, later Bow in 7th. And I got 8. So your top 3, Kushti, Kigabots and Danny Positive. Well done to the three of you. Okay, have we got time for one more very, very quick one? Um, I tell you what I fancy. A nice quick run round Brands Hatch. Five laps. Brands Hatch to take us into the break. Oh. Just uh, somebody initialising at the moment. Um, where's Brands Hatch? Okay. It looks like... Um, Let me just try that again. I'll keep trying until we can actually change the room. Oh. Ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right. So I'm going to start the qualifier really, really quick on this one. A lot of people know Brands Hatch. So I'm going to go um, 07. Uh, what should we do? 0720 on this one. So two minutes time. We're going to get this one underway. And then at the end of this one, I will be taking a short break just to um, get the dog walked and fed and just get freshened up a little bit. And then we will be back to go right the way through the evening. Um... Hoover Brothers Gaming, yeah, you'll need to send me a friend request. Let me just have a little look and see what friend requests I have got. Uh, looks like I have got one in here. Oh, I've got a few. Oh, we got a few. Let me just accept these. I've been a little bit remiss in replying to them all. That's those three all done. Uh, let's just move it back across to make sure that we are still streaming, which we are. We're still live at the moment. We're still going.
Uh, Kushti, thanks for chucking out the PSN. Uh, McGaver, I will jump in later and play Backmarker. Let's face it, I am great for your guys' confidence and egos. Ah, oh, I'll race with you, my friend. See if we can help you out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to be starting this one very, very soon. We're back up to 12 people at the moment. This is an incredible, incredible. Um, okay, Kuva, I will accept that very, very soon. Uh, let me know when you've sent it. But in the meantime, um, let's just see. My alarm clock is going off. I'm just waiting, guys, just for a moment to see if Kuva Brothers sent in the friend request. I've got 12 runners at the moment. This is amazing. I'm almost going to be sad to uh, have to reset all the stream. I'm going to lose a lot of you. Hopefully we'll get a lot of you back afterwards. Um, I'm still waiting for that friend request. I'm going to have to get this one underway. Just for the moment. Because uh, I am running out of time for the moment. So we start the qualifying. Wow, 76 likes. Oh, 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 that's amazing. Oh, fiddle. Tyres. I must get these tyres sorted out during the break. Sunjet TCM. I just accepted three. I don't know whether you were one of those. Danny Positive, thank you for subscribing to the channel, my friend. You sent the friend request. In that case, I think well, I must have already accepted it because I'm not seeing anything at the moment. But I'll keep an eye on my phone. Who says you can't multitask? Running a stream, watching my phone, doing admin, racing. <laughs> oh, crazy man. Right, that's the outlap dump. Let's see how we can do on the actual run. I've got my indicators on again. Hazard lights, even. Gore, have you had the acceptance from me?
Aye, 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 aye. Come on, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Whew. That's a bit close. Thought I was going to lose that then. Thank you. That was, uh, I enjoyed that one. Okay, I haven't got any more friend requests coming yet. It's not often I do a save like that. <laughs> it's a rare treat for you guys. I didn't save that one though. Let's not take everybody out on the track. Right, let's just um let's just check this phone. seen it yet so who is it <laughs> that's law for you to do yes very much so so what we um sun eat tcm Okay, I've sent the send I've sent a request through. Okay, I've sent the some uh, a friend request through to you. Uh Coover. Uh okay, if I run a Logitech um DD Pro. Uh, which I got a, oh, a couple of months ago. can't remember exactly when I got it. I was running the Logitech G29 before that. But I absolutely adore this wheel. It's a cracking, cracking wheel. Lovely bit of kit. Right, let me just bring this round to the pits so that uh, we can get this one underway. Cool, my friend. Uh, obviously, you won't be able to get into this one because we started the quali now, I'm afraid. I'm then going to take a short, about half an hour break and then uh, we'll be back with more racing so don't go away and we'll be back with more of the same. So uh, yeah, we'll just get this one underway and then we'll be disappearing for a short while. Right, let's get going guys. I will be, I think Ernie Ball Kushti and RL9010, the four of us will be glad of a short break, if I'm perfectly honest. Get freshened up, get something to eat, and some proper food rather than biscuits. And uh, I'm going to have a video to run, which is the um, Q video that I had um, interview just recently. And uh, I'll be running that while I'm away. And then we'll be resetting the whole of the stream so that we are set up for another 12 hours and so we're just coming up for half past seven now uh, G G923 is a good good wheel it's a nice wheel my G29 for well over 15 years nothing wrong with that right I don't do very well at Brands Hatch normally so I'm probably going to go quiet. Uh, already got into the back of Ernie Ball there.
Oh, RL having a big old moment off track there. Car on the inside, don't get on the grass, almost. Car up the inside. Just need to give him a little bit of room. Don't go off, don't go off, don't go off. Oh, that was a bit iffy. How on earth we held that on the track, I don't know. <laughs> another car off we got cars off all over the place in this one already up to sixth place I've had um, what Kushti and Ernie Ball and I've been racing all night long from 9 o'clock UK, UK time yesterday evening and RL9010 has been with us either watching and or racing so uh, thank you to the three of you and thank you to everybody else that is supporting the channel supporting the uh, city marathon I'm <laughs> doing right now 27 hours of live streaming can't believe that I'm still wide awake just pure adrenaline I think that's keeping me going absolutely loving this so we've got Kushti out front he's set the fastest lap with a 134.3 and out in front Dan Positive in second I made him in third can I get on the back of Gigbots in front it's a big old train of cars up in front just need to keep it out of the penalties, off the grass and just see how we can do unfortunately I can't watch the chat right now I need to concentrate like crazy I'm on the grass Big old gag like cars, look at this. Up ahead. How are they not crashing? I've got a recovering RL behind me. He's gonna be joining this little battle very, very, very soon. Oh key box, what a save. Brilliant bit of driving. told you RL was going to be with us very soon he is there already it didn't take him long to join this one so difficult to pass around here The coats. Oh, you want feeding, don't you, mate? Whoa, I'm in the gravel. I'm in the gravel. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, but I've got mullered by the guys behind. They came charging through. I've got another one on the outside of me, too. They punished me big time for that mistake. Oh, 
car. Where are we all going, guys? Where are we all going? Still got a car on the outside. That's put me in the gravel. That was my own silly fault. And I'm going to go around. Uh, oh, I think it's definitely, definitely, definitely time for a break. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to join this race up front because uh, it's looking pretty tasty. Uh, spectate. Let's get the uh, display all on. So where are we? I think this is it. Ernie and mate him. King Box is just off the back of this. Ah, oh, just to rejoin it. Mate team's gone a little bit wide. That's let Ernie ball through. Ernie's now chasing down Danny Positive. Tyres certainly a factor in this one right now. There's another really cool battle going on behind. So in here we've got competitions chasing down Keybots. He's going to make a move. No, he didn't quite get that move made. Using all the road and a little bit more. We've got a spinner behind. But this is your race at the moment. You've got one, two, three, four, five cars here. We are on the last lap. Can competition get up the inside of Keybox at any point? Still more battles going on behind. You've got Kushti way, way, way out in front at the moment. But this little group here closing up. Competition doing everything he can. He's going to get a run. I think Kigbot's got a penalty there. That's let competition through. So competition is going to come across the line. And we've got another tight battle here with these three cars. Vancouver up the inside of Rail Rail 9010. 9010's going to hold it to the line. And Kevin King going to come across the line as well. Whoa, that was some racing in that one. There was some racing in that one. Absolutely. Connor Jam just coming across the line. Wow. Yes, Kushti, remind me when we come back and we'll turn boost off. Hey, Connor Jam with a, a big old spin on the line. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, that's the only trouble with the boost is it's hard to get the fastest lap when uh, when you've got that boost on. All right. OK, guys. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to leave the um, let's just come out of here so people know that we are quitting. Um, unfortunately, a lot of those people won't rejoin us, which is a shame. because There's some good races in there. Um, I'm going to leave you with you hat tricks. Um, video which runs through around about 20 minutes or so uh hopefully i will catch up with you um just towards the end if it doesn't it will go dark and there'll just be a dark bit at the end of the stream i'm then going to shut the whole of the stream down set up a new one and we'll be back hopefully um eight or just after eight o'clock uh, so i will see you all then i hope um Right, I will see you then for now. Bye, bye. Hello and welcome to the Hugh Hattrick Show with a very special guest indeed. It is PlayStation racer, Mitchell Morgan. Mitchell, it's great to see you and have you on the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing really well and thank you ever so much for having me on the show. As a, a quite a new streamer, I'm quite surprised you even found me. So I'm really privileged to be on with you today. Oh, yeah, we definitely found you. In fact, you were recommended. Um, some of the guys in my stream were saying you need to interview PlayStation Racer. Um, so, it's, uh, so, yeah, so we found you and, uh, and then we made contact. And that was, that was the thing. And now here we are doing an interview. So I'll start with the question I ask all of my guests. Um, how did your interest and when, when, when did you start playing racing games? How did it all begin? Oh, crikey. A long, long, long time ago. Um, 
At the time, I had a Subaru Impreza wagon, a green one. Right. And by pure chance, that was my, my daily car. And by pure chance, Gran, uh, Gran Turismo version one had the Subaru Impreza wagon in the game. And somebody oh, yeah. showed it to me. And it's like, yeah. oh, wow, I can actually take my car and race it. So <laughs> I bought myself a PS1. I bought myself mm -hmm. the first version of the game, started yeah. playing it. And we were just playing like, the solo offline stuff. And yeah. then I've just stuck with Gran Turismo all the way through. I've had a, a few other racing games over the years, but Gran Turismo is the one that I've had right the way through from version one through to Gran Turismo 7 that we're using now. And that's really how it happened. Um, purely just the fact that they had the car that was my daily, daily runner. Yeah. So have you always had a kind of uh, interest in motorsport or racing as well? Or was it just when you saw that car there, you thought, oh, oh I'll go racing that? No, I've always since, oh, as early as I can remember, I was a Formula One freak. Um, uh -huh. used to watch all of the races uh, right yeah. the way back in uh, Nicky Lauda and James Hunt's days. Uh -huh. And so quite uh -huh. some time. Uh, then I got heavily into British touring car racing and thoroughly yeah. enjoyed uh, watching that. And I just followed it all the way through. Still follow Formula One to today. I've got the Formula One cars on the shelf yeah, today. Yeah, I've got a few there on the back of my picture there too, but you've got some lovely ones. They're yeah, quite good yeah. now, these, these scaled down productions, aren't they? They're, they're lovely to have there. As they, they are they're great. And I'm trying to tie it in with the shirts as well, but struggling a little bit. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I've been, I, I just loved it. I've, I've had the opportunity to do a few things over the years as well. Um, yeah. I've done a, a couple of rally stages and um, took a car around uh, Millbrook on the Proving Ground and the Alpine track. Oh, yes, and, I've done that. Yeah, that's great fun. Yeah, it was good. I, I have one session where it was actually at Millbrook. Um, w w there was a Ford day on and I was involved with that. We could go out yeah. with all sorts of different cars. And I took a an Escort Cosworth around the rally right. stage. And I oh, thought wow. I was doing really, really, really well. I felt really, really <laughs> great. I was having absolute great fun. The guy said I was doing well. And then it was like at the end of this, this session and we were just having a break for lunch or something. And he says, I really enjoyed that. Do you want me to show you how to do it properly? And I'm like, hang on a minute, mate. I've just gone around here absolutely full beans on this thing. And this pro driver took me around and you yeah. just wouldn't believe it. It was incredible. Oh. Uh, I was yeah. going around at a snail's pace. Um, and that was quite some time ago. And that was one of the highlights. But I've, I've been into motorsport and cars all, all my life. Um, yeah, and, yeah. and Gran Turismo gives me that little escape where it's about as close as I'm going to get to actually proper racing. Because I crash all the time, so I could never afford to do it for real. <laughs> <laughs> We're constantly in the body shop. <laughs> but it's quite funny, though, because I think a lot of people are in exactly the same situation. We love motorsport. We watch Formula One and things like that. And then, so the racing games are the key thing that we quite like to have a go at because it is a bit of escapism and that's our chance to have a go, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I used to, to, to love the F1 games of the kind of the 2000s and even the early 2010s, they were quite good. I used to, I used to play those quite a bit. Um, yeah. But all the things, but even like in the, I had um, Toka Touring Cars. Yeah, I played in, that. In the, in the 90s. Yeah. Um, in fact, I even had a, had a, I was saying to the Sparks last night, we had a very funny game called Saloon Cars. It was from my Acorn A3000 uh, computer. Oh, wow. um, and it had all these, it, you had a kind of career mode um, and you had to build out your car. You started with an Astra GTE um, and then you had to, the more, if you did better, you would get more credits and you could then buy better uh, bits for your car. That's and it. you had to start off on fatal slip tires. So yeah. it was great. All these, yeah. all these budget things that they had. And, well, that, uh, that's but, one of the things that I think they're missing in Gran Turismo. I would yeah. love to see a career mode where you go from like a five or six year old in a cart right the yeah. way through to some of the GR1s and GR2s. I'd, I'd love to see that in the game as a career yeah. mode. And like you're saying, where you have a very basic car and then you need to, to build it on, because I remember those days of playing those games where a career mode really was a career mode where you had to, to work at it. But yeah, yeah, I've played a lot of yeah. the games you said. Took a touring car. Um, that was the hardest thing in the world to drive. That they were thing. great, though. I love Toka, Toka 2. Toka 2 was good because then it had not just touring cars. You had to have other cars again to get you into the, 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 the season. That's um, right. And you had to do Formula Fords. I'm sure they had Formula Fords. And I remember playing that at uh, Silverstone and having a huge accident. 
I caused somebody to barrel roll because they're great, spectacular. You know, I, I touched wheels and he went off in a cartwheel. Oh, <laughs> wow. That was him out of the race. But the best bit was I came around the next lap and there he was waving his fist at me. <laughs> when he went round, he was waving his fist. That was fantastic. So they obviously had a bit of a laugh, you know, when, when things went wrong, they said, right, this is what's going to happen. So oh, wow. it, was, it was absolutely brilliant. And uh, that, uh, so no, I do like the games like that because they were a lot of fun. In fact, I'm, I'm, I was hoping that Gran Turismo could get a kind of Formula Ford style car uh, into, into, the, into the game because I think that would be a lot of fun. Because I know they've got like the Red Bull Juniors and things, but they're all kind of futuristic. Yeah. I think it would be quite nice to have something like Formula Ford or, or these base car kind of uh, single seater kind of uh, series. Well, we were out we're like. in the, um, the Gran Turismo F1500 on Friday which is like oh, yeah. a 19, 1980s Formula One style car. And yeah, we were doing yeah. that on the stream as a Friday night special last Friday, which yeah. was absolutely brilliant. They're um, hard to drive, mind. They so, are tricky. Oh, it, it took yeah. me a good couple of races to get the hang of it. Some of the guys were yeah. absolutely away and they were brilliant. Um, yeah. And we did, um, we did our usual photograph session. One of them said, hey, Mitchell, can we do a photograph? So we we pulled up Grand Valley Highway and drove around to where all the parking bays are. And we had right. 16 of these Formula One cars lined up and we did a photograph. Yeah. Then we went round to the start line. We bunched them all up really tight and then everybody yeah. just went away in a big old heap. And oh, yeah, that was, really uh, that was interesting. I could re good, good, re re good recording the replay for that, actually, isn't it? That'd be great fun. Yeah, but, no, it was, uh... it, it was good. And of course, I shared the replay um, of yeah. that particular race. So all the guys have gone off and they've done... Yeah, you know, their own versions of the pictures and shared yeah, them and, yeah. and stuff like that. And uh, we did another one with um, at Daytona on um, one, one of the nights and I did it at night. So we had all the sparks flying and yeah. um, some of the guys had done some fabulous, fabulous pictures of, uh, of Daytona as well. Um, yes, it's the one track I've, I've been to. I've been to Daytona in Florida. It's a, it's a great circuit and uh, it's, I've done the tour uh, a oh, couple wow. of times. And it's it's always warm. My goodness, you feel the heat yeah. over there. But it's it is quite it's 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 got a lot of character. You know, it's got a lot of atmosphere, even when it's empty. Yeah, um, you can imagine what it's like when it's full to the brim. Oh, wow. um, but uh, but I'd like to go there eventually when there's actually a race. I'm I'm going there later in the year, but unfortunately, um, it's not. There's no races on when I'm going to be there because I want to take the family and uh, go and see an actual race at Daytona. That I think would be quite wicked. fun seeing some NASCAR or something like that. You know, some kind of race weekend. Yeah. Uh, we were once there years ago, and there was a big bike. Um, race on, so they had all the super bikes. Okay, there. and uh, but it was but we couldn't we couldn't get tickets for it, it was going to sold out. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, it does. I mean, it's a massive site, and they've done it all up, and and it looks really good fun actually. Um, it's quite a quite a thing. Well, I've, that, I've only uh, done two race tracks in my life. Um, one was Le Mans with the uh -huh. uh, the long straight, the Camel Straight, which was a public road. We did that in a motor caravan with my dad, of all uh -huh. things. Um, and then Silverstone, my daughter's got me uh, one of these circuit experiences that you can oh, do yeah. in an Aston Martin. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I have done the slowest ever lap of anybody around Silverstone. <laughs> um, we, sure we were in not. this Aston Martin and we were doing the international circuit. And um, we were going pretty well. I was on my second lap, absolutely going for it. And we had a problem on the back of the car, a really loud oh, banging nice. noise. So oh, we no. just went past the pits as this banging noise started. We think we got some pickup on one of the tires. So the guy yeah. said, right, slow down. I don't want you to go above 20 miles an hour. And we yeah. did the whole of the international circuit at Silverstone doing 20 miles an hour with <laughs> Aston Martins and Ferraris and all sorts of things blasting past us. Yeah. And the funny thing is, the funny thing is I did six laps, actually. You only had to do, we weren't supposed to do three, but we did six. Yeah. The funny thing is the best lap of them all was the 20 mile an hour lap. All right. <laughs> Even more than doing the 120, because it suddenly dawned on me that as we went down the, the pitch straight and you got all the stands, yeah. Yeah. suddenly it hit me that I was on the tarmac that my heroes have driven past yeah. all of the stands where the yeah. crowds have been standing and sitting. Yeah. And I had all of that time at 20 miles an hour to take it all in and it yeah. was just the most amazing lap of Silverstone ever. Yeah, yeah. And then we followed it up with three flying laps. And the guy that I was with, the tutor, um, he stopped talking to me. And I got carried away and threw the Aston Martin off the track. 
<laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we took it across some green astro and he woke up and he went, whoa, brake, brake, slow down, slow down. Uh-huh. Um, but I thought no, was to rejoin all right and drive. Yeah, home. yeah, it was fine. And we weren't in any danger or anything else. Um, but he was no. like, because he was he was supposed to be keeping everybody in tra- check and making sure we weren't doing too, going too quick. And he was obviously yeah. quite relaxed with what I was doing. And suddenly <laughs> uh, I went into one of the corners a little too bit quickly and we found ourselves on the astro turf and he yeah like he woke up and he was like okay i don't think we'll do that again <laughs> but yeah that was uh so those are the only two times i've ever been on a racetrack um ah well but it's great fun though and you would have seen because you're big into touring cars i take it did you go and watch quite a lot of touring car action and things like that um during the 80s and 90s or? well i because i used to live in milton Keynes, um we often used to take our bikes and head up to silverstone in the 80s oh, and yeah. there was a bank that we used to be able to go on just outside the circuit, but you could actually yeah. see the cars back oh, yeah. in the day. And a couple yeah, yeah. of times I've been up to Silverstone and I've watched the Ferraris running and the like, because yeah. um, you can very often you can get in and you can just go and stand up by the stands. So not in the stands, yeah, but just the off it. And, and you can yeah. watch what's going on. So I've done that quite a few times uh, yeah. to to watch. Um, but no, now I, I, I actually prefer watching it on the television. Yeah. Because in particular with the Formula Ones, you know, you, you get those few seconds where the cars flash by and then yeah. you sit there scratching your head thinking, OK, what's going on? What's going on? Or you're looking at the monitors um, yeah. where I actually quite like listening to David Coulthard and Martin Brundle and stuff at the, at the moment. And no. uh, and trying to say things before they do. The amount of times that my daughter and, and uh, my son-in-law to be will say, what's going on? What's going on? I say, oh, this is happening and that's happening. Or he ought to do this in a minute. or ought to do that in a minute. And then they do it. And uh, yeah, I, I quite enjoy that. <laughs> so yeah, yeah I tend to I, watch it more the, on TV now. Yeah, we've had an issue because I, I, I used to watch it on Sky Sports quite a bit. And, and I use Now TV as well as a kind of cheaper version to do it. Um, but the amount of things they miss... I mean, now they're always, you know, they can't take a shot for more than a few seconds. You know, it's always, they're always jumping to another scene somewhere yep. else and somewhere else. And you can never think that's when you just stay on the one car that's doing something. You know, yep. <laughs> it'd be nice to actually have a, a few, you know, 10 seconds to actually see what's going on. Yep. Um, and then they end up missing, you know, crucial overtakes and, the, you know, because they're talking, they're looking at somebody who's just, you know, in 16th place coming right. through and, <laughs> and there was, so they missed something or it's all at least i think it's sometimes martin brundle does say that we need our we need our directors to show us this um so they don't miss a battle well, that's going on i i can't say anything about that because i commentate some of my races on the channel and at least with sky sports and that they've got a large team of people with loads of monitors and they can jump around with me i've got just me i've got just the footage and the amount of times i will cut to a car just as it's mid spin or mid into the barrier or whatever so i can i yeah i can understand how hard it is to chase the action when i mean i've just got 16 cars but when you've got 22 cars hurtling around a track and you're trying to anticipate what's happening it's really, really difficult. So, yeah, I, I actually think I do a pretty good job, in, to be fair. Uh, and, of course, they've got the benefit of replay, which I don't have. Mine's all live. Um, yeah, but that, yeah. that's one aspect of um, that I like in the racing. When Very often when I crash and I'm so far behind everybody else, I'll drop out the race and then I'll jump in and just do some commentary on the guys. And they seem to like it. And it gives them yeah, a bit of airtime yeah. as well. So, commentary is great fun. We yeah, used to do it for it. some ACC races. Um, and it was quite funny because because it was a, a very much an international racing community that I was doing it for, trying to pronounce the names, yep. <laughs> get them all wrong, and a, a bit of franglais here and there. Uh, so and then they would they would send me an email saying, by the way, it's it's Stefan, not Stephen, or Stefan, or I thought it was a girl, but it's actually a boy. That's and, it. Uh, on the whole, and so I get these emails coming back. They did enjoy the show, to be fair. Yeah. In fact, the hosts of the of the channel used to laugh away. As we try to to make out these these uh, these these like Italian names and French right. names and I have on. one uh, I have one last night. Um, there's a, a guy that I've been referring to as Hoon Saver, and right. um, when I actually looked at the name properly last night, because when you got all these names flying up and you're trying to commentate and you're trying to host a stream and there's so much going yeah. on, you literally just read what you read on the screen. And yeah. last night I realised it was Hoon Forever rather than Hoon Saver. And suddenly oh, right. I yeah. started referring to him as Hoon Forever. 
and he did this big uh, shout out in the tra- in the chat in capitals. You know, hey, he's actually pronouncing my name right, <laughs> and Stream Elements blocked him because yeah. <laughs> of the right. caps, which was quite right. funny. So right. um, yeah, I'm, I'm having to learn now between races to look at the names and try and pronounce them correctly. But I still struggle yeah. because a lot of people in the chat they're one name, and then in the game they're another name. So I struggle yeah. with that as well, like crazy. Um, yeah, yeah. And I've got something like 300 friends in um, in PSN at the moment. So trying oh, wow. to remember who's who and what's what and who's yeah. young and who's old and who's this and who's that. Oh, it's just, I love it, but it's so, 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 so difficult. Um, yeah. Hosting yeah, a stream, people don't know the half of it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's good no, fun. I enjoy it. Yeah. So do you find then that you're playing more just in your lobbies than actually like on Gran Turismo 7? Um, so you do more lobby work than actual daily races. Is that kind of where it ends up? Um, or is it a bit of both? It, it, it's interesting, actually, because obviously I've been playing Gran Turismo forever. And then yeah. I've had a number of YouTube channels and some of them are sort of like died. And, and, that. and I, I just thought, oh, I fancy doing another YouTube channel. So yeah. um, I thought, what can I do? And then somebody said, well, you know, why don't you just start streaming your, your progress? So I've been doing a lot of the solo stuff in the game. And yeah. I started off just by recording the doing the world circuit. So basically how to oh, yeah. videos. Um, yeah. Because there's a lot of people out there that are A and A plus racers that are doing all the how to's. And what I was yeah. finding is I was watching them, but then I was struggling to copy and emulate what they were doing. So I yeah. just went online just doing that as a, an average sea racer as I was then. And I got a yeah, bit of a following yeah. and I hadn't even thought about doing the online daily races at that point. Um, yeah. Then I had a couple of people that said, you know, when are you going to go online? When are you going to go online? So I started to go online and that was just a revelation. It completely changed my perspective and, and, and outlook of the game um, because suddenly you went from racing the AI cars which is really easy to racing repeat real people and you go from thinking you're this brilliant racing driver because you're winning yeah. all these trophies to coming last all the time um, so yeah. I started doing all of that and then there was a couple of occasions where I was struggling with the daily race the the, the track or the car just didn't suit me and a yeah. couple of guys said well come on you know we're not enjoying this either why don't you just open up a lobby and yeah. do that so then yeah. i started lobby racing and yeah. then the whole lobby racing thing has just sort of not exactly taken over but it's become a big part of the stream and building this community which i absolutely adore i love racing with uh, friendly respectful racers whereas the daily races tend to become a little bit of a an argy bargy and a pump fest yeah. and most people yeah. that follow me they'll know that I don't do arguments very well. I take things yeah. very much to heart and I can be bubbly yeah. and, and loud and talking a lot. You're realizing I talk a lot on this interview, but I talk a lot <laughs> on the right. channel and then suddenly I go really like. quiet when something's happened. Um, <laughs> so what I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm trying to find a mix between the lobby races from nine to f- now, uh, nine o'clock in the evening, Monday to Friday um that is my period i do like two hours of lobby racing yeah. if i've got a lot of people and we're having a great time well i'll just keep going um yeah, yeah. or if people are dropping out and i'm down to like five or six people uh then i'm bringing the stream to an end and i'm just leaving the camera on but doing yeah. some daily races if they suit like last week we were at red bull ring in the mazda and i've really struggled with the mazda and i decided yeah. last week that i would watch the replays and learn and try and apply what I was learning. And uh, Kushti, a very, very good friend of mine, was giving me some hints and tips as well. He, he tends to be a, 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 my coach, I refer to him as, because he's helped yeah. me for the longest time. He was one of the ones that said, come on, you've got to get online with the daily races. Uh, yeah, but I was applying yeah. a lot of what he was doing. And I did very well in the daily races last week. So it was like uh-huh. 9 to 11 and then daily races till don't tell the missus, about 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> this week, I'm not quite so sure about the daily races, so I'll probably do more uh, lobby racing. Yeah. Um, but I get more. I quite like re- re- say this week is quite fun in the Maserati Marek because I yeah. remember that from Top Gear when they had to buy a, 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 a supercar for less than ten thousand pounds. That's it. And I'm sure. I'm sure Clarkson had the Marek or a Mar- whatever they call it, the Marek. 
and it, and it ended up exploding in dramatic and wonderful fashion as only a Maserati can do uh, on the last point of their journey. Um, but I do. It's, I, I did Watkins Glen, and it's it's actually it's a short course, so it's, it kind of it kind of suits it quite well. Have yeah. you tried that one? I haven't yet. No, I haven't yet. I, I should do. Um, it's quite nice to drive. It's a little bit. It's quite. You're going to watch it around the corners if you brake too hard, or you know, it's, it it wants to swap ends. Yeah. But when you get it right, it's actually quite a nice car to drive. It's I can imagine that's fun. run through that little double chicane, like the bus stop. Yeah, on, on yeah, it's, qu it's quite good. It's actually all right. And I remember having a Marek as a child, a little a little toy one. Yeah, and I thought that's the car you always wanted growing up. You oh, know, wow. and it was it was uh, yeah, no, it was I'm sure I had, it was given to me by somebody and and uh, and so yeah, no, it was it was all the old days of the of the matchbox matchbox cars and things like that. Oh, we but, we should uh, get that a go because um, one of the things I do on the channel and particularly in the lobby racing is we're trying to celebrate and use a lot of the cars that a lot of other people yeah. don't. Like, when yeah. I first started streaming, a lot of people were just doing GR4s and GR3s. There were so many yeah. channels out there doing that. And I thought we would... Well, it started off, we did a, a 1980s evening where I just basically turned around and said, yeah. right, we're not racing. We're just enjoying yeah. the cars. We're at Goodwood. Yeah. And um, we just took out 1980s cars, whatever you wanted. And we yeah. had the Sierra Cosworth racing, yeah, the Ferrari really good. GTO and yeah. stuff like that. And the guys they were are all... good. I think they're quite accurate. The Cosworth yeah. in the game is actually quite a fun car to drive and feels quite decent, to be fair. It is. Well, I drove one of those back in the 80s. Um, yeah. The chairman for the company I worked for, he had one. And I got yeah. to take it out a few times. I was one of the few people yeah. that were actually trusted to, to drive it. How yeah. I never got a speeding <laughs> ticket, I have got no clue. Um, yeah. But I loved, loved that car. And uh, yeah, the only thing yeah. I was never able to do was to take it out on a racetrack as much as I would have loved to. So yeah. uh, we took now the Cosi so out rare. twice last night. That tends to be one of my go-to 1980s yeah. cars. Yeah, but, uh, it's a great machine. I, yeah. I watch a lot of these barn find programs on YouTube. And yep. when they find a, a Sierra Cosworth, it's just... And there's still a few in, little, in fields, farmers' fields, round and about, or in yeah. barns that are just sitting there not being used. But the ones that have been found... And they've been done up, or they've, or they've been you know, even just get them running again, and they're worth about sixty to eighty thousand. Yeah, I mean, vast amounts of money. When you think in the eighties and the early nineties, they were stolen all the time, and yeah. you couldn't give them away. They were going for a couple of grand because nobody, nobody wanted them. And yeah. you think, my goodness, we should have been collecting them at that point. Well, I, but, I have uh, plenty of opportunity because I used to work in a Ford dealer, so I had loads oh, well. and loads of opportunity <laughs> to pick up, you know, the, the Sierra RS. Yeah. Cosworth, yeah, yeah. the the RS right. five hundred. I got offered an RS yeah. Turbo, the Escort RS yeah. Turbo at one point. Um, yeah, but yeah. at the time, it was like you know, marriage, kids, Where do you no keep time for well? fast That's forwards. It. You know, <laughs> you yeah. got to store them and sort it away. But no, it's kind of amazing how those cars have completely come back in it terms is. of in desirability. That yeah. uh, even like an XR three I is quite rare. Yeah, to find a good XR three I is is quite a machine there. And of course, the track day cars you can do these days uh, yeah. are brilliant. My my nephew, he bought himself a Mark One Mondeo, which oh, was yeah. I call it pink. It was actually Rosso red, but it was it was oh, pink. Um, it, and he stripped it, it all out and put a new engine in and everything else. He takes that to Abingdon um, uh, down there on a track day. But what he's yeah. done is he's now painted it and he's got it in Paul Radisic's. Um, btcc colors oh fantastic um, yeah when he turns up with that it's brilliant i went and photographing him um, racing it yeah. one time and um but yeah i, I love what people do with these these cars you know when they're yeah, restoring yeah. them and uh doing stuff with them but uh, yeah people should restore cars more often i think yes i think that's the nice thing about gran turismo is that you do you can do those kind of uh, nights when you go to a track that you love and then just have a, a open a lobby take the cars that you like and yeah. then and then go and have some fun and if you want to race you can so in a kind of a kind of in, in in closing what would you like to do with your channel or how do you see it growing what's what's kind of what would you like to achieve with it? oh um that's a very very good question um i actually had a five-year plan for the channel um uh -huh. taking me up to sort of you know like like retirement age where i'm not going to retire until 10 years but uh, the idea yeah. was it was going to take me into retirement. And I'm actually three years into that five-year plan already. It's going a lot yeah, faster yeah. than I thought. So yeah. initially what I wanted to do was was get monetized in, in the first yeah. year. And the second year, I just wanted to continue to build with the subscribers. And all of that's happening. And then what I wanted to try and do is I, I my ultimate goal is I'd like to get better and better 
to the point where I can actually then help and educate other people. That's what I would really yeah. love to do. I love to share my passion of whatever I'm doing. I, I did archery for a while and I became an uh -huh. archery coach and I actually took two people through to national level. And I absolutely uh -huh. love giving people that knowledge to go and do those sorts of things. And yeah. I've had a few people that have come to me and said, you know, can you help me in Gran Turismo? And I've helped them and we've done a few bits and pieces offline and they've gone on to be better, even though I'm only average at best. So what I'd, I'd like to do is continue to invest in myself and yeah. to build my skills and then share those. And the other thing is um, on the 12th of March, I'm doing this 27 hour charity gig for Crohn's and colitis. Yeah. And I'd like to try and do more with the channel with that to benefit mm. people. So depending on how this charity gig goes, and I haven't got a clue how it's going to go, um, if I can build the channel and get a good number of people involved, um, I'm yeah. not, don't dream to be at sort of Rory and Kai's level, but if I can get a decent enough following, then I'd like yeah. to do more charity work. And, um, you know, one of the people in the community, I've got a few guys that have mentioned that, you know, they've got issues at uh, the that charities uh, support and it would be nice yeah. to partner with the community to do some charity events for their charities um, yeah. so I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd like to do some of that and I just want to build a community of like-minded respectful people that just want to hang out that want to race uh, they want to chat uh, we've got a few people that um they had to just come in and socialize with us, which is, yeah. which is brilliant. Yeah. And that's all I really want to do with it. I mean, the, the channel will go wherever the channel goes. And yeah. for as long as I can, I'll host it. And while yeah. it's, well, while in my mind, it's giving some value to some people, I'll, I'll continue to do it. Yeah. It's a little bit like the, the, the streaming now has kind of replaced almost going to the pub. <laughs> you can, Cause you yeah. can chat away with your mates, but, but obviously you're at home playing your game as well. Some people will be in your lobbies, others will be watching and they're there and you can just relax and, and uh, enjoy having a chat with your friends. Absolutely. It? It's quite nice the way it's kind of worked out for so many like that. Yeah, and really I've, I've already made some really good friends online. Um, you know, I referred to them as my online virtual friends the other day and I got into trouble because <laughs> somebody came back and said, there is nothing virtual about me. I am real. I'm a real person <laughs> and I am a real friend. We are now real friends. And it was a, yeah. it was one of those moments in this journey that I'm on where another light bulb went on. And it is the fact that these guys that join me every evening, yeah. whether they just drop in for five or 10 minutes for a race and then drop out, because I try and keep my races quite short so yeah. people can drop in, drop out, you know, yeah. but they're not long, long, um, long races. And uh, yeah, Ernie made me realize that i have this group of friends now that i can yeah. call friends and you know there was a guy um it was a few weeks ago but i think and i didn't catch all of the chats it goes through so quick but i think he was going in for like some cancer operation or something and i think he was a bit concerned yeah. about it and yeah. blow me you know over a five or ten minute period there's about three or four people who said yeah we've been through that this is what's going to happen this is what you can expect yeah. They completely, from what I could see, relaxed this individual. And I went yeah. away that night not thinking about the racing, not thinking about the stream. I felt good because this community of guys that has come together, we're all helping each other. And for yeah. me, yeah. that is worth far, far, far more than the game. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. Kaz, who, who, who's building Gran Turismo, in my mind, he's building far, far more than just a game. He's now yeah. building communities of like-minded people. And yeah, I just I, I just get blown away by where this this channel's gone in just a short period of time. If, yeah, if, you, if yeah. you told me I was going to be where I am now with this number of, of subscribers sitting on an interview with you, I'd have laughed a year ago. <laughs> um so where it's well, going to go over the next two or three hard. years, I haven't got a clue. I've, I've got no clue where this is going. I'm just going to continue <laughs> to enjoy the ride. Oh, no, that's, that's, it's, you've done a great job to, to get monetized, to get things sorted and to bring a, a community together. Um, it's always a, a good thing to do. You know, you've, you've managed to do that um, and been consistent. And people now are all part of it every week and they enjoy it. So it's um, no, many congratulations. 
Well, and thank you, you deserve you deserve um, the outcome there that you've that you've been able to create. Um, so no, well done, well done. Okay. It's been a pleasure to be able to talk to you. I know that uh, that we'll be do using this video for your big charity event, so I do hope it all goes well. But stay on the line um, as I come to end the video, um, and because uh, of that, there'll be definitely chats in the outer studio um, when it's all when it's all done. But to everyone who's been watching, this is Mitchell Morgan, PlayStation Racer, and the description, the, the link will be in the description below for his channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but it's been great to talk to you, and PlayStation Racer is very, very good. Very, a lot of fun with his races. Make sure you join him. Uh, he normally streams, like on a, is it a Monday and a Friday? Monday you, through Friday, 9 o'clock UK time. We start off uh, in, in the evening. And I'm normally streaming for a couple of hours or more. Uh, very often, oh. my the guys I'm Indeed. racing with keep me on far, far later <laughs> than I should do. Uh, but yeah, mon Monday to Friday, when I can, time permitting. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Mitchell. It's great to catch up. And to everyone watching, you've been watching the Hugh Hattrick Show. Remember to drive fast, but drive your bus even faster. Bye just now. Bye-bye, guys. bit manic uh, just, uh, walk the dog had something to eat etc etc and we're just listening to hugh hattrick there in the video um what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to need five minutes i need to shut down everything all of the youtube live stream because after 12 hours i believe that it will just start repeating on itself and obviously we don't want to do that so um we shall be back in about five minutes and hopefully hopefully you'll all join me then on a brand new live stream which hopefully is going to take us through for another sort of 11 hours or so so don't go away and i'll be right back in just a few moments